Okay, Manchester United are one of the most decorated teams in English football, known for developing superstars and winning trophies across not only England, but Europe too. But unfortunately, things have changed. The last time Man United won at the Premier League was in 2013. And since 2017, they've only been able to secure two pieces of silverware. The days of Man United being the best team in England are over. But in this FC24 career mode series, it's our job to change that. We are taking control of Manchester United and our goal is to make them the best team in the world again. Now, it is not gonna be Easy. But with new owners coming into the club and young players who have potential to be superstars, we have the tools to return Man United back to the top of European football. So drop a like and subscribe and let's get this journey started. So episode one of our Manchester United career mode. Now we have a huge challenge ahead of us. The challenge of making this team the best team in the world again. But before we officially start here, let's hear from our manager. So Eric Ten Hag sits down for a preseason interview with Sky Sports and the interviewer asks Eric Ten Hag, how do you feel entering this season? And Ten Hag says, obviously as a club, we are not we want to be just yet. Whether it's playing for Man United or coaching, there's always tremendous pressure to be the best team in the world. And he says, I feel with new ownership coming through, there's a renewed excitement around the club and that this is a turning point for Manchester United. Now, the interviewer asks, do you still think you're the right manager to take Manchester United back to the top of European football? And Ten Hag replies saying, yes, I believe that I am. And soon after that, it's officially announced before the season starts that Manchester United have new owners. Serge and Ratcliffe is taking over the football operations of Manchester United and also has just appointed a new sporting director and that's Dan Ashworth from Newcastle United so it is a new era at Old Trafford so first thing I'm gonna do though is take a look at our team and assess the squad a little bit now it's a team that has some good players in it some players who are not so good and a team that is far away from becoming the best team in the world that is for sure but I'd say our three most important players are headlined by Bruno Fernandez the captain of the team arguably our best player he's pretty much right now the glue that is holding this team together I would say our second most important player is Marcus Rashford if he's in form then May United are in form it's as simple as that and I'd say the third most important player in this team is Alejandro Garnacho pretty much representing the future of this team at 19 years old. So obviously with the important players, we also have players that we need to sell that just aren't good enough for Manchester United. And right now for me, that includes players like Johnny Evans, Christian Eriksen, uh, Donny van de Beek, Plestri, and also Martial. As of right now, we're going to try to sell some of these players. And this right here is sort of our current best starting 11, I think. We definitely could throw Mainu out for like McTominay, Mason Mount. But right now, this is a team that Tenog is playing in real life, so I feel like it's kind of the team we should start with. Obviously headlined by Hoyland, Rashford, Bruno, Garnacho, Mainu, who has looked so good in real life, that will be a big part of this team in this series. And a back line of Luke Shaw McGuire Varan and Dallo that is not the most uh, convincing. So obviously we see how much work this team needs, how many improvements this team needs. And that includes the uh, very shaky bench. Now in terms of transfers for this first season, this first window, we have currently 214 million to spend. And we have our new owners to thank for that. So the process of improving this team officially starts now. And that starts with a meeting between Eric Ten Hag and new sporting director, Dan Ashworth. Where Ashworth says to Ten Hag, what is the most important thing this team needs right now? And Ten Hag says, there's a number of young and exciting players that we want to develop this season but this team just simply needs a new midfielder. Just the missing piece of this team, it's been almost for like two or three years now, is a true like box, box number eight to be alongside Casemiro. Like Mason Mount is not that, Christian Eriksen is not that, McTominay is not that, Bruno is much more of a 10 than a number eight. So a new center midfielder is probably our most needed upgrade here. And there's really one player that just makes the most sense for this team. And that is Frankie de Jong from Barcelona. You could say maybe Ten Hag's dream signing. He would be incredible in this team. And recently there have been some reports saying that Barcelona and Frankie de Jong are likely parting ways. So if there's ever a time to try and sign him, it is right now. But he is going to be insanely expensive. So negotiating with Xavi, okay, we're kind of missing a zero there, but it's 88 million. I'm going to start with 105. I'm going to start 105 and see what they say to that. I would say that's a respectable first offer there. Now Barcelona are going to 131 million. That is a little bit more than we offered. Let's try and make it just straight up 120 million. That's a lot, but that's still worth Frankie de Jong. And Barcelona are going to, they're going to accept that. Okay, step one is signing de Jong. That is complete. Now Ten Hag has to try and convince him to join us. So Ten Hag sits down with his former player, Frankie de Jong. And de Jong says, I enjoyed our time at Ajax together, but I just want to make sure this is the right move for my career. And Ten Hag tells De Jong, we are trying to build something special at Man United, and I need a player like you to be the heart of our midfield, and your energy would jumpstart this team into this new era of ownership. And he says, things are different now. We won't rest until we make Man United the best team in the world again. And it looks like that was enough convincing for Frankie De Jong as he accepts the Man United contract and officially signs for Manchester United. Yeah, this new era of ownership under Sir Jim Ratcliffe, a new sporting director, it is just truly the start of a new era. So Frankie De Jong Welcome to Manchester United. Now, that's not the only signing we're going to make in this first episode. I mean, we still have 81 million to spend. But right now, we need to start selling players and slowly clearing out this club of players that are just uh, not good enough for this team. All right, so the first player to leave the club is going to be Palestri. Now, the reason being, his potential is not that high in game, and I just don't see a future for him in this team. And also, Mabry was loaned out to Fulham for a year. Now, the next player gone is Christian Eriksen. I just feel like, once again, it's time to move on from these players. And yeah, for some reason, he's gone to uh, Manchester City. Don't ask me why. Now, this one's sad, but Donny van de Beek is also leaving the club. 
club. Once again, just really no future in this team, unfortunately. So far, that's three players sold in Palestri, Erickson, and also Van de Beek. Now, we did get some offers for Anthony Martial, but I feel like uh, we only have Hoyland and Martial. So I think I'm only going to sell Martial if we have a replacement already in mind. Until then, he stays. Now, unfortunately, also, Anthony got hurt in preseason, so he's out for uh, three weeks. He won't be gone too long, but he will miss the first game of the season, which is right now versus Wolves. So it's the first game under new ownership out on Trafford with new signing Frank De Jong leading the midfield. It's very important we get off to a good start here and show that this truly is a new era of Manchester United. Now, obviously, Frank De Jong's debut is the headline for this game. Pundits are saying that he's exactly what United have needed for a while now, but he'll be under immense pressure to perform. Like, we don't think one player is going to transform United, but there's a lot of pressure on his back right now. So first day of the Premier League season versus Wolves. Let's see how we do. So now in terms of difficulty, we are playing, of course, on ultimate the same sliders as the uh, Dortmund series. Just now, competitor mode is on, though. That's like the one big change. So still, of course, the series should be a huge challenge for us. But we are up for this challenge. So first game of the year, Hoyland gets us kicked off. Now, I'm going to try using the game cam for this series, see if you guys like it or not. But first game of the season, we need to win here. I have no clue what to expect, though, from this team. All right, Luke Shaw gets it back to Casemiro. He's going to play to Bruno. Actually, it was Rashford, and that was intercepted anyways. Now, obviously, I would start probably Lissandro Martinez for Maguire. But in real life, they've been playing decent. Okay, Maguire. Maguire, what was that? It's already 1-0 to Wolves. Maguire is stumbling over the ball and Neto scores already. I was just about to say Maguire is playing good in real life, so I thought why not start him in this series? But was that a mistake? Many could play there when I wasn't controlling them, but he had no room to get the ball out, though. Okay, what a wonderful start. 1-0 in 8 minutes. All right, let's see if we can try and recover now. Luke Shaw finds Hoyland. Hoyland tries to play to Rashford, but can't find him. Okay, Casemiro, that's a great tackle into Frankie De Jong. Hello, Frankie. Gets it, Bruno. Got to build the chemistry up. That pass needs to get through, though. Now, in terms of tactics, we are playing gig and pressing, but it's not like an insane aggressive press. It's like kind of like more of a conservative press. Onana. Okay, Onana punched that almost towards the goal, which I don't like to see that. Corner in by Neto. That is going to be a header. And okay, they've scored two in 14 minutes. How does that even go in, though? That header did not look great. See, now this is going to bring up the question of Onana. Obviously, in real life, he's had his struggles, and I feel like he should be doing better with that. Okay. Okay, 2 0 in 15 minutes. Pretty much a nightmare start. Bernardo Luke Shaw, let's try and find just one goal at a time now to get back in this. Luke Shaw turns, decent. Gonna cross that into the far post. Garnacho header attempt, and that's okay. That's 2 1. What a great response by Shaw and Garnacho. Okay, Luke Shaw, that is a beautiful cross. And then Garnacho, I did not expect a header goal from him being the first goal of the series, but it is. Okay, we're back in this. It's a very good response. We needed that. Okay, good still by Dallow. Get them all out. That was kind of a risky pass, but you know what? It works, so it's fine. We are starting to wake up in this game. Now, saying that, though, our defense just does not look good at all right now. Cross in, out by Varane, Garnacho, edit to De Jong, yeah, that's decent. It's actually Hoyland, not De Jong. Bruno, great ball to Garnacho. Garnacho could feed in Hoyland. Hoyland to Marcus Rashford, could tie it up. Marcus Rashford shoots, and that is tie game. Okay, in under 30 minutes, we went down 2-0, but it brought it back to 2-2. Two -two. That right there is a great response. That is some good play between our front three with Hoyland getting the assist too, but Rashford, good finish. Like I said, if he's in form, then pretty much the team is in form. Okay, what a start. 2-2 two -two in under 30 minutes. Arnacho, Bruno, get it over to Casemiro. Gets it back to Frank De Jong. I'm gonna try to go for a long shot here, but there's not really a long shot opportunity. Arnacho could cross this though. Cross it, it's gonna be blocked. Gets it back to Dallo. Now Dallo cross in. That looked very good, but it's not gonna find Hoyland. Okay, I like this pressure though. We are pushed up right now, and I like this. Hello, Bruno. Left footed shot, and the keeper is going to save that one. Corner in by Bruno Fernandez. That is going to be Hoyland, and it's going to go over the net. Man, that was a decent chance. That was almost like a free header for Hoyland. Now, those first two goals, it was literally a nightmare, but I like what I've seen so far from the from the response. Maguire gets by, though. Varane. Okay, I thought he was going to shoot there. I thought he was going to shoot, but he went to the right more. Right when I say that, they score. That is the Tyster Jinx. There's nothing more real than that. Bro, there's already five goals this game. That was way too easy. Maguire just stepped up and completely missed it, and we left Varane out to dry there. Okay, we are down a goal again. Ross in. Maguire. Okay, Maguire did well there. Young plays it to Hoyland. Rashford, Hoyland, get it over to Dallow, maybe, or Garnacho. Dallow, good pass to Bruno. We got numbers here. Bruno, Rashford, plays it through Hoyland. Over the top to Bruno. Volley attempt, but that's good defending. Not a bad attack, though. Oh my, he actually handballed it there. We have a free kick from that. That is hilarious. Now, what do we do with this, though? Okay, I guess we're going to try to just loft it in. Bruno. Cross in. Maguire gets to it. Maguire scores and it's 3-3. Bro, where are these goals coming from? Right on halftime, Maguire ties it up again. I mean, if he's good at one thing, it's definitely headers. We know that. So a weird handball close to the box gives us a chance to score our third and we do. Okay, first half 3-3. It's not exactly good, but it is exciting. There's already been six goals in the first game and Harry Maguire has scored one of them. Our defense though has got to get better. We can't concede another three in the second half. All right, Casemiro gets it to Bruno. Bruno, drive this forward a little bit. Waiting for Rashford. Rashford, what a ball from Bruno. Rashford is not gonna beat that defender though and bruno that was a great ball okay they got a free kick 54th minute which does not look bad varan okay that is not the best clearance but dallow has the second clearance now this could be a counter attack here luke shaw plays it to marcus rashford into bruno bruno oh man this defender is catching up dawson caught up there i thought bruno was in 
Doyle, Frank and Young, that's a good tackle right there. Now that tackle into a good pass to Rashford. That's exactly what we bought him for. Rashford back to Bruno. Bruno has an option. Oh, we try to get it to Deong there. Casemiro, great steal. Into Hoyland. Hoyland lays it off to Deong. Deong. Oh man, again, a pass that. If it goes through, we get a chance. Speaking of chance, Hoyland. Left footed finesse shot. That's gonna be blocked. All right, throw in Bruno to Luke Shaw. Get it out to Casemiro. Are we shooting this? I want to shoot this, but it's probably not the smart idea. Casemiro into Bruno, who he can shoot. That's a finesse shot, and it goes wide though. Hey, look at Harry Maguire, man. What a tackle that is. Frank de Jong over to Bruno. Come on, let's get this lead. Rashford plays it to Bruno. Bruno into Frank de Jong. Left-footed shot. That'll be a corner. That's not bad. Bruno Fernandez swings in the corner. That's going to go to Casemiro. That is falling up to someone, but we can't head it in. There was an open net right there. Okay, we got a freaking up a handball, though, but this is kind of too far to shoot, I think. We are going to try to lay this off to Casemiro, who's going to shoot from distance. You know what? That actually wasn't that bad. At least it was on target. All right, first two subs are Mason Mount for Garnacho and then uh, Martial for Hoyland. I would say Garnacho and Hoyland played well, but we need some fresh legs on right now. We got nine minutes to find this winner here. Now, Luke Shaw, pass to Rashford. That's a great pass, actually. Rashford, crossover. It's going to be Mason Mount. Mason Mount scores to make it 4-3. On the volley, what a goal by Mason Mount. Off the bench, the super sub. And okay, is there a chance we're actually going to win this game after conceding three goals? And Rashford, though, that cross was beautiful. But what a volley by Mount on the half volley, actually. Okay, six minutes to defend now. And this would be an insane win, but it'd be a win. Van versa Varane. Varane, got to get that tackle. That's good enough. Just clear it. Okay, that went off Dallow's face. What kind of unluckiness is that? Cross in, Maguire. Good header out. Rashford wins it. Wins it, Bruno. Rashford, that was beautiful. We got two minutes added on. Let's just relax not lose the ball here i need this opening day win especially after making the comeback and conceding two right away bruno martial one last chance to shoot martial shot is blocked but that should be it ref okay that is it man 4-3 what an opening day of the premier league and what a first game of the series but this definitely shows that the defense is an issue and also pretty much the whole team is an issue right now we are far away from being the best team in england but mason mount is the hero of the opening day and after that game Tena gives a post-game interview where he says obviously the win is the most important thing i'm happy we won but we have to be much better and the whole team knows that now three goals conceded in the first game honestly i'm not surprised it makes me look at our goalkeeper spot with andre onana is is he really the keeper that we need to become the best team in the world? Is he good enough for that? I honestly don't know. I think for this season, my plan is to uh, give him a chance to start this season, but we need to look forward and set up a path for his replacement, maybe. And maybe for that to be like a younger keeper, we can develop on the side of Onana. And for that, I'm thinking James Trafford from Burnley. He's one of the highest uh, potential English keepers in the game. He's 20 years old, obviously. Now he's definitely nowhere near May United's starting quality, but he could be the future starting goalkeeper of this team. So I'd say it's a decent investment. So we're going to talk to Burnley. We're going to offer him maybe like 4 million. They are going to want Manu. That is never ever happening uh nice try try 5.3 and they are going to accept that i mean it's pretty much a no-brainer here so james trafford is signed up to manchester united i mean with the name trafford we have to and hey if things just don't go well with onana maybe trafford is the future starting keeper of this team for now though welcome to manchester united now with that signing the media is already running wild here saying that after signing trafford our onana's days at united numbered as of right now i'm not sure but if they are then we have a future plan with james trafford now next game on our list is a huge test for this team we are facing spurs away now, after one game, we sit in fifth place. If we win this, we'll jump up to probably first or second. Um, Spurs, they drew their first game 1-1. But away to Spurs is always a tough game. So I expect nothing different here. Now, I think I go with the same starting 11 as last game, though. I don't think I change anything just yet. So United versus Spurs. Let's try not to concede three goals again. There's uh, something about Spurs. It's that five at the back formation. They're always tough to play in this game, at least for me. So I'm expecting a little bit of a tough game here, but we'll see. All right, Dallow gets it to Frank and Young. Young into Bruno. Bruno, De Jong over to Garnacho into Rasmus Hoyland. All oh, that touch right there was actually horrendous. Hoyland, that's got to be better. Okay, you can already see our defense is the same as last game. It's going to be rough. Casemiro, if we didn't have Casemiro, we would be totally in trouble. Now, Bruno, De Jong has got Garnacho on a run. De Jong plays over to Garnacho. Good ball from Frankie. Now, Garnacho cross in. That's a good cross, but no one gets to it. Casemiro, Bruno. Finesse shot from distance look good, but Lloris is going to catch it. All right, they got a player injured, I believe. Who is that? That's Taremi. That is unfortunate. Okay, a lot of Spurs up possession here, but at least we're not letting him through. Defense holding up as of now a little bit. Duma gets it to Benton Kerr. Gets it out wide to Kulishevsky, I think. They are playing so patient. And now uh, Kulishevsky just lost it there, so defense so far is holding up. Rashford through to Bruno. Good ball, Bruno. Get it back to Rashford. Rashford to Bruno Fernandez. A chance for a finesse shot. Looks decent, but that shot had way too much power on it. Okay, we got to get closer to goal now. Which Frankie Young to Rashford. Rashford, that touch again was so bad. We got that early season rust right now that sharpness uh rust son frank de Jong skips by him this is not good son is their most dangerous player but dallow did well there actually i was uh, scared for a second garnacho hoyland hoyland over the top garnacho what a ball by hoyland garnacho cuts inside actually does but sesignon catches up this is a sloppy game so far samiro out to marcus rashford who's got space and pace cuts inside but again our final touches in the attacking third are so bad now this leads to a spurs counter attack which does not look good mcguire stands strong mcguire stood strong there kulishevsky gets by luke shaw this is not good mcguire okay mcguire 
there. That's a very strong tackle right there. Bruno running with space, gets it out to Dallo. Dallo gets it, tries to get it back to Hoyland. Plays it back now to Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong into Casemiro. Over to Bruno. Now, left-footed shot. That is going to be blocked. Oh, it is that foul at the back. He's so hard to try and uh, attack. Maybe one final chance here. Great ball. Rashford, can you get this? Rashford will get this. Rashford in on goal. Is going to take a shot. Lloris saves it. And Rashford's rebound is saved again. And that might be our best chance so far. Final kick of the first half. Bruno in the box. That's not going to fall to anyone. Okay, halftime, it's going to be nil-nil. And I would say so far, that's fair. This game feels winnable, but also very much losable, too. Has a great pass to Brennan Johnson. Luke Shaw kind of steps over there, but Luke Shaw, oh my, please get the ball out. That ball was just sitting under Luke Shaw right there. Zuma, Varane. Varane, good tackle there. Now, get this ball out, please. They've had way too much possession this game. Granacho back to Dallo. Get it right back to Granacho. Granacho... Hoyland, can play to Rashford, goes back to Casemiro instead, which Casemiro has space for the shot, and okay, that shot was powerful. Was that saved by Lloris? It actually, yeah, it was saved. All right, Bruno, cross in to actually no one, though. Dallo, Frankie de Jong, hold it up, get it back to Dallo. Dallo gets it back to Frankie. Man, that pass needed to be closer to Frankie, though. Yeah, 30 minutes. At least there's not been, like, seven goals this game. Been much more of a defensive game. Frankie de Jong plays a great pass to Garnacho. Garnacho into Rasmus Hoyland shoots and that's one nil to Manchester United okay that was the Tyser jinx but in reverse like actually good for us Hoyland scores his first goal of the season and hey Frankie de Jong kind of started that attack so he gets uh, some credit there that ball to Garnacho but Rasmus Hoyland great goal Rashford off to Frankie de Jong chance to shoot Frankie de Jong looking for his uh his first Man United goal right there all right first sub though is Mount on for Garnacho again corner by Bruno Fernandez looks decent but not gonna find anyone Hoyland back to Frankie de Jong again that shot looks good but it goes wide I feel like the last 20 minutes we've been by far the better team here so if we can score this second it'll be well deserved Mason Mount stops great ball to Frankie de Jong over to Dallo crossover to Mason Mount and that is 2-0 to United. Okay, Mason Mount is truly becoming a super sub already. Off the bench, he scores again. And funny enough, I think it's a volley again. Good cross in and then off the off the volley. Yeah, Mason Mount, what a finish. Okay, rightfully so and deserved. It's 2-0. All right, four subs. We got Diallo, McTominay, uh, Kobe Mainu coming on. Fresh legs to help us uh, see out this result. Now, good pass through Diallo. That is so risky. Okay, they're starting to press like crazy. But also, that gives us a bit of space here, which Diallo is taking advantage of. Diallo's gonna stop. He's gonna try to cross it to Hoyland. Not bad, but not gonna reach him. Okay, Kobe Mainu, what a win. Bruno to Diallo. Could make this 3-0, but somehow Bentinker stole that from behind. Okay, boys, do not let them get in this game. Get back in it. Mainu, Mainu. Oh, trying to make a tackle there. Does make a tackle. Kobe Mainu, what a tackle. We got to get the ball out, though. Okay, there we got it, man. Mainu, that was a great tackle, though. He's got a big future in this team. Okay, Onana. That is the distribution that he's pretty good at. Mainu, Hoyland. Hoyland plays it over to Luke Shaw. He's going to get that. Luke Shaw does get that. Luke Shaw, crossover. This could be three. It's not going to be three, though. Okay, that was a foul. We got a free kick now at the edge of the box, I think. Now, this is definitely shooting range. So, Bruno Fernandez to seal this game even more. To make it 3-0. This does not look bad. And, oh, man, that was a really good free kick. What a save by Loris, though. Okay, Bruno, corner in. Maguire. Maguire. Man, that was right to him. Luke Shaw gets it to Hoyland. Back to McTominay. Over to... I'm a Diallo, and we're going to make this 3-0. Man, this game was close uh, for, like, maybe, like, 45, 50 minutes. But then we just took over the game. That is really good to see. Like I said, this game felt very uh, winnable, but also losable. We just had a great second half, though. Okay, keep the clean sheet, though, please. Sun is running through us right now. Keep the clean sheet. Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw, good tackle. Luke Shaw keeps it in. Okay, Luke Shaw, that is some really good defending right there. And that is full time. 3-0, solid win away from home. It truly looks like a new era of Manchester United. So after two games, we sit atop of the Premier League table, along with also Nottingham Forest which is a little bit funny funny because that is who we also face next so a team that's won their first two games and they've actually not conceded a goal yet before this game though dan ashworth wants to meet with eric ten Hag, and he says the new ownership wants to ensure that the youth talent already at the club will be developed he says players like arnacho mainu uh, trafford even so you need to find them game time this season while also trying to challenge for trophies i think this game versus nine forest we might rotate a little bit so the changes are mason mount mainu uh lisandro martinez and wabi saka come in so a big game for some of the younger players here they get a chance and like i said i feel like Kobe Mainu is the future starting midfielder of this team. He's got so much potential. He looks so good in real life, but he will be a big part of the series. And he gets to start in a kind of funny first for a second matchup. Now, Mainu, good ball to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, gonna try to play to Rashford. Actually, that works. Rashford back to Luke Shaw. Crossover, tries to find someone. Will find... Hoyland, and that's 1-0 to Manchester United. We are finding so much success from crossing the ball in. What a start to this game. Now, how does this chance even like, happen, though? Luke Shaw's a good cross, but no one's marking Hoyland. That is horrible marking from Nottingham Forest. And also a great finish by our starting striker, Rasmus Hoyland. Okay, 1-0 in four minutes. Yeah, that's a pretty good start right there. Yeah, Hudson Adoy is kind of running past Wambisaka here. Gets by Wambisaka. That's decent defending, though. Cross in by Hudson Adoy. Out by Frankie de Jong. Back in, though, it's going to go to Origi. Wait, she just pushed. Uh, was that Varane off him? That is some strength. Going for a teammate press here. 
Alejandro Martinez. Okay, boys, what are we doing here? Does someone want to tackle Origi or is he going to score? Goes out to Hudson Adoy. This is the longest tackle of all time in our box. Hudson Adoy gets it over to Mangala. Frank De Jong, good tackle by De Jong. Okay, we finally get it out. Now, I was thinking about uh, playing Trafford this game, but we got to keep Onana's confidence high. I mean, right now he's our starting keeper. We got to keep it that way. We are going to play Trafford in the cups, though, at least. Now, ball to Amisaka. Crossover. Why not again? Hoyland, he leaped for that at least. Mason Mount will collect it. Our number seven. The pressure of the seven shirt. So far, he's done good, and that's going to go over the net. Okay, Mason Mount gets it. Kobe Minu, who's got room here. Going to play a good ball to Hoyland. Hoyland will shoot, and that's off the defender, right off his chest, basically. Minu, Hoyland, Bruno, lays it off to Frank De Jong. Trying to look for a shot again. It's going to be blocked, though. So far, though, good-looking attacks. And you might say that for both teams here. Lenga probably wants revenge on Man United for selling him. Gets it through to Origi, and then Martinez does well there, at least. Corner in, out by Frank De Jong acrobatically. Good ball in, Origi. Stops. Duran, again, we got to do this again. Duran going for a tackle there. That was a good tackle. They're just having way too much possession, like, in our box. It's going to be dangerous at some point. Header in, Onana. Decent save. Second corner in. That is out by Wambi Saka. Just leaped over that guy. Will in, gets out to Rashford. Rashford finds Luke Shaw. Rashford in. Into Hoyland, Hoyland. Oh, we gotta play it to Bruno there. We gotta get that pass through. Bruno Fernandez, long ball to Luke Shaw. That's a great ball right there. Over to Rashford. Rashford tries to find Hoyland, but again, it's probably not the right pass. This is dangerous. Alanga to Origi. Okay, another goal stopped by I think Martinez there. Now one more chance for us in the first half. Hoyland needs help though. Hoyland gets it to Rashford. Rashford looking for a cross. Might cross it to Bruno Fernandez. Volley, man. Our crossing for some reason. We are creating so many chances off that. All right, final chance. The first half. Cross in. Varan is there for it, but it's not gonna reach him. Okay, first half. It's one nil. Not bad. But you could see why Nottingham Forest have won their first two games. They really don't look that bad. Hey, Mainu, that is a great tackle from the youngster again. Get right back to him. Now he's going to push this forward a little bit. Get it to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw into Hoyland. Get it back to Luke Shaw. Swing it over to Mainu. Mainu into Frank De Jong. Man, they got so many numbers back right now, though. Mainu finds Hoyland. Waits for Luke Shaw again. We're swinging this in. Why not? That's a great cross. Rashford gets to it, and that's 2-0 to United. Bro, Luke Shaw's crossing right now is so good. And Rashford scores to make it 2-0. We are actually looking pretty decent here. Just every cross that we swing in, like, looks dangerous. All right, 54th minute. That is 2-0. I would say this is a little bit better than I expected we'd do in the first three games, but I'm not trying to, like, jinx things too much. Mainu. To Rashford again. Rashford cuts inside. Actually gets to Bruno Fernandez, but that shot is going to be blocked. Cross in by Bruno to literally no one. Frank and Young from distance. Why not? Frank and Young from distance. That goes off uh, Tavares' face. Mason Mount to Frank and Young. Same chance again. Long shot. It goes right to the keeper, though. Again, another chance to counterattack here with uh, Wan Bisaka. Wan Bisaka gets it to Bruno. Bruno. Good turn there. Beautiful turn. Marcus Rashford to make it 3 0. And somehow they recovered from that. And uh, blocked the shot from behind. I don't even know how they did that. Bruno to Kobe Mainu. Chance for a long shot. Long shot by Kobe Mainu. That shot was not bad. Want to make this 3-0. This would be a great time to score this third. And Varane gets to it. And somehow that's cleared almost off the line. Okay, Mason Mount. Back to Bruno. Bruno gets it. Oh, try to get it to Mainu there. Bruno through to Hoyland, who's got some space a little bit. A little bit of space. Hoyland, Mason Mount. Get it back to one Bisaka. Over to... No, that was supposed to go to De Jong, not Mainu. That was a mistake. And is this going to lead to a chance for them? Please, no. Origi. Okay, Lissandro Martinez. Great tackle by him. They are coming right back, though. That's a shot. Onana. Decent save. Okay, first sub, Garnacho on for uh, Mason Mount. A little bit more pace on the wing. See if we can uh, settle this by scoring that third. And hopefully not by conceding their first, which this is dangerous. Martinez gets it though. Martinez, just clear it. Just clear that. You know, actually, that is a amazing pass to Garnacho. Hoyland, no, Garnacho was so free there. Crossover, that is going to be Salem, which Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw, okay, gets by him. That's going to be a chance to shoot. Martinez again saves a goal right there, though. I got to say, Maguire, Varan, and uh, Martinez have all been good. But Rashford through to Hoyland, Hoyland. Crossover. No, I meant that to be a little more powerful to Garnacho. That could have been nice. And they are still looking for this goal, though. Varane. Varane is not going to let them score. Okay, they might get one final chance here. Pass through. Come on. Don't let them score. Keep the clean sheet, please. Martinez. Great tackle. It's going to go back, though. Luke Shaw will tackle. And then Mainu clears it. We do keep the clean sheet. But we had a fight for it, though, still. First three games, that's three wins. We look much better than I thought we would in the first episode. Despite us facing, like, Spurs, only really good team we faced. And they're not exactly, like, elite. So I'd say so far we have not faced an elite team just yet. But we can't knock the start. Like, three games, three wins, only team on nine points. Just adding that one player, Frank and Young, to this team, you can see how much he's helped. And, hey, we still got about five days left of the transfer window here. And almost $140 million to spend still. So let me know in the comments down below. Who else should we sign in this first transfer window okay we have started our journey of making manchester united the best team in the world again with a new ambitious owner a new highly coveted sporting director it's our job to get united back to the top and we actually had a great start winning all three of our first three games in the premier league now we also made two signings in frankie de Jong, the huge signing and then also our new backup goalkeeper james trafford now currently it is transfer deadline day and we do have money to spend so we might have something here up our sleeve if you want to see more of this series then drop a like and subscribe down below and let's get straight into it. Now, to start the 
this episode, Tenog is meeting with Manchester United Sporting Director Dan Ashworth. Kind of like a deadline day meeting. And Ashworth says that Frankie de Jong so far has been amazing. He's exactly what we needed. Trafford will get his debut soon, but I think we have room for one more signing in this window. And Tenog says, who do you have in mind? And Ashworth says, trust me, he's a star. Now, first comment today, though, is saying to send scouts to find the new Ronaldo. I mean, obviously, with this being a United series, the youth system is going to be a part of it, a big part of it, which we'll probably get to that a little bit later today. Now, next one, you should sign Marco Elise from Crystal Palace. Yeah, there were a lot of comments saying we should sign Elise. And I think for the future, he's definitely one of our biggest uh, targets. But I don't want to take away time from Garnacho, and I feel like signing Elise would do that. And as this next comment says, Ineos is planning to get rid of Anthony and bring in Elise or Pedro Neto. Another part of that is I'm not sure about Anthony's future in this team. Now, he was injured in that first episode, so he hasn't played yet, but he's uh, he's going to be back today. And I'm just not sure if he's good enough for this team. And I feel like if we eventually lead to sell him, then we can bring in a player like Elise or Pedro Neto as his replacement. So Elise and Neto remain like big targets for the future in this series. But I think first we're going to figure out if we keep Anthony or not, which I think I'll give him to at least January to prove if he belongs in our Manchester United team. But okay, transfer to the day. We got 10 hours left and we are going to make a signing here. Now we have a budget of 134 million. So far, a big signing in De Jong, a decent signing in Trafford. I feel like we have room for one more and I want it to be a forward, either a striker, a winger, some kind of forward. Boyland is of course our clearing out starter. We're going to spend this season developing him as our new starting striker. So I feel like Martial's future in this team is once again, very questionable. So I was thinking we should sign another striker to this team, another forward. Now it's another uh, French player, but it might not be who you're thinking of. No, it is not Kylian Mbappe. He's going to Real Madrid. He's not signing for us. As much as he'd be amazing in this team, that's just not happening. But what about instead as a backup to Hoyland? Maybe more so like a third choice striker. What about Sekou Mara from Southampton? The 21 year old French striker. Now this guy has potential. In real life, he looks really good. Now he's six foot. He's got decent pace, some decent shooting, um, decent jumping, decent strength. So he's a uh, very much like a typical striker. I'd call him more of like a modern striker, like a pressing striker. And with uh, Southampton being relegated to the championship, we can get him for like really cheap here for a player with high potential. Now the plan is to uh, actually keep Martial this season or at least until January because I want at least like one experienced striker on the squad with Hoyland and Mara. But I think eventually Mara will become the backup to Hoyland and we get rid of Martial. That is if Mara develops into the player we think he could be. If we can unlock some of that potential there. And hey, there's news reports saying that he's the next uh, future French star. Maybe the national team, maybe just a French football. So it sounds like a really good investment and he could be a superstar in this series later on. So we're going to offer 3.7. I mean, that's nothing to us. They want a 1% sell on clause. You know what we'll do that. So a 3.7 plus a 1% sell on clause. And just like that, we have signed Sekumara, the future of French football who's not named Kylian Mbappe. So for the future of this team, this could be a huge, huge signing. So Mara, welcome to Manchester United. So that means in this first window, we sign, of course, De Jong, Trafford, and Mara. I mean, one big superstar, two young players. I feel like that's reasonable. That's a decent, like, first opening window. And with that, the window is now shut. Now, in the comments, I also saw a lot of players you guys suggested, like uh, Toribo, Branthwaite, even Antonio Silva. There's a lot of players here on our short list that are maybe we don't sign them now, but for the future are definitely targets in the series. And some of them could be pretty big. Now, after news broke that Mara signed for Manchester United, Kylian Mbappe comments on the signing, saying that it's a great move for him. He's got a big future for the France national team, so we're happy to see him compete at a big club. There's a lot of hype around Sekou Mara, but we gotta remember, this is not Southampton anymore. There's a lot of pressure playing at Old Trafford, so we'll see if he can uh, live up to the hype. Now, our next game is humongous, though. Our fourth game of the year, we are facing Arsenal now. So, a game in hand, we now sit in third. Arsenal, they start the year off with uh, two wins and a loss, so not terrible. And uh, we had a good win against Spurs, but other than that, we beat teams that are very well below us. This right here is probably the best team we've faced so far. Okay, so Anthony is now back from his injury officially, so I'm gonna put him on the bench over Diallo. And I think I'll put Mara on the bench as well. I'm not sure if he gets his debut this game, but he's on the bench in case there's an opportunity there. But otherwise, we go with that lineup against uh, Arsenal. Same lineup as the first episode. You guys did say that we should play Maguire Martinez together, so we're gonna try that this game. And yeah, so far, it's been a great start. Three games, three wins. Is this where we get a reality check, though? Just something about that first episode, like the teams we faced weren't that good. We did beat Spurs pretty easily, but they were like pretty bad. So this right here is a really, really true test at the Emirates Stadium. So Rasmus gets kicked off. Can we make it four wins out of four? Okay, Hoyland. Good start. Okay, that wasn't a big pass to uh, Dallo. Almost a good start. Jorginho gets it up to uh, Berardi. Why do Arsenal always sign Berardi? Isn't that a signing that they always do? I feel like I always see that happen. Like Berardi either goes to Chelsea or Arsenal or something like that. Okay, Casemiro. That is a tremendous tackle though. Hoyland gets to De Jong. De Jong. De Jong. What a pass to Garnacho. That is beautiful. Garnacho. Hoyland. Get it to Dallo. Dallo. Garnacho. Feeds it to Bruno. Bruno. Through Hoyland. No, that was going to be such a good chance. Hoyland was right there. Okay, not a bad start. Odegaard. Okay, Martinez. Great tackle right there. I was going to say, Maguire, Varane, and Martinez have been so good so far, but Maguire is beat on pace there, and somehow Martinez saves me, though. We kind of stole it from behind there. That was so lucky. Okay, Maurice, we're seeing the pace of this game right here. There's uh, a lot of back and forth so far. Frank de Jong to Casemiro. I want to shoot this so bad. Casemiro, that's some good dribbling, though. Gets it to Frank de Jong. We're shooting that. That's going to be off Saliba, and it will be a free kick or a corner. It's going to be a corner. As a nervous Eric Tenog watches on, Casemiro. 
Firmino header attempt. Good save by Raya in goal. Corner in again. Maguire gets your big head to it. It goes over the net though. Maguire. We need that on target. Right, Rashford gets it back to Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw has been amazing so far as well. He's probably got like what? Maybe like three assists so far. He's looking for another one here. Luke Shaw is going to pick out a cross to Garnacho. Raya clears it out though. Okay, let's try this again. That's a good looking corner. Casemiro Zinchenko is going to clear it off the line. Okay, we are close to our first goal this game though. All oh, Frank and Young. That once again is beautiful. Hoyland. Through to De Jong. Frank De Jong looking still for his first goal for United, but that shot's blocked. Garnacho is going to fire that one in. That was an interesting looking cross. Garnacho, Dallo, you know he can cross. Oh my, oh, it looked good, but it's not going to go to Rashford. Virginio gets it out to Berardi. Where is Saka at? Is Saka still at Arsenal? Because I feel like he still should be starting over Berardi, and Jorginho is instead going to score. How many chances do we just have to score? And then they go down to our end and score immediately. Berardi played a good pass here in Jorginho. No, it was actually Odegaard. That quick pass to Jorginho destroyed us. Okay, 1-0 down against Arsenal. We don't look horrible, though, so far. I feel like we're still pretty confident here. We can get a, at least a point. As long as they don't score that second. I'm saying that. They might score their second now. Jesus gets to Jorginho, and somehow someone saved us there. I couldn't even see who. The Arsenal are starting to turn up a little bit. As Parte gets it out of guard. Man, their passing is all of a sudden so much better. That goal is giving them a lot of confidence, but Martinez... No, we got to clear that. No, we got to clear that. I thought we had it. Martinez made that tackle and I thought we actually had the ball, but we just got it stolen again. And it's 2-0 to Arsenal now. Bro, I literally thought we had the ball here, but I just like could not get it out of his feet. Okay, this is looking like a reality check, to be honest. We had a good start, but all of a sudden Arsenal are taking over this game now. Okay, one goal at a time. Let's try and get back in this. Frankie Young out to Diego Dallo. Dallo, chance to cross. Cross looks good. Saliba clears it, but is that gonna, not going to amount to a shot? Rashford, Bruno. Bruno, a chance for a shot maybe. Hold it up. Get it to Rashford. Rashford gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland. Oh, man. I was trying to get it to Bruno there. He was so open. And instead, that's going to be halftime. Okay, down 2-0. Other than the first game versus Wolves where we went down 2-0 immediately, this right here is pretty much our first uh, big taste of adversity. Like 2-0 down away from home against a very good team. So let's see how we respond. Okay, Rashford leads to a good steal. Now he is running forward here. He needs someone to help get this team going. Casemiro, Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong tries to turn there. Thomas Partey. What a tackle that was. Jesus gets it. Odegaard. Odegaard's going to shoot there. No, he's not. He's going to get it back to Partey. We're kind of lucky there. But Partey comes forward and Onana makes a decent save there. Okay, Bruno pass to Garnacho in so much space here. Oh, Garnacho is not going to beat Zinchenko though. And their defense has just been all over us this game. Every time we think we have space, we don't. Bruno to Hoyland. Hoyland once again, case in point. They are marking everyone so tightly. Bruno, De Jong, Frank De Jong has room to shoot here. Going to try to go for, I was trying to get a corner at least there, but we can't even get the shot away. Yeah, we desperately need some subs here. Now, Jesus against Maguire. This is not a not a matchup I like. Jesus, Maguire. Maguire wins that though. That's decent defending. Might be a little bit too late this game. Bruno to Rashford. We're just not beating anyone on pace right now. And on their side, they're beating all of our team for pace as they do here. Jesus, no one goes over and it's going to be 3-0 to Arsenal. Yeah, that call, they say reality check for this team. The first like 25 minutes were great, but since then it's been terrible. Okay, Mainu on for Casemiro. I'm going to give Mara his debut, but I'm bring him on for Rashford and then uh, Anthony on the right. Yeah, I'm going to try Mara on the left wing. I'm going to try that. I mean, he has okay enough pace to maybe play there. So see if Anthony, uh, Mainu, or Mara can give this team some energy. Bruno to Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw. See if we can just one goal at a time. Maybe get back in this. Young finds Anthony. Not a bad spot shot. And Anthony's shot goes very far wide there. He was like so off balance. Man, this might get worse. This might get very much so worse. Sack is on. So Sack is still at Arsenal. Gets it back though to Odegaard. And it's going to be 4-0 to Arsenal. All right, now this is getting embarrassing. Anthony Hoyland gets it over to Bruno. Into Sekumara who shoots. And okay, Sekumara scores on his debut. Mara, I need you to grab the ball though. Grab the ball. He doesn't want to grab the ball. Okay, talk about our new signing at least. Uh, that's a consolation for us. That's a good finish from him on the left wing. Welcome to Manchester United. Maybe the next uh, French superstar. I mean, there's a small sign of life at least. I was not expecting that. Might be uh, a little bit too late though. All right, final two subs. Hoyland off for Martial and then uh, Wambi Saka on for Shaw. Now, Jesus has been a nightmare to defend in this game. Saka, Young still, and we do survive that. We don't concede a fifth. How nice. Now, Mainu has a pass, maybe. Whoa. Okay, what a pass from Mainu. Mara gets it back to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw to Bruno. Bruno, finesse shot. Oh, Raya's going to save that. Not going to lie, though. We're ending this game a little bit better. Corner in. That goes to... I can't even see you. That was Mara, actually. Oh, Saka, please stop. They're going to make it five. Saka, please stop. Wanna be Saka. Tackle. Oh, Wambi Saka. That is one of the best tackles I've seen, I think. That was timed perfectly. Frankie Young, Mara, one more shot, maybe? Stops. That's some good hold up play, though. Frankie Young dinks it up to someone, but that's not going to reach anyone. Might have one more chance at something, Mara. Is that handball? That's handball on them, I think. All right, why not just take a free kick here? Why not? We're going for an outside the boot special. Bruno Fernandez from 31 
meters out and that pretty much sums up this game here so a 4-1 loss to arsenal that is a reality check we just pretty much fell apart in the whole middle of that game the uh, beginning and end was not terrible though so of course arsenal's dominance is taking the headlines but hey sekumara scored his first goal for united like that was totally unexpected especially from a position he can't actually play like left wing he scored his first goal so that was uh, looking good already making dan ashworth look like a genius but okay that loss sees us fall all the way down to uh fifth place after four games so first to fifth that's a pretty big drop now next up we start our champion league campaign now, of course you have the same group as the united had in real life in this group united finished bottom we're gonna try to not let that happen this time we should finish second in this group we should not finish below second but this first game versus Bayern, i said arsenal was probably the best thing we faced and it might be arguable but i feel like Bayern are maybe on that same level as arsenal so just another tough tough game now before this game though in ten Hag's pre-game press conference he says that we are a club that is in transition and there will be setbacks but i'm eager to see how this team responds because that's when a team shows who they truly are now yeah this team is a uh, pretty insane on paper but if we could respond here that show that this team has the potential to get back to the top now i think i gotta play varan martinez first byron i feel like i can't trust mcguire to mark coleman and uh, sane i think other than that same lineup so after we just got smacked this is a huge game right here and yeah we are facing harry kane who is potentially a future target in this series i mean who knows his time at byron feels like it's always temporary you know short term maybe there's a spot in the future for him in this team i don't know but opening day of the champions league byron versus manchester united now in real life this byron team may be struggling but in this game on paper they are an insane team so they're definitely as good as Arsenal. I just hope this game doesn't go like the Arsenal game. Now, Luke Shaw to Rashford. We've been having success crossing a lot, but last game we didn't cross. We didn't have that many good crosses. Casemiro gets it to Diong. Now, Diong going to try to find Garnacho. Good ball there. Garnacho stops, gets it to Rasmus Hoyland who shoots, but that shot's going to be blocked. And already we are getting so stretched thin. Martinez, though, insane tackle right there. Like I've been saying, we made a lot of good tackles uh, so far in this series. Probably not a good thing because we've been having to make a lot of good tackles because we're defense is always under pressure. So it's actually a bad thing. Just like this, Kane, Kane, Martinez. I'm going to say it. That's another good tackle, though. Casemiro to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. Oh, man, that pass has got to be cleaner, though. That is such a weak pass from Shaw. Sané gets it to Musiala. Varane. Again, it's a good tackle, though. Hoyland, Garnacho has got space. He's got Bruno. Bruno, gonna play it right back to Garnacho. We just got no room here, though. Garnacho to De Jong, lays it off to Casemiro, goes for a long shot. That is uh, blocked by Kim and Jay. Okay, bad giveaway. Bruno Fernandez. Chance for a finesse shot. That was blocked by Hoyland, I think. It's not a bad little, like, 10-minute uh, spell for us, though. Garnacho, good ball to Dallow. Into Bruno. Bruno gets it right back to Dallow, but Davies, his speed catches up. Bro, their attack is just, like, so insanely fast and lethal. Harry Kane. Okay, Martinez can't get over there. Oh, man, don't let him shoot. Do not let him shoot. Dallow, Dallow, good tackle again. How many times have I said good tackle this game? Probably, like, what, seven so far? Rashford has got Hoyland in space. Hoyland, this is not bad. Hoyland, back to Rashford. Rashford, oh, was such an awkward pass, though. And we are just not finding any space. Okay, Casemiro, gonna try something or not show that did not work. We got a free kick off a handball. De Jong, gonna play it to Varane. Get it back to De Jong. Into Bruno who has a chance to shoot, and oh, that was our best chance so far. Bruno, that was a very good chance to shoot. I think he just uh, sliced it a little far wide there. That is so close, though. Young out to Garnacho. Garnacho cuts inside very well here. Garnacho goes all the way, maybe himself. Hoyland bounces to him. How does Neuer make that save, though? What a reaction save. Okay, that's two back-to-back -back really good chances for us. We just can't score it. Oh, Coleman is just so much faster than uh, Dallo. Duran comes over. Martinez needs to come over here. Goes right there, and then Onana will grab it. Wait, wait. That's a penalty? How is that a penalty? I thought we got the ball or at least like we didn't get much of the player. Are you telling me this is actually a penalty? Uh, no, that's not a penalty. Oh, no, I got the ball way before the contact was made. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. I actually don't think that was a penalty. All right, Kane versus Onana. Onana? Okay, how am I supposed to save that? Bro, that feels so unlucky, but Kane scores their first goal of the game. Bro, Onana got the ball before there was ever even contact. And that just hurts because we got a good spell there. We just couldn't score and instead they score. Frank de Jong, Scott Bruno. Oh, that pass is just nowhere near good enough and have one final chance for halftime de Jong to rashford rashford's got crossing options crosses it garnacho oh garnacho that is almost a free header it's almost harder to head that over than that than in goal bro just so many chances we've not taken any of them we could have like two or three goals this game instead second half starts and we're down one nil bruno to dallo garnacho's running dallo's gonna get it to bruno instead no he's not because kimmich just locked him down sane versus luke shot they look so dangerous every time they attack they're just so much quicker than us like musiala komen and sane what a what a dangerous attack how does that ball get through though Martinez makes another good tackle, but how did that ball get through? Hoyland to Luke Shaw, Rashford completely offside. Luke Shaw, though, gets it to Hoyland. It'll be our chance to get back in it, but Hoyland needs an option here. He's going to try to find Rashford. He's got no support, though, and he's stuck in a bad spot. Kimmich gets it through. Komen, Komen, Martinez. That's such a dangerous tackle on a yellow card. Thankfully, not a penalty or red card. We got 30 minutes. Might need subs soon. We need some life. Frank De Jong, great ball to Garnacho. Garnacho, Hoyland to 
Bruno Fernandez, great move, and Bruno ties this game up. Finally, some life in this team. And a great finish by our captain, Bruno Fernandez. Once again, though, started with a pass from De Jong to Garnacho. We scored like that a couple times in the first episode. But Bruno, that is a very big finish, finally. Okay, 1-1. One, one, I'm bringing on Mason Mount for Rashford. Our super sub from episode 1-2. One, See if he can find something in this game. Oh my, Bruno, what a steal. Bruno, we can't mess this up. We can't mess this up. It's gonna be Hoyland and that's 2-1. What are they doing at the back? Bruno just swiped it and Hoyland gets the tap in. Bro, Bayern have just had like a five minute collapse and we have taken the lead. I think it was Kim Min Jae, right, bro? What is he doing at the back? I don't know, but Bruno executed perfectly the tap in. Okay, this has gone from being 1-0 down and not looking good to 2-1 uh, to Manchester United. Can we uh, keep this now? Because that right there is a big momentum shift. Frank de Jong to Bruno, Bruno. Okay, Bruno and Hoyland are stumbling over each other. Okay, to Dallo, Dallo, get on a run. Mason Mount, Dallo, Dallo, gets it to Bruno. Bruno, a chance to shoot. Delict, is that a penalty? No, it's not. Of course it's not. I never get penalty calls. And all of a sudden, the feeling in this game has shifted so much. Mason Mount gets it to Bruno. Bruno, good hold up play there into Mason Mount. Mason, crossover to Garnacho. Garnacho, what a finish. Are you kidding me? That's 3 1. And that's maybe the goal of the series so far from Alejandro Garnacho. How did this game change so fast? Okay, though, this is one of the best finishes I've seen so far this year, though. Garnacho, what a finish. Not only the technique, but also the precision and the power on the finish. Like Neuer, that he has no chance. What a turnaround. Bro, this is so unexpected, but it's beautiful. I am like shocked here. We can't concede two though in the final 15 minutes. There's still time left, so I'm not gonna not gonna jinx it. Just keep playing the same way we have in the second half. Bruno. Lays it off to Dallo. They are stretched thin here. Dallo. Cross in. Dallo. Dallo. That cross is horrible. That was not a shot. We know you tried to cross that. And Loki and Bayern are looking like Bayern in real life right now. Just, uh, they played great or played good, but that one goal we scored and their confidence fell apart. Don't let me just jinx it. Oh, don't let me jinx it here, please. No, Kane's gonna score. Oh, man. We got four minutes. I am not losing this lead. Why did I even say anything? No. Okay, we're making subs, and I am not letting this comeback happen. We are going to do Maguire for Martinez. We are going to do Juan Bisaka for Shaw, switching with Dallo. Uh, let's do Martial for Hoyland, and then Mainu for... Mainu? Yeah, Mainu for Bruno. And we'll put Diong at Cam. We got three minutes to hold the ball. I'm not losing this comeback, especially after I jinxed it, bro. Mainu. Mainu. Good composure there. Grand, let's try to get this ball a little more forward, though. Dallo, Dallo, you gotta be kidding me, Dallo. Dallo, he is benched next game. That touch was diabolical. Is he trying to sabotage me? Okay, we got a minute. Oh, guys, a minute. Just don't let them get forward. I knew that is good pressing and we survive. I can't believe we got that close in the end, but still a win versus Byron away. When we were down 1-0, that is way better than I expected. I don't know if I should be proud of how good he played or how bad Byron were in that little stretch where we took the lead. And yeah, finally Bruno scores his first goal of the season. And we start our Champions League campaign off with a win. So that's beautiful. I mean, what did Tanag say? It's not about the setback. It's you respond after a setback and i think this team just responded so uh showing some character now so far in the episode though we faced arsenal and bayern next game it does not get any easier we now face liverpool in the carabao cup so this is the round this is round three so round of 32 i think now it'd be so nice to win the carabao cup in this first season but it's also a very good chance to play some youngsters in this game so of course with this matchup there's headlines saying one of england's biggest rivalries is next but youth will be the focus here now, apparently liverpool didn't get the message because they're playing pretty much a full first team so that's great but okay i'm giving trafford his first game for United, James Trafford. So his first appearance for the club, but it pretty much is a heavily rotated team here. We got Mara up top, then uh, Martial, Mount Anthony, McTominay, Mainu, and then a back line of Malassia, Lindelof, Maguire, and Wambisaka, and of course, Trafford in goal. So big game for uh, Mata, Mainu, as we face a pretty much like first team Liverpool squad. So I am just uh, not sure how this is going to go. At least our defense is not like fully, like fully mid 70s, but yeah, Jurgen Klopp did not get the memo here. They're supposed to play a rotated team in the Carabao Cup, not his complete first team with also David Alaba. Okay, Salah just destroyed Malassia there. He is gonna stop. He's gonna try to play it. Does play it. Gravin Bertrand shoots and okay, already five minutes in. We are 1-0 down to Liverpool. That was just way too easy. Trafford's uh, first attempted save at United. It's uh, not really close. Although we did not cover him there at all. I don't think I blame him. Okay, wonderful start to this game. I mean, maybe if this was like the quarterfinals round of 16, I'd play a better team. But Jurgen, this is the like round of 32. You're supposed to play a rotated team. Oh, McAllister gets by and okay, we are so slow here. Good. Okay, good still Lindelof and we do get it out. Jeez, this is gonna be a night Nightmare. Now, Liverpool, though, they are very much susceptible to counterattacks, which Anthony gets by here. Anthony Wambisaka gets it to Martial. Martial gonna play it to Mainu. Mainu waits for a chance. Gets it to... Oh, man, Mara, I need you to just back up a little bit there. And that's like a free shot. Okay, what is this counterattack? McTominay, what are we doing? Thankfully, okay, never mind. I take back my insult. McTominay played him offside beautifully. At least, I think. Mount over to Mainu. Mainu 
Chance to shoot, and what a good shot from Mainu. Now, I think there was some comments saying that it's uh, Mainu, not Mainu. That might be right, but you guys always give me like seven different ways to pronounce a player's name. So I feel like no matter what, there's always people telling me that I'm pronouncing it wrong. Even if I follow literally instructions in the comments. I feel like it is probably Mainu, though. That sounds more familiar. Callister McAllister, please no. Gets it. Oh, man, I should not leave Diaz there. Why did I leave Diaz? I was so worried about the guy with the ball that I just left Diaz to shoot. And it's 2-0 to Liverpool. Yeah, I should have let Maguire just handle him. I just basically gave him a free goal there. Great. All right, 29 minutes in. 2-0 down. Even if we lose this game, let's see if we can get some youngsters like showcasing their skills a little bit. Like uh, Mara, who has the ball here. Martial, Mount, plays it through to Mara. Mara tanks it. And what a finish by Mara. Bro, Seku Mara is the next star of this team. He's already looking like it. And okay, 2-1, we're back in this. Bro, he's a clinical finisher. Like Mason Mount, a great pass to get by there. But Mara, one touch under pressure, still finishes. Bro, he is looking so good so far. What a tidy finish. Also, where's the red card for Allison? That should be a red. Okay, we have life though. 2-1. That is embarrassing for Liverpool. Mara, Get sit to Mason Mount. Mason Mount, same thing. Come on. Let's tie this up. That'll be so embarrassing. Wannabe Saka. That was supposed to be a through ball. What was that? Oh, Diaz. Darwin, please stop. Maguire, I need you to get back. Maguire, Maguire, Maguire on Salah. Salah stopped there so quickly. Callister gets it through. Salah, Maguire, Maguire. That is expert defending on Mo Salah. Mara to Mason Mount. Mason, we're going to try to play to Martial. Mason, actually, a great ball to Martial who's in. Martial. Okay, this is not a good angle to shoot from. Going to drag it back to actually no one, though. I knew. Two Mason Mount, Mason Mount. There's a chance to shoot. Mason Mount. Finesse shot right off the defender. My new chance to shoot, and that's going to go wide. Okay, now we're getting a yellow card for Lindelof. Bro, what are these refs on? That's not even a yellow. Diaz just literally flopped. Bro, there's some life in this team now, though, after that first goal. Come on. Manu gets it out to Wabisaka. To Anthony. Anthony has got Mason. Oh, that was not the right pass by me. That was a fail. That was not the right pass. Maguire, I need you to take out Diaz here. No, we got to take him out. Darwin. I'm looking for that pass. Gets to it. And then Lindelof. That is such good defending. It is desperate, but it's good defending. Okay. First half 2-1. We're still in this. It has been a little bit rough though. If we could somehow win this, it'd be a miracle. But you know what? We believe. Robertson plays it through. Oh no. Darwin Nunez is doing roulettes in front of us. And then Lindelof. Okay. Okay. Trafford. Thank you for grabbing that. He was a little bit slow on the reaction speed there, but you know what? At least he grabbed it. Last year, Mara versus Van Dyke. He's not going to win that battle. At least not yet. McAllister plays it through to Nunez. This might be three. Might be three. Again, Lindelof. Oh, okay. McAllister. Just get it out. Just clear it. McTominay. Just clear it. Okay. What just happened there? Was he offside? Yeah, he was offside. Man, we are getting so lucky at the back right now. And okay, Nunez doing moves here. Gets it into Salah. I need someone to control here. Lindelof. Okay. What? What just happened there? I am not sure. But at least they don't score. Manu, Manu, Manu collects that ball. Anthony has been quiet. Gets it to Mara. Now Mara to Juan Bisaka. That's inside. Gets it. No, we should have played that to Mara, not Mount. Oh, and we get the, we keep giving the ball bad spots, and it leads to just counterattacks for them. And it might be where we lose the game. Nunez avoids that pass, though, or turns it down, and that's probably why they didn't score there. We got 20 minutes. There's still a chance here. There's still a slight chance. Mara to Mount. Mount gets it to Malasia. Malasia finds Martial. Martial, oh, that turn was just so slow for Martial. He's like a snail. Oh, Maguire can get that tackle. This is not good. Nunez, Lindelof, I need you. Lindelof, great tackle by Lindelof. Mason Mount, great ball to Anthony. Anthony cuts inside. Anthony goes for a finesse shot. That's blocked by Alaba. Okay, two subs. Bruno on for Mount for some firepower. Then Diallo on for Anthony. Anthony was rinsed, but Bruno cross in. Maguire, big head to it. Rebound. Oh, Allison's going to catch it. Maguire, that was your chance. Bro, the team is showing some fight, though, this game, despite us facing literally Liverpool's best team. Pass in. Maguire, that's a rough tackle, but that is apparently clean. Manu to Diallo. Diallo, we need space here. Diallo gets it to Manu. Manu turns into Mara. Mara, pass over. Now, keep it in, please. Keep it in. Gets it back. Okay, what is this? Bruno, is he offside? I think he's offside. Wait, where's the ball at? Somehow gets all the way to Martial. What is happening here? Mara, chance to turn. Oh, Van Dyke just got there. Bro, that was just chaos. Oh, Diaz versus Maguire. Maguire is literally like jogging. He's got nothing left. We've expended so much energy, but somehow they didn't score there. Oh, that was actually a save from a Trafford. Okay, good save by him. And we got two minutes, so we got to steal this and then literally run down the field. And that is if they don't score, which they do not score. Okay, we got one chance here, maybe. Menu gets it to Ama Diallo. Diallo, I need all your fresh legs. Get it back to Menu. Menu into Bruno. Over to Diallo. Diallo shoots. Allison saves. Mara's there for it. We've actually tied this game up. Are you kidding me? 93rd minute. Seku Mara scores the equalizer. That is such a lucky goal, but I'll take it. How did we actually just tie this game up? I cannot believe what I've just seen. Diallo gets a good shot away. Allison can't save it. And Mara is there for the rebound. The youngster scores two against Liverpool. And this might be going to extra time. Bro, that is embarrassing. We are, we are there facing our second team, basically. And we've pushed them now to extra time. What a comeback and show a fight from this team, though. Oh, we're going straight to penalties. I forgot. 
forgot we're going straight to penalties. Okay, Bruno Fernandez, first penalty. Come on, Bruno. Bruno, come on. Beautiful penalty. I forgot it goes straight to penalties. Mo Salah versus James Trafford. Oh, Salah, what a penalty. Okay, Anthony Martial. We're going to go top right again. Top right again. Top right again. Allison's going to save it. McAllister is going to go. Oh, I thought he was going to go right. Okay, big Harry Maguire. Maguire, we're going top left with power. Top left with power. Maguire, great penalty, actually. David Alaba, he's going to go left. He's going to go left. He's going to go left. Oh, Trafford almost got that. Okay, Sekou Mara, the hero from regular time, goes bottom right. Good penalty by Mara. Cody Gakpo, we need to save this. We need to save this. Trafford, what a save by Trafford. Ahmad Diallo to even the score, and he does score. Trafford, if you save this, we beat Liverpool's first team. James Trafford, our new backup goalie versus Diaz. Did he actually save it? He actually saved it. What a save by Trafford. And we actually beat Liverpool. What a win. Bro, Mara and Trafford, the two young signings, are the heroes of the day. I thought this was going to fall in from the save. Like, he got one hand to it. What a save by Trafford. The reaction speed just barely goes wide, and we beat Liverpool. That is embarrassing for them. But what a win for the youth of this team. Bro, who knew the Carabao Cup could be such an exciting game? And that was only, what, the round of 32? Like, that's insane. What a win, though. Hey, that shows Trafford, Mara, Kobe Mainu, like, there are some really good young players in this team. I mean, Mara's got three goals in two games. The future of Man United is very bright, and it's maybe about to get even brighter. As Eric Tenag meets with Dan Ashworth again, and Ashworth says one of the new ownership's biggest goals is to revamp our youth scouting system. So we've invested a lot in terms of scouts and infrastructure, and our goal is to find the next David Beckham, the next Class of 92, maybe even the next Ronaldo. So it's finally time to send our youth scouts out. Now, I think for this first scouting run, I want to focus on England. I want to find, like, the heart of our youth academy, an English player. So we're going to send all of our three scouts to England. I don't think looking for any like specific position, maybe a forward though, maybe an attacker or no, let's look for technically gifted from England. Let's do that. I think for our first youth player, we try to find, it's got to be that young English player to like carry this team into the new era. So that's our first uh, scouting run. So we'll see what the scouts bring back. Now, next up is again, the Champions League. We're facing Galatasaray. Now they won their first game too. So this is currently first and second in this group. If we can beat Galatasaray, we'd be in a very good spot in the Champions League. And we go with our regular first team this game. Yeah, win this, you can imagine how much better we'd be at the spot we'd be in compared to United in real life. I still can't believe that they finished up uh, bottom in this group. That is uh, pretty bad. So win this and we will be far away from that. But okay, I mean, that first loss for Arsenal was pretty bad, but win versus Bayern, win versus Liverpool in dramatic fashion. It's actually not been a bad episode. And Casemiro is going to launch this one. Casemiro, what a shot. That right there is probably the goal of the series so far. Oh my, Casemiro. I knew he could shoot long shots, but maybe not like this. That is so far out and that thing is just hit perfectly. The keeper is full stretch. He has no chance. Okay, what a start to this game. Man, I've almost taken so many long shots with him but i feel like that's my first actually time shooting with him and then it goes in like that yeah this team is starting to uh get back to form a little setback did not hurt us too much now, hopefully i didn't just jinx us this game that's way too early to say something like that now, for zaha of course the former united player cardi it's actually not a bad team i mean i can see why they'd maybe finish above them in real life but united finishing in fourth that is uh that is pretty much unquestionable think of that's dangerous dallo just clear it we'll clear it all right frank de Jong being that distributor from the back beautiful pass now luke shaw plays it up to marcus marcus turns patience gets it to de Jong. De Jong to bruno bruno left footed shot blocked rashford rebound shot and that goes wide and we've seen some uh good goals today though and i'm trying to score more bruno oh, okay i probably should have kept that it's fine bruno lays it off to dallo dallo uh hoyland was calling for it rashford is gonna get it no he's not gonna get it casemiro what a win bruno Two Frank and Young shoots, and then it's going to be blocked, though, and then it also is blocked again. Okay, I'm seeing their defense is pretty wide open here. But also, unfortunately, our defense is too. Zaha versus Dalo, Dalo, Dalo. That is some good tackling. Frank and Young. Now, Frank and Young, you see his passing. It's literally insane. He has added a whole new dimension to this team. Now, Luke Shaw, cross in. That's going to be a corner. We are looking decent. Bruno, cross in. Casemiro for his second. Casemiro has two. This time from a corner. Okay, 27 minutes in. This has been a very good game so far. It has been the uh, Casemiro show. Okay, now, the important thing is to just not let them score. So they score one, they'll be back in this. The momentum will shift. Martinez, a good tackle. Okay, that was risky, but it's actually a beautiful pass. From the man of the match so far, uh, Casemiro up to Hoyland. Hoyland, that pass was so slow, though. Bruno out to Lucas Shaw. Is that his first name? Probably not. Luke Shaw to Bruno. Bruno, that pass was overhit, though. Rashford, Hoyland. Hoyland, hold it up. Play it to Garnacho. Hoyland, that, yeah, that was too much of a pass for Hoyland right there. I should know better. Yeah, Cardi gets it back. They got space here. This is not good. Casemiro's gonna go for a slide tackle. That was way too early, though. Uh, Mertens, good tackle for Rand, and we do survive that. Okay, De Jong over to Hoyland. Gets it to Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw early cross goes to Bruno. That was almost uh, really good. No, Cardi gets by Martinez there. We, we have no chance to get back here. Cardi. Okay. 
You're telling me he actually didn't shoot there? We actually both ran by him? That is some of the worst defending I think I've ever seen. Oh, that is so bad for me. I did not think he was gonna pass that. We literally just ran right by him. That is so bad. Okay, it's 2-1. Kind of the worst time we can see to run on halftime. Because 2-0 is a lot different than 2-1. Frank and Young, we have one more chance for halftime. De Jong gets back to Bruno. Oh, the ref's gonna blow the whistle. Ref, you can't blow the whistle there. Okay, like I said, 2-1 is a lot different than 2-0. So this game is nowhere near over just yet. Rashford up to Hoyland. Hoyland holds it up. Gets it back to Rashford. Now Rashford cross up to Hoyland, header attempt, and that goes right at the keeper. Good pass to Icardi. Now gets it up to Mertens, and I missed a tackle, and they're going to score. Oh, I just left on Nana out to dry again. Dries Mertens scores two, and this is 2-2 now. Oh, I just got totally fooled by this. Like right there, I thought he was going to shoot, but he kind of just dummied it and then took his time. Oh, how have we let them back in this game that easily? It's 2-2. Yeah, this is definitely now a game. Casemiro, two. Bruno, Bruno's got space here. Bruno needs more pace, though. Gets by a few, but Sasha Bowie's going to stop him. Hey, Luke Shaw, great tackle on Ziyech, though. Come on. We got space here. Now Luke Shaw finds Hoyland. Hoyland gets it through to Rashford. Rashford, good touch. And okay, 3-2 lead restored. That all started with a Luke Shaw steal. And then Rashford gets the goal. Okay, can we not let them score anymore? This really should be like 3-0, not 3-2. But Rashford, very nice finish. Come on, 60th minute, 3-2. We need to not make any more mistakes now. Herrera gets it out to Ziyech. Ziyech doing a little moves here, which I don't like. That is competitor mode. I'm noticing a lot more skills every now and again. They're not as bad as used to be, though. I feel like they don't do skills so obnoxiously like they used to in a previous game. Where competitor mode's actually not bad. It definitely makes CPU play a lot better. They're more like unpredictable, I think. Okay, please, no. Be predictable now. Please be predictable. Mertens gets into a Cardi, and then Onana oh, can't make the save. It is going to be 3-3 in this game. Again, they're just so unpredictable now with their dribbling. Like, I, I keep going the wrong way. I keep thinking they're going to pass when they shoot, and then they shoot when they pass. Okay, 68th minute. This is all tied up again, and I feel like that's probably not the last goal in this game. Ashford gets it to Hoyland. Now, man, when they score, their defense looks terrible. They're, like, so out of position. Luke Shaw cross to Garnacho, and it's 4-3. What is actually happening in this game? It's like they score, we score, then they score. Garnacho makes it 4-3, though. Like, what am I playing right now? Okay, 20 minutes left. We again have a one-goal lead. And we keep it now. Demirbai gets it out. It's on the right to Wilfred Zaha. Dallow, Dallow, Dallow. Great tackle by Dallow, man. Now, I didn't say that he was going to be benched, but this game he has played well. I'll give him that. So, I'd say he's not in the doghouse anymore with me. Casemiro gets it to Bruno. There's a chance to make it. Make it five. Garnacho to Rasmus Hoyland. Oh, Hoyland, Hoyland. You got to score that. Oh, that's a tap in. That needs to be a goal. Okay, for that, he's going on the bench. Uh, Anthony on for Garnacho. And then Mara on for Hoyland. Bruno, cross in. That goes right to Casemiro for the hat trick. Okay, that's a good save. Almost the hat trick for him. Hello, gets it to Anthony. Anthony to De Jong. Looking for a shot here. Be patient. Anthony in to Mara. Mara. Gets it to De Jong. De Jong lays it off to Casemiro again, but that shot, okay, actually, gonna be punched out. I thought that could just be saved. De Jong gets it to Dallow. Dallow back to De Jong. Can we just find this fifth just to make this game easier? At least the final few minutes. Bruno shot in Muslero. What a save. Okay, nine minutes. Corner here, and this game's done. Mara climbs for it, but it goes right to the keeper instead. Zaha gets by. That is not good. Don't give them any opening here, please. And Domblay gets it to Ziyech. De Jong, De Jong misses that tackle. That is not good. And they're being so patient right now. Hardy. Hardy, don't let him get through. I just let him get through. They're going to score again. They're going to... Oh, I just felt it, bro. Oh, I just felt it. 88th minute, they score to make it 4-4. Four, four. I just can't defend them this game. I don't know what's wrong. I just cannot defend them. Eight goals this game, and it might be a draw. Bro, Icardi has destroyed me. We got three minutes to score a winner now. Or to concede a winner. Ziyech, please, no. We cannot concede a winner here. Come on. Ziyech, please, someone make a steal. Teammates. Okay, De Jong. De Jong did very well there. We got one chance here, Mara. Gets it over to De Jong. De Jong over to Rashford. Rashford lofted ball to Anthony. Anthony needs someone there, but no one was there. Oh, that was such a good play. Just no one gave Anthony a pass there. All right, so this game was going to be 4-4. It really should have been like 2 or 3 nil. But eight goals scored, and it's going to be a draw. I guess it's fair. What an insane game, though. So Bayern won their game, so that does make this group uh, a lot less uh, comfortable for us. But winning and drawing our first two games, it's not terrible. And then right now in the Prem, we sit in third place, uh, one point behind Liverpool in first. So, so far, there's been some setbacks, some uh, shaky moments, but it's definitely not been a bad start. Currently, Rashford, Hoyle, and Garnacho are the current top three scorers. But Mara, three goals and three. Once again, maybe the future of French football, he looks really good. Now, in the next episode, our youth scouts are going to return. And hey, maybe they find the future of English football to lead this United team into a new era. Okay, it's our goal to make Manchester United the best team in the world. And last episode, we signed a French superstar. Well, I guess you should say rising star. In Sekou Mara from Southampton. And he impressed a lot on his debut. Now, we have had a better than expected start so far. We are currently second in the Premier League nine games in. And also currently sitting top of our Champions League group. A lot 
of the players in this team are just simply performing, including youngsters like Mainu, James Trafford, Rasmus Hoyland, Alejandro Garnacho. You get the point. Well, today we add to that list. Our youth scouting reports are going to be back soon, and we may have just found the next English football star. So if you want to see more of this series, then drop a like and also hit that sub button down below if you have not. Now, we start this episode off with a meeting between Ten Hag and Dan Ashworth, the new May United sporting director, and he tells Ten Hag our youth scouts may have found something here. We signed this kid two years ago when he was 15, and he's been playing for the under 18 squad for a year now. He says, take a look for yourself. And he shows Ten Hag some highlights of this kid. And whether it's crossing the ball in or scoring goals himself, yeah, they may have found something here. Now, first comment today is saying you should sign Florian Verts. Yeah, Florian Verts is a player that I've not signed, I don't think too many times in career mode. Obviously, 20 years old, 86 rated, the man's a beast. With us having Bruno Fernandes though, I don't know how he'd fit in this team. Might be like a later on signing. Could be a replacement for Bruno someday, who knows? Definitely added to our shortlist though. Now, this next guy was already on our shortlist. Comment says, next season, you should definitely sign Delic to replace Varane. Yeah, I mean, if Frankie de Jong was Ten Hag's dream midfielder signing, Matias Delic is his dream center back signing. And I think definitely Varane is on the on the way down. So that sounds like a pretty good replacement idea. Now, this last comment is saying we should sign Thiago Almada from Atlanta United. Now, I have used him before and he was really good last time I used him. And he might be like a cheaper option compared to Verts, maybe a more realistic backup option to Bruno. So we got some really good suggestions here and they've all been added to our short list. So come January time, we could be very busy here. Now, that youth play we spoke about is going to be here in about a week. So before that, we have probably the biggest game of this early part of our season. It is the Manchester Derby versus Man City. So right now we're actually above them, but we're only one point above them. So it is very close to the top of this Premier League table. They have currently the best defense. We have the worst defense out of the top seven. So this right here is a huge matchup. And of course, that's exactly what the media is saying that between these two teams, one team is the current best team in the world and the other is trying to get there. This right here is a big test for us early in this season. I mean, their team looks pretty much standard other than Christian Eriksen playing for them. We chose to join. So that's funny. Now for us, the whole bench is tired. So we're going to play the regular first team. I feel like maybe if you switch Dallow out for Wambi Saka, that might be our best team possible. But uh, last time we faced a team like this, it was Arsenal. We lost, what, 4-1? So I don't know how this first Manchester derby is going to go. Like, we are trying to get United to the city level there, being the best team in the world. But there have been times in Man City's journey where United get a win over them. So we're going to try to make that happen today. So May United versus Man City. With our shaky defense, I am scared of Holland. And also Foden and Grealish and every one of them. It does feel like so far we've been overperforming a little bit. Like, we might get dropped down to reality. But we're going to try to keep it up as long as we can. Hello? Rashford. Get it over to De Jong. De Jong's going to find Casemiro who scored an insane goal last episode. And that was not an insane goal right there. Uh, not at all. Alvarez gets it to De Bruyne. De Bruyne and Holland together. It's a nightmare. Varane. Okay, we got to clear it there. We got to clear it. Martinez makes a good tackle. We got to clear that ball, though. We've conceded like that a couple times in this series. I got to just clear it. Now, Hoyland, decent run here. Going to play it back to Garnacho. Garnacho gets it to Bruno. Right footed shot, literally right at a Kanji's stomach. Just bounced right off him. Yeah, that's a great ball to Grealish. This is not good. Someone mark. Okay, I thought that was going to go to uh, Holland, but they dummied that and actually almost worked. That was really smart. Luke Shaw to Marcus Rashford. This is end to end right now. Rashford crossover to. It's not a bad cross, but it's not going to reach anyone. Bro, they got Balde. What a signing for Man City. They sometimes have like a week left back in career mode, but they signed Balde in season one. How much better did they just get? Oh, Holland gets through. Iran, I need you. The experience drags back to Alvarez. Onana, oh, big save. And then uh, Grealish is offside. Okay, Onana. Oh, I like to see that save right there. Do not let De Bruyne shoot. De Bruyne is such a dangerous player. And you pair him with Holland. It's a nightmare. Varane blocks that and we are going to clear that. Okay, so far, we're the team doing the more defending here. Alvarez, De Bruyne, De Jong can't get the tackle there. Grealish gets it Alvarez. This is dangerous. Varane though? Okay, I don't know how Varane made that tackle, but he did. Let's see if we can try and control this uh, ball a little more. Control the game, I should say. Decent ball to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw gets it to Rashford. Rashford, Luke Shaw. No, if that pass was closer, I was going to play it. Hoyland steals it though. Goes for a shot and Hoyland scores. I wasn't even controlling Hoyland there. He just stole the ball himself. The new United Young Star scores in a Manchester derby. Well, that literally came out of nowhere. And that's so against the run of play here. I wasn't even controlling him. He just went, he went at it himself. That must be like a work rate thing or an aggression thing. I mean, obviously Hoyland is very good at pressing in real life. So we saw it there, one nil up. That is a very lucky goal for me, but I'll take it. 30 minutes in, one nil versus Man City. Hoyland versus Holland and Hoyland strikes first. Grealish, Grealish, please stop. Moran stops Grealish there. I doubt we're gonna keep a clean sheet this game. So we gotta keep trying to score. Garnacho to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, I wanna shoot this so bad. We're shooting that, and Ederson makes the save. Okay, corner swung in. The Casemiro scored from a corner last episode. Not going to score there. Can't believe Christian Eriksen is playing for Man City. Imagine if he scores against me. That would be insane. Grealish, Grealish, please stop. He's trying to make fun of me. Okay, Dallow could tackle again. Grealish, that is not going to work. Now, that is a great ball over to Bernardo Silva. He is going to cut inside. Need to tackle there. Martinez, great tackle. Our defense is held up. It's been challenged, but we have held up. Frankie Young, great ball to Marcus Rashford. Marcus to Bruno, Bruno, Hoyland. 
Churn turns and shoots, and Ederson makes the save. Bro, if you would have scored that, we went up 2 0 at halftime. Still have a chance to. Bruno swings it in. Casemiro header attempt, but it goes flying over the net into the stands. Okay, I mean, our defense held up there. We're currently 1 0 up, courtesy of Hoyland. It was actually a really good first half. Let's see if we can uh, hold this now or keep it up. Silva gets it to De Bruyne. Don't let him shoot. That's going to be Ericsson. He almost just scored against me. If Christian Ericsson scores in this game, I'm going to scream. I can't believe he's actually playing. Like, you tell me they don't have a better midfielder than Ericsson. To be fair, he probably fits their team better than us. Although he does kind of play the De Bruyne role. Bruyne again to the silver okay they are turning up here i can feel it holland to bernardo silva and that's in off the post i can just feel it that must have given them a great halftime talk because they've come out on fire pretty much okay i mean it's pretty good goal here some good passing it is 1-1 in the 54th minute rashford bruno it's got space here to pick out a pass or go for a finesse shot which doesn't look bad but it does go wide man city have so many numbers pushed up if we can stay with here which we're not able to right now we can really get a quick counter-attack chance maybe just like this rashford Gets it to Hoyland. Now Rashford needs you to run. Okay, he's completely offside there. Let's try and keep it. Luke Shaw to Casemiro. Got to find some space here. Good pass to Rashford. Hold it up. Get it to Hoyland. Hoyland. Bruno. Bruno. Good fake shot. Finesse shot. Oh, it's going to get blocked. Now we are getting counterattacked ourselves with Holland. Is going to get by Martinez there. The height difference here is incredible. Silva already scored one. Looking for a second. Oh, nah, nah. Makes a big save though. Okay, cross in. Silva out by Dallo. Rodri. Okay, Varane. Great tackle there. We can spring from this maybe. Nope, they got four back. Instead, they're coming forward again. Bernardo Silva. Going to get it to Erling Holland. Don't let him shoot. Gets it to Grealish. And okay, what a move. And Rodri's going to end up scoring. That was so patient and so good by them. 70th minute. It is going to be 2-1 to Manchester City. Bro, like I thought Holland was going to shoot there. I thought uh, Grealis was going to shoot. But eventually, they find Rodri who shoots. Okay, down 2-1 now. Okay, three subs. Uh, Mount, Martial, and also Maynou coming on. See if uh, these fresh legs, some energy into the team can get us back in this game. Martial sends it to Luke Shaw. Now he's got an option to Bruno, I think. Goes to Hoyland instead. I was aiming at Bruno. Also right at Ederson, though. There's a chance for a draw here, but if they score, obviously they're third. It's going to be not a chance. I don't think we'll score two. Mason Mount could tackle there. Come on, boys. Push. We can get this. I feel it. Mason Mount plays it to Hoyland. Hoyland to Anthony Martial. This could be the chance. Martial, I need a good shot. Martial, I need a good shot. Left-footed shot and Anthony Martial scores. Okay, the one away player may have just given us a draw in this game. The player who I said his future is uncertain. Man, that was some uh, great build-up play, but Martial, what a left-footed finish. Okay, still 13 minutes. Game is tied up now, though. Definitely feels like one of those games where, like, obviously Man City are the better team, but is if we play a good game, we can definitely compete with them. Martial lays it off to Luke Shaw. Get it back to Martial. Into Bruno. No, the pass was there, bro. That was it. Varane, great tackle. Okay, all of a sudden, this team has energy. We got the old Trafford faithful behind us. Hoyland to Martial. Martial stops. Gets it back. No, that pass is not great. Okay, we collect it. Hoyland, Frank de Jong. Chance to do something here. Tries to find something. De Jong will go for a shot. And Ederson does make a good save, though. All right. Final sub. Hoyland off for Mara. The uh, French football star. Cross in by Bruno. That's going to go to... Okay, that was actually not great. Balls, though. Two. Lissandro Martinez. That shot's blocked. Is that handball? No, it was handball, I think, on one of our players. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a free kick for them. Come on. Make a tackle here. Rodri. Oh, man. It gets by there. This is not good. Silva. What kind of skill was that? No. No. Nunez gets it to Silva. And they are going to score in the 89th minute. You got to be kidding me. I think Man City just won this game. Bro, that roulette that Silva did just threw our entire defense off. He created so much space with that. Okay. We got literally a minute to score here. That is if we can even steal this ball, which that should be stolen. Okay. Get this ball forward. We got three minutes here. Mainu, okay, Mainu, that pass was so bad. That wasn't even anywhere near Mount. I don't think we're gonna change. We're not gonna get a chance. Bro, we competed with Man City this whole game, basically, but in the end, like, they just showed why they're the best team in the world right now. Now, De Bruyne could embarrass us even more with a free kick goal here, which that is gonna get deflected. But okay, that's full time. It's gonna be a 3-2 loss. Like I said, for most of the game, we were competitive, but we're just clearly not Man City's level yet. I think they didn't play a great game, which is probably why we had a better chance there. We will try to get revenge on them one day, just not quite yet. Okay, now it's time our youth scouts are back with that special player we saw earlier. So let's actually see how good he is. So his name is Noah Phillips. He's 17 years old and he's 71 rated. So looking at his stats, he's got 82 pace. He's got, he's actually pretty well rounded. Got a four star weak foot, a high attacking work rate and defensive work rate. So he's got decent pace, decent like uh, agility, decent crossing, which looks good. Also decent free kicks. You know what he looks like? He looks like the next David Beckham. And it also says he has five to seven play styles. So we can't see those yet. So I guess we got to promote them to see the play styles. But Noah Phillips looks like he could be special. And I mean, it wasn't like the best English main night player ever, but David Beckham is definitely one of the most iconic main United players ever. And we got a right mid here who has good crossing, good pace, good free kicks. Noah Phillips could be the next David Beckham, the next uh, Man United youth star. So we're going to, of course, promote him. Now let's see what those uh, play styles are. All right. So currently he is showing great potential and he's got the finesse shot, dead ball, incisive pass, long ball pass, and first touch play style. I mean, dead ball play style. He's literally David Beckham, or at least uh, he's got the David Beckham archetype pretty much. But hey, that's a solid like first youth player. We don't play with a right mid though. So I would probably want to convert him to a right winger, but I feel like he could play probably midfield with those stats. Definitely. Maybe even like a little bit of right back. We are 
are going to try to make him a right winger, though. That fits our formation better. But Noah Phillips, welcome to Manchester United, officially the first team, I should say. And after getting promoted, Noah Phillips does a little interview where he says it's a dream come true to play for Man United. It's such a historic club, has the best fans, and I hope I could be the next young player to rise through the ranks and become a star here. Okay, before our next game, Noah Phillips is already ready to turn to a right winger. That was a pretty fast. So he is going to stay at 71 overall. I mean, that is pretty much expected. Now, the one spot I would say is weak spot is probably that 67 dribbling. I feel like for a winger, you probably want a bit better there. So we're going to try to train that up. But hey, he looks good. And our next game is uh, versus Everton in the Prem. It's not the most intense game. They are in seventh place, though. But I think Noah Phillips will get his debut this game. Currently, we sit in third now after that Man City loss. Still a decent spot so far, 12 games in. Now, I think this game, we're going to give some rotations here. So like one Bisaka comes in. Let's start Manu for uh, Casemiro. Let's start Mara for Hoyland. And then uh, Phillips comes in. Noah is going to start at right wing. And then Garnacho is going to start at left wing. So uh, Rashford to get some rest. So we got Mara, Garnacho, Phillips, Manu in there. Some uh, youth focus in this game. And we'll see if Noah can show if he is the next David Beckham, the next main eye youth star. I mean, so far, his stats look very promising. We'll see how good he does in this game. And yeah, same like last episode, we lost versus Arsenal. We bounced back. We need that same thing to happen in this episode. We need a bounce back win versus Everton. So 17-year-old Noah Phillips gets his first start. He's got the bright green shoes. First touch from United. Welcome to the first team. Okay, Luke Shaw. That is a great tackle. Gives it to Mara. Mara out to Garnacho. Garnacho and Mara. Okay, that pass need to go to Luke Shaw, not Mara. That was a bit of a fail. Okay, De Jong gets it to Noah Phillips. Phillips to De Jong. De Jong Phillips gets it over to Wan Bisaka. Wan Bisaka cross in chance. That's a good cross. Just why is no one going towards that? It's actually not a bad area. Yeah, Everton are set up very defensive. They got like five guys in the middle, just like clogging everything up. Manu finds Bruno though. Bruno over to Frank De Jong. Tries to find space on his left foot, and that's going to be saved. I'm going to let Noah Phillips take this corner. He's got that dead ball play style, so he should be actually decent from corners, which uh, that was not the worst. Young heads it, though. Martinez gets it to someone. Okay, get it to Garnacho. Martinez, you got to control it there. Is that a free kick? Wait, that's a free kick for, for them? Who might have handballed it or something? Phillips gets it to Mainu. Into Wamisaka. Wamisaka shooting this. I am going for a long shot. Okay, Wamisaka, that was not bad. Got to get a little closer, though. Frankie Young gets it to Phillips. Now, Phillips can cross this in, which that is, okay, a bit over hit, but you know what might actually work. Into Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is trying to find something here. Get it back to Mainu. Mainu. In to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw over the top to Phillips, which Phillips can't control that. Man, that was just, they're just so like clogging up every lane. That's Sean Dyke like defensive strategy. Okay, Juan Bisaka, great steal though. Into Phillips. Noah Phillips, left foot chance to shoot. Noah Phillips, that shot was not bad. Now Bruno crossed in. Come on, this first goal. Gotta score it soon. It's gonna be not there though. Now Noah's got that high defensive work rate. So the man is pressing everywhere, even when I'm not controlling him. And he's also like tracking back a lot too. I mean, that's not a bad thing. He's a very much a different player than like Garnacho. Garnacho gets it to Manu. We got space here, Manu. Looking for Mara. Finds Seku Mara, who's going to shoot. And again, it's the same spot for this keeper to make a save, though. Okay, let's try and get a better cross here. Some more power on it. That is perfect. Varane heads it, and that's going to go in off the defender off the line. Yeah, that delivery from Bruno was beautiful. And finally, 1-0 to Manchester United, courtesy of Varane. Yeah, when he when he swung this corner in, it felt good. And Varane had a lot of space for that pretty much uh, header. And right, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, Mara has got Phillips in space. Phillips. Oh, Phillips cuts inside. Noah Phillips could score his first goal and it's going to be saved. Bro, the way he got around that defender, that was so unexpected. And that could have been an insane debut goal for like a main night youngster. Okay, Martinez has that. Martinez, Nan Onana will come and grab it as Martinez got uh, literally destroyed. Okay, once again, Noah is finding space. Noah is going to try to swing it to Bruno Fernandez. First time shot and Bruno hit the post there. Okay, Noah is making things happen. I think Luke Shaw has made like seven steals this game already. He is like commanding the left-hand side. As I'm saying that though, they're in on this left-hand side and they're going to score. Oh, of course, bro. That is the ultimate jinx. He makes a tackle in the middle of the field and then they like get it right back and there's space on his side. And Deli Alley scores to make it 1-1. Bro, like the Tyster jinx is the most real thing. And right on halftime, that hurts. This game is 1-1. I still think we're going to win this though. I don't think we're going to lose it. I still think we're going to win this game. Okay, Wambi Saka, great tackle on McNeil there. Now, Noah Phillips, can we start this counterattack? Noah gets to De Jong. De Jong plays it right to McNeil. I need to float that over him. Okay, let's try this again over here. Luke Shaw, Bruno's making a great run. Mara, all oh, we try to dink it up to him is a handball. That's handball though. I'll like that. Oh, it's not a bad spot. Now, Phillips has that dead ball play style, so I'm going to give it to him. If Phillips can score this, it would be insane. I'm going to go for that. We're going to go for like three bars of power. Noah Phillips from the free kick spot. It doesn't even get over the wall. Yeah, I should have put more power on that. Now, that's through though. Varane maybe just saved a goal. Okay, we got to like control this game right now. Should not be drawing or losing to Everton. One Bisaka to De Jong. De Jong has got Phillips here. Phillips. Gets it through to Mara. Mara left footed shot, but that shot's blocked. Okay, now the counter attack. Is this Deli Alley? Okay, we are screwed. Deli. Oh my Deli. How do you not score that? He has like so much space. That is one of the biggest fails I've seen so far this season. We just got so lucky. Wanna be Saka. Mara to Bruno. Okay, that pass wasn't great. Come on, this goal is coming. I feel it. De Jong, De Jong. It's not gonna be there though. We are getting like outplayed here a little bit by Everton right now. Okay, first up for us is Rashford on for Garnacho. Maybe give this team some energy, some experience. Mara. 
Gets it into Frank and Young. Oh, that touch by Tarkowski is going to save them. Corey. Corey. Luke Shaw just saved a goal, I think, again, bro. There's a chance we could lose this right now. Rashford gets it to Maynou. Maynou, wait for Rashford. Now get it to him. Rashford gets it to Mara. Get it back to Maynou. Their defense has been hard to break down. Bruno, good touch, though. Great touch, actually. Gets it to Juan Bisaka. Juan Bisaka cross over to Mara, but it's not going to reach him. Bruno. Header, it's not going to win that either. Bro, they have just been counterattacking off all of our attacks, and he's going all the way, and he might score this. Oh my, I don't know how Onana saved that. And it's a free kick for us in the end. It might have been handball off their striker. We are getting so lucky this game. Frank De Jong out to Wambi Saka. Wait for it. Wait for Phillips. Phillips now in a good spot. Phillips needs a pass. Gets it to Mara. Mara will shoot, and it's the keeper making the same save at his near post. And the youngster Phillips almost creating another goal there, though. Okay, Noah to Cam, and then Bruno on the midfield for uh, for Mr. Maynou. So we're going uh, pretty attacking here. Corner in by Bruno. Right to Varane again, and that's cleared off the line. Come on, five minutes. We just need one goal. De Jong to Bruno. Bruno. Scott Rashford goes to Hoyland instead. Hoyland. No, we got to get that back to someone. Anthony, what was that? Okay, Noah Phillips. Great steal, though. Hoyland gets it to Noah. Noah plays it. Anthony, come on. This could be the chance here. Anthony, back to Noah. Noah. Hoyland. Pass to the middle. Bruno Fernandez must score that, and that'll be the winner right there, I think. 91st minute. Bruno Fernandez may have just given us the win. Oh, if we would have drew this, I'd have been so mad. Hey, that goal was started with a Noah Phillips steal, by the way. The youngster on his debut, then he played that pass to a Hoyland. So he's part of why we maybe just won this game. And that is a common collective finish from our captain right there, though. Okay, two defensive subs, Dallo and uh, Mr. Casimiro on. Can we just hold out for like a minute now? Okay, literally like 30 seconds, and that's game. Man, I totally thought we were gonna draw this, and I was ready to be mad. But somehow in the end, we he saved this game. And hey, Noah Phillips was a big part of it. So didn't score or assist on his debut. But for the 17-year-old, it was not a bad game. So he's still got a lot to prove in this team to also earn game time. But Noah Phillips looks like maybe our next uh, youth star. We'll probably see more of him, though, in this episode. I'm not sure if it'll be in this next game, though. As we face Galatasaray, and this game is huge for the Champions League group stage. And that is what Tenog is telling the team in training. He says, boys, our next match is the most important of the group stage. Win, and we put ourselves in good position to reach the knockouts. But we have to be ready to play in a very hostile environment environment because as we arrive in Turkey to face Galatasaray away the headlines are Galatasaray fans welcome many United ahead of their big Champions League clash it's never an easy away day now I think Noah Phillips has earned himself a spot on the bench this game but we still go with pretty much our best first team here because like I said win this and it pretty much means we're through to the knockouts so in a very uh like I said hostile environment we'll see how this team performs the fact that we won that last game we didn't draw it definitely gives me a lot of hope though that we can still like bounce back from that Man City loss now Frank and Young driving forward it's gonna play it to Rashford Rashford to Luke Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw back to Rashford. Can we find a shot here? We're going to find Bruno. Someone's got to shoot. Garnacho's going to shoot and it's going to be blocked. There was like three times where I probably should have shot before that. Okay, Bruno cross in. That is going to go right to the smallest center back Martinez, I think. Goes back to Frank De Jong. Okay, he kind of like uh, flicked that up a little bit. In our last game, we drew with this team 4-4. There were a lot of goals. So I'm scared of that happening again. That goes right to Icardi and they've already scored, bro. Bro, our Galatasaray like my bogey team in this series now. I can't defend Icardi. It's already 1-0. I don't know what it is about their team like Wilfred Zaha, Icardi, Ziyech. I just can't defend them. Okay, tough start, and the fans are already getting loud. We will try and bounce back. Rashford is going to lose it to Ziyech, though. Luke Shaw wins it right back. Luke Shaw gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland holds it up. Going to get it to Rashford. Now Rashford cross up goes to De Jong. Not going to reach him. Has another chance for a cross. Luke Shaw, it goes right to the keeper, though. Now, I think if we lose, this Bayern will probably go top over us. So we might lose our first place spot. Now Rashford stops. Luke Shaw back to Casemiro into Frank De Jong, who's going to go for a finesse shot that was not bad from Frank De Jong. Cross in by Bruno to Lissandro Martin. He actually got his head to that. Renacho to Bruno. Bruno, wait for something. Wait for something. It's going to be Hoyland. What a shot, but what a save by Musetta again. Bro, one of these has to go in. Corner in again. Casemiro gets set to that, but it goes right to the keeper once again. Now, Luke Shaw, Rashford gets it to Hoyland. Come on, boys. We can find this goal here, Hoyland. Oh, that was an defeat in at a perfect time. It looked like it was. Mertens gets it to Icardi. Bro, their team are just, their team is just full of players who can dribble really good. Like Ziyech, Zaha, Dries Mertens, Mario Icardi. It's a team of like kind of forgotten players, kind of washed up players, but oh, you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. That is maybe the best free kick I've seen in such a long time. Ziyech had actually dummied it there and I got destroyed. Ziyech goes for the shot. I don't think the wall, I don't even think the wall would have blocked that. But that thing is in the corner. Oh, not a, no one is saving that. 2-0 to Galatasaray. That is disgusting. Okay, we are now in a very bad position in this game. Bro, like, just to add insult to injury, they score that. Bruno, 
instant response go for a shot we can't even shoot there ziek is tracking back like a fullback right now this is like last time but minus our goals hoyland out to garnacho get it back to hoyland hoyland's gonna try to play it to deong man these passes down the middle just never work for us right now are not working for us okay they got another free kick they're not scoring this one right demir by crosses it in varan weird clearance but we do get it out hoyland to deong we got space here to run deong tries to feed it to bruno but defender gets to it first come on if we get one for half time that'll be not bad which dallo plays it to garnacho garnacho goes around one gonna stop just need to find a good shot here we i think we take too much time in the box right now we're taking too much time and then the shot just like disappears we gotta be more like direct all to ziek this is dangerous ziek gonna cut inside there gets it to a cardi onana saves it oh it bounced right back to a cardi though okay that one was just unlucky the free kick was unlucky and then that one was unlucky too halftime it's three nil to galatasaray oh it's just so unlucky this shot just bounces right back to him is that onana's fault i don't know but halftime we are down three in turkey okay, honestly rashford is like not offering anything on this left hand side so garnacho to the left and then noah phillips on for rashford on the right needs some kind of change here and the uh, 17 year old comes on three nil down in turkey that is a trial by fire in his second ever game. I feel like he might help out tracking back all these wingers, you know what I mean? It's just bro, like, how is this team so hard to defend? Zaha, that move is disgusting. Varan, maybe just saved a goal, though. All right, Phillips driving this forward. Bruno, good pass. Actually, great pass to Phillips, but he's just offside. That was almost timed right. Okay, I see a way there. We can definitely create space. But in saying that, they just created so much space, and that's dragged back to Wilfred Zaha, and it's 4-0. I don't know what it is about this team. We just can't defend them. Wilfred Zaha scores against former team in 60th minute almost. It's 4-0. This is embarrassing. All right, we try to just one goal at a time see what we can do in this game try and get some silver linings Gallo through to deong deong waits for something gets it to rasmus hoyland even that shot is blocked though bruno cross in this could jump start us if we score here casemiro i need that header down though oh that was such a good chance it was like a free header okay, we're going very attacking casemiro off for mason mount mount cam and bruno to center mid pretty much our only hope here to get more attackers in the field All right, noah gets it amount mount over to bruno bruno great ball to garnacho garnacho cuts inside Tries to find a shot. Bro, this defense, they have blocked everything. We cannot find any clean shots. Dallo through to Mason Mount. We'll shoot that, and Moose Slayer is going to save that shot, bro. This game might just be not our game to win. Can we just find some consolation here. Garnacho gets it to Mason Mount, who shoots, and it's right at Moose Slayer, though. All right, Mason. No, Phillips. Can we find something here? Phillips going to play it to Hoyland. Good pass by Phillips. Hoyland. Chance to score and get one consolation, and we get one consolation. And hey, Noah Phillips, that's another assist. Hey, Hoyland, Hoyland, I want you to grab the ball. He's not grabbing the ball. But Noah Phillips, he, that was like a sliding pass to Hoyland. That was decent. So some of the young players, at least, showing some fight, some character. But this right here is going to be a pretty bad loss. And I'm not sure what it means for the group stage now. Hoyland, De Jong, De Jong is going to wait here. Going to slide it to Phillips. Now, Phillips, we're going to swing this in. Just one final chance. Phillips gonna cross it and it's gonna be blocked and uh, that's full time so 4-1 loss away in turkey and i think this gives galatasaray a chance to overtake us in the group stage now okay so i think actually Bayern drew with copenhagen yeah they drew 1-1 that is huge for us so we stay in first and now final day we face Bayern. Uh, i think if, if we lose and galatasaray win they actually might overtake us so we goes down to the final day now so that just got way more complicated but once again noah phillips two games and one assist he got like a pass to assist in that first game so he almost has like two assists i'll say it again so far he looks very very decent but okay we've now entered december we got a very busy december here but we're only one month away from the january transfer window and we do have still a lot of money to spend so there are reports circling online saying that players like Toribo, antonio silva even michael elise have all been linked to manchester united and that it might be a busy transfer window at old trafford i think after almost half a season i definitely see some areas we can improve this team i feel like a big part of that might be the bench like reinforcing the bench but still a month away from that our next game is going to be newcastle in the prem away another uh tough away game but man city have dropped points a little bit so we're back into second place now still six behind liverpool though who have still not lost a game but newcastle in fourth and being in the premier league being in europe the tough games just don't stop coming now one player who has been so disappointing so far to me is marcus rashford usually in my united series he does good but i feel like so far he hasn't done much so honestly i think i'm benching him this game and i'm benching him for noah phillips again because hey, it's his episode to show what he can do maybe the next david beckham so if he plays well here he might get more chances to start but gotta rotate uh left back and center back and we should be good as we face as we know a very dangerous newcastle team all right now we need another bounce back win especially after that very tough loss so fourth versus second in the prem it should be an interesting one at least okay great start boys bruno and hoyland literally just tripped over each other that is a great start and almost isak was in noah gets it to bruno 
Over to Hoyland. Hoyland turns. Get it to Dallow. Dallow into Noah Phillips, who's looking for his first goal for United, and he scores. Okay, gets the start over Rashford and takes complete advantage of it. Okay, it's been kind of a slow burn here, but he's showing his potential throughout this episode. We could have passed this, but Noah felt confident enough to go for the shot, and he scores. Okay, the 17-year-old might be something special here. And that further shows why we benched Rashford might be a good decision. Just so far, Rashford is, I feel like, in-game. He's doing well in sim games, but in-game, he just is not doing much for us. Maybe this bench will get him a little bit fired up. I don't know. But right now, it's the Noah Phillips show. Gets to Deong, and Phillips has space again out here. If Phillips has a cross, maybe all the way to Garnacho. Oh my, what a cross. Okay, Phillips almost like, connected with Garnacho. Bruno cross in. Harry Maguire. Oh man, it goes right to Pope instead. Bruno gets it to Deong. Back to Bruno. Bruno's got options. Gets it through to Alejandro Garnacho. And the youth is starring in this game right now. 2 0 versus Newcastle away. Like, what a great start to this game. Garnacho and Noah Phillips. Maybe the future of this team. Yeah, great assist from Bruno. But the finish is nice from Alejandro Garnacho. Okay, this has gone much better than I expected after a 4 1 thrashing. Bro, uh, Newcastle have signed Leon Goretzka. He's in their midfield. That is quite a signing for Newcastle. Basically, uh, replacing uh, Tenali during his suspension, I guess. Bro, Goretzka playing for Newcastle, though. How much money do they give him? If Newcastle don't qualify for the Champions League, that's a player that we can poach off them, maybe. Okay, saying that, though, he might score here. Goretzka gets it to Joe Linton. Over to Isak. This is so much defending. Gets it to Goretzka, and Onana saves it off the post. Yep, that was a bit dangerous. Joe Linton crossover. That is so dangerous. Martinez clear it. Martinez, good clearance. Oyland wins that header. That is very good. Bruno, what kind of control is that, though? Fair not show. Oyland. Through two. Frank and Young, he's not going to win on pace here. Gets it back to Hoyland. Hoyland over to Malassia. Malassia is going to first time cross it in. I should have took my time there. That was so rushed. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, Garnacho. That was a terrible pass to Hoyland. These young players are very exciting, but definitely some of their stats are not polished yet. I mean, that should be obvious, but Isak's going to shoot and Newcastle get one back. Yeah, the last like 15 minutes, they've been uh, turning it up. So we got to respond now. They score one. They're in fourth place for a reason. This game is not going to be easy, despite our good start. Garnacho to Hoyland. Hoyland, wait for Garnacho. In the box, Garnacho. Good touch there. Finesse shot. Oh, I would have loved for that to go in. Okay, we're going to go for a short corner here into Deong. Now Deong gets it back to Bruno. Bruno over to Noah Phillips. Shot right at Fabian Cher there. Pass to Garnacho. In. Okay, that was supposed to go to Bruno. Might still work. Might still work, Bruno. Casemiro to Malasia. Okay, let's find this angle again. Malasia through to Garnacho, who's onside. In to Rasmus. Got to find one shot here. Bruno, first touch was not the best. Falls to Deong. Over to Phillips. Phillips. To De Jong, and that shot is blocked by Cher again. This is turning into chaos. De Jong gets it to Dallow. Dallow, Noah, into Hoyland, who's going to shoot and he's going to score. Guess who got the assist there? I mean, we saw it. It was Noah Phillips. Bro, it's Hoyland, Garnacho, and Phillips. That's what's happening right now. The youth are starring. Okay, that's huge when Newcastle scored one. That is huge. That gives us control of this game again. Okay, now Gadeska's got a free kick, though, and I'm scared. Gadeska. Oh my, that hit the roofing of the net, bro. Who would have scored that? I'd have been so mad. I got PTSD from uh, ZX. Now, do we have one more chance the first half? Garnacho, decent control. Garnacho actually beats Trippier out for that. Garnacho gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland tries to find Bruno. Bruno, good chance for a shot, but Botman's going to stop it. Okay, though, 3-1. That is a solid first half. And Noah Phillips so far, he's got a goal. He's got an assist. He's looking like the man of the match. And only his third game for the club. Bruno, good steal. No, we got to win that back. We can't let them score here. Especially this early in the second half. Maguire, please. No, gets to Gomadas, and they're going to score and make it 2-3. Man, like, I feel like we're missing Varane right now. Maguire is just a little bit too slow on these uh, defensive plays. Just him to slide over to Mark uh, Gomadas, it's just probably not happening. Okay, 53rd minute Newcastle are within one goal again. We need to keep scoring. Okay, Dallow, not a bad run here. Dallow's going to cross this eventually. Crossing it, it's going to be a corner instead. Actually, it's going to be a free kick. Okay, we are swinging this in. I'm feeling a goal from this. I'm feeling optimistic. Maguire, get your big head to it. Okay, rebound, rebound. It's going to go to Pope. Okay, ball bounces, but Joel Linton's going to clear it. Young, Bruno, Bruno, outside the boot shot. Bruno Fernandez, what a goal. Once again, they score, and we desperately need a goal, and we come through. And that was dirty from Bruno Fernandez. Outside the boot from outside the box. Like, oh, man, that, how do you even shoot that? That is dirty. Okay, 4-2 to Manchester United. Can we stop them scoring now? Young, Phillips, Phillips, good pass to Hoyland. Hoyland, great touch. Oh, no, he's offside. Bruno, are you offside? Are you offside? No, he's actually onside. Okay, that's two quick fire goals from our captain, and it's 5 2. Bro, that was such a quick attack. Started by, I'll say it again, Noah Phillips, though. He had that first pass to, uh, I think it was Hoyland, De Jong, and then Bruno. I thought Bruno was offside, but no, he's not. 5 2. Okay, this should be a bounce back win if they don't score here, which we're going to try to prevent that. All right, two subs. Mara on for Hoyland, and then uh, Rashford is on for Garnacho. So, see if Rashford off the bench, maybe that can get him fired up a bit, try and earn that starting spot back. See what he can do later on this game. This is a good 
good chance for him to score here. Especially against a team that is starting to press like this. Rashford, use your pace. Get some space. Gonna stop. He's gonna try to get it tomorrow. Does get it tomorrow. Okay, Samiro is gonna switch this to Phillips. Phillips tries to win. I try to actually pass that to Dallo, not Phillips. That was a little bit of a fail. Now, that's a great ball in behind. Jolinton. Okay, they're gonna get it to Isak and they're gonna score again. Bro, that was such a good attack. We still are two goals ahead right now, but it's currently 5-3. Can we defend anything right now? We got 20 minutes. We just don't concede two in 20 minutes. We'll be fine. This game is giving me a heart attack though. Might be showing that we need a new center back in January because Maguire, as much as he's okay, I feel like for our third choice, we need someone better. I don't know. That is a uh, cross in and Onana is gonna save that, bro. They are pushing right now. Okay, we're making subs. Maguire off for Varane. Let's do Wambi Saka for Dallo. And then we are gonna do, let's do Manu for uh, De Jong. Let's do that. This should give us some energy and some fresh legs to uh, complete this game without losing this lead. Now, Mara's actually gonna get this uh, bounce. And he's doing very well here to dribble past these guys. Mara gets it to Bruno. Bruno, oh man, I was gonna play it to him, but he got pressed up. Malasia, and then instead, Malasia plays it outside. Plays it out, I mean. It's giving them a chance to find life in this game, which is not good. Let's go versus Maynou. Maynou. Good defending here. Maynou. Kind of lets them get by there. But Malassia. Okay, that would have been so unlucky if they scored that. Malassia's tackle fell, I think, to a, yeah, Callum Wilson. Corner in. Maynou. Maynou. Good clearance by Maynou. I don't know what he tried there, but I respect it. Wait, he actually won us a free kick somehow? Maynou, that is putting your body on the line. Okay, two minutes. All we gotta do is not concede two in three minutes. I think we'll do it. Maynou, good steal. Oh, but Botman steals it right away. Okay, just defend. This game should not have been this close. Should have been way less close. But you know what? End of the day, it's gonna be a very good win where the youth players were the star of the show. So, five through his Newcastle, I'd say that's kind of a bounce back win. I don't like the three goals conceded, but the five goals we scored, I like that. And hey, Noah Phillips, he got a goal, he had an assist, made some good plays along with that. He's my man of the match for this game. And yeah, this last game definitely showed like his true potential whether he's the next david beckham the next main eye youth star whatever he is he's something special now with that win we are still six points behind a liverpool who are on fire but still 14 games in second place i'll take that it's just our champions league group is a little bit unsecure now which next episode is going to be huge for that now also next episode we're going to enter the january transfer window and once again 130 million to spend i see some areas where we can improve this team just let me know in the comments who you think we should sign in january because we got some uh we got some options here okay it's our job to take men Manchester United back to the top of European football. And last episode, we found a player that might help us get there. And that is Noah Phillips, our first Youth Academy player of the series. And so far, he's shown flashes of his potential. Now, in this one, we got a big episode ahead of us. A huge Champions League deciding match. We got top of the table clashes in the Premier League and also the January transfer window opening. Today, new signings will be made. So if you want to see more of this series, then drop a like and also hit that sub button down below if you have not. Now, to start this episode, Eric Ten Hag is meeting with Dan Ashworth, where Ashworth says, our next game will decide whether we stay in the Champions League or get knocked down to the Europa League. It's very important to the new ownership that we stay in the Champions League. And he emphasizes, saying again, it's very important. Now, first comment today, you should send scouts to Brazil, Argentina, and also Uruguay. Yeah, so this season, we only sent scouts to England. We sent one scout to England. We might do another scouting run, though, after the January transfer window. And maybe try to find, like, one more youth player this season. We might do that. And maybe we'll scout those countries. Now, next one, Tidibo seems like the most likely replacement for Varane as he plays for Nice, who are owned by Ineos as well. Yeah, I'm not sure we're still Varan this season it might be like a next season thing but we are probably going to sell one of our center backs so i think we are going to need one replacement in january at least a new center back now last one you should definitely sign at least i even replace rashford and play garnacho on the left yeah i mean so far in this series rashford has been uh, disappointing in played games he has not been as good as i thought he'd be so i'd say right now we're not going to sell him in january but his future in this team right now is questionable now the players that we're actually going to look to sell before january that we're already kind of in the process of selling is anthony martial victor lindelof and also scott mctominay just to make this team the best team in the world mctominay lindelof are just not really good enough i feel like McTominay and Lindelof are easily replaceable with uh, players that are more young and have potential. And then Martial actually has been decent this season so far, but it just feels like to enter that new era at Old Trafford, we need to let some of these players go. Players that just don't really have a future in this team. So we've accepted offers for all three of these players. So they're probably on the way out, which will help our transfer budget, which is already at 130 million. But before we can make transfers, we got a very busy December to get through. And I mean, very busy. Starting with the most important game so far in our Champions League campaign. So currently with one game left, we're in first, but we're tied on points with Bayern and also only three points had to go with Tasserai. And we face Bayern on the final day. So if we draw a win, we go through. But if we lose and then Galatasaray win, then they go above us in the standings. And that means we'll drop down to the Europa League. And I feel like they're probably going to be Copenhagen. So pretty much win or draw, we go through. But if we lose, we're probably out of the Champions League. So of course, that means we got to go with our best team here. Our best team on paper, basically. And yeah, this game affects the rest of our season. And it might also affect Tenog's future in this team as manager. So this game here is clearly humongous. All we have to do is not lose. A draw or win gets it done. This last episode, we lost Galatasaray like 4-1, which gives them the
the clear uh, favor on goal difference or head to head actually. So that loss was so bad for us. Now we did beat Bayern though in the first game of the season. So our first game of the Champions League. So we have experience beating them. We know it's possible, but their team is just pretty threatening and our defense is shaky at times. Very shaky. Harry Kane has scored within eight minutes. We are already window down. We haven't had the ball yet. It's been all Bayern so far. This is exactly the start that we did not need. Just Kane runs by. Who does he run by here? Martinez like doesn't even decide to mark Kane there. You know, Nana can't make the save. Okay, that is literally a nightmare start. If this game ends like this, we are literally out of the Champions League. We need to try and find something here. Dello to Garnacho. Garnacho looking for Hoyland. Finds Rasmus Hoyland is onside. Takes the shot, but Neuer is going to make the save. That was such a good chance right there. All right, Bruno cross in. Go to Casemiro, but Neuer is going to grab that. Yeah, I'm officially nervous here. We are getting very close to panic mode. Martinez maybe stops the goal there. Hoyland gets it to Bruno Fernandez in space. Bruno into Marcus Rashford. Decent dribbling there. Decent. He's going to try and take a shot, but Delic just out muscles Rashford. Okay, Kane is running by Varane and Martinez. Every chance they get, Kane has just dinged Onana and it's 2-0 to Bayern. What a finish by Harry Kane. We're 2-0 down though. Are you kidding me? How does he just beat everyone on pace here? He's gonna dink that over Onana and it's actually we're 2-0 down. I can't believe this. Is this Onana's fault or is it just a good finish? It might be just a good finish. Like that thing is in the air. Okay, we need two goals at least now to stay in the Champions League maybe. Bro, this is going, this is an actual disaster. Bruno to Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw, Rashford. Get it to Bruno. No, that pass needs to get through from Rashford. It's so weak, though. Bro, Bayern have Reese James. When did they sign him? On a Luke Shaw gets by into Musiala. We are getting destroyed here. Onana, please grab that. Thankfully, he does. Almost halftime. If we can get one for halftime, that might save our game here. We can just get one right now. Young tries to play it to Hoyland, but that pass doesn't go through. Another bad pass. This has been one of the worst first halves of the year so far for us. Like, we have not been able to do anything against this Bayern team. Musiala, Dalla, good tackle, but that is going to be halftime. Okay, we need to score two and not let them score any. If we can do that, we stay alive in the Champions League to the knockout stage. Now, our other only hope is if Copenhagen gets a draw or wins against Galatasaray, which is just very unlikely, but there is a chance that could happen even if we lose here. It's just we don't want to leave it up to Copenhagen. We want to win this game or draw it and take control of our own destiny. And this has been so bad so far. Sané, Sané, don't want that pass get through. Martinez, that's good if anyone Martinez at least. Bro, we are in panic mode. Young, great pass to Bruno. Bruno in space. Hoyland, get it back to Bruno. Bruno to Rashford, Rashford. Get it back to Bruno. Now, left foot shot. It's right at Neuer, though. We ever needed a corner goal? It is right now. Casemiro, header attempt. Not going to get that. Arnacho, I need some special shot there as that, that bounces off. The defender, Frank and Young. Left footed shot. It's blocked by his former teammate, Delic. Okay, first sub is Anthony on for Rashford. I mean, Rashford is just not doing anything right now. So, Anthony to the right, then Garnacho to the left. We are just so flat in this game right now. We need some kind of change. Kane gets it through. This might be game. That might be game. Oh, Nana, what a save. That right there saves our Champions League hopes, maybe, for, uh, the, for the time being. Bruno to Garnacho. Garnacho, get it back to Bruno. Hoyland, why are you not running? Hoyland, I need you to run, Hoyland. Left footed chance to shoot. Falls to De Jong, and that shot is also blocked by Kim and Jay. Bro, we are just so slow. Anthony, great steal, though. Chance for Frank and Young, and Frank and Young's gonna score that. Okay, grab the ball. We got a chance. 20 minutes left, and that is now 2 1. Hey, Anthony made that tackle and sold the ball back. Credit to him. Like, that was a great tackle right there. Okay, that was so scrappy, but we have a chance. That is Anthony making an instant impact off the bench. Come on, there's a chance we can still be in this. Come on, Dallo, Garnacho. Get it to Bruno. Bruno gets it to Alejandro Garnacho. Try to find space. Oh, it's going to be blocked so well by Delict. Bruno Fernandez cross in. Casemiro, it's going to fall. Oh, it was handball by him, though, I think. We got nine minutes. Casemiro, wait for Diong. Diong, get it back to Casemiro. Find some space here. Hoyland tries to find Bruno, but can't find him. Dallo, Dallo, good tackle. We have life right now. This is our chance. We got five minutes, though. Team is all of a sudden woken up. Diong driving through. Gets it to Hoyland, to Bruno. Bruno through to Anthony. Anthony can't get it up past Davies, though. Casemiro, good tackle. This is our last chance, maybe. Hoyland, Hoyland can't tries to turn there. That's a foul. We have a free kick in the final 15 seconds of the game. If Bruno can score this, we might go through to the Champions League knockouts. Bruno, I need a free kick here. Bruno Fernandez, three bars of power between the defenders and Neuer is going to save it. That free kick was so good, and that's full time. Bro, that was going to take us to the knockouts. That was such a good free kick by Bruno. So we lose to Bayern. Now we got to hope that Copenhagen got a draw or beat Galatasaray. Otherwise, we're knocked down to the Europa League now. Oh, bro, I feel sick. I actually feel sick. I'm scared to look. Champions League? No, we're going to finish in third place. Copenhagen lost to Galatasaray. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. We actually just got knocked out of the Champions League on head-to-head -head over Galatasaray. Oh, I feel sick. I actually feel sick right now. Bro, if Bruno would have scored 
with that free kick. Why did Neuer have to make that save? Copenhagen almost beat out Tassar. I got a draw against them 2-3, but they lose. And we are out of the Champions League. I'm actually heartbroken here. So we are now dropped down to the Europa League. Bro, I feel sick. So knocked out the Champions League, just like United in real life. But this time we stay in Europe, at least in the Europa League. So that's like just barely a tiny bit better than real life. I can't believe it ended that dramatically though. Okay, so we're just trying to push on. Now, if we could win the Europa League, that'd be a decent trophy to get. But getting knocked out of the Champions League is not good for Eric Tanag's future as manager. I'll say that. So now our goal this year kind of shifts to uh, get back in the Champions League. So goal number one is remaining in the top four this year. And I guess now trying to win the Europa League. I still feel sick. And you see who our next game is against. The media are going crazy about Liverpool. They're on fire right now. Still unbeaten after 16 matches. And also recently, Jurgen Klopp has announced that he's leaving Liverpool at the end of the season. So this has just fired up all the Liverpool players to win the title for Klopp. So now next, we go to Anfield and face a Liverpool team that are motivated and on fire. But okay, Scott McTominay sold to Villa for 16.6. These transfers are going to start rolling in. Martial sold to Sevilla for 16.2. And I think Lindelof will be sold soon too. So we are going to make transfers. I see some areas where we need to improve this team. But we got to get through the rest of December now first. Which first up is a in-form and motivated Liverpool team. Bro, I am so disappointed. I really thought we had a chance to make it out of that group. But just like real life, knocked out in the group stage. Okay, a new chapter this season starts now. Finish in a top four spot. Challenge for the title if we can. And win the Europa League. That's our goals now. And that journey, that recovery starts today against Liverpool. See if we can hand them their first loss of the year. But literally, they're on fire. This could go badly. Casemiro, two. Frankie Young, long shot. That's going to fall to Bruno Fernandes. What a start to this game. Bruno scores in the first six minutes. Okay, that's a bounce back. A little bounce back there. That ball just bounced up to Bruno and he just volleyed it in. Okay, the league leader is the unbeaten league leader shocked here. Yeah, it goes off Van Dyke and then Bruno hits it off the half volley there. And that thing is into the net. Okay, that is pretty much a dream start of this game. Where was that last game? Endo gets it to Diaz. Diaz is going to find McAllister. Okay, that's such a good pass. McAllister is going to get it to Jones. Over to Diaz. This is already dangerous. Wambi Saka, good tackle, and we do get it out. Okay, Endo steals it right off Bruno, though. Endo looking for a shot is going to find Nunez, but Varan, that's going to fall. Oh, my. Okay, okay. Get the ball out. Get this ball out, please. All of a sudden, it's chaos, and we look like a team that doesn't know how to defend. Frankie de Jong, we're going to try to find Rashford. Frankie de Jong, that's a very, actually a decent attempt. Dala, dangerous, gets it to Curtis Jones, and Curtis Jones is going to make it 1-1. Yeah, after we score, they look like they are uh, in form still, so this right here is going to be a game, I think. So they look like a team that's in form. Okay, 1-1 in the 24th minute. Okay, they got a free kick here, but it's going to be McAllister taking this, which he is going to hit the, the roofing of the net there. They would have scored that. That would have been so unlucky. Samiro gets it to Luke Shaw in space. Now Luke Shaw, Hoyland gets it to Rashford. Rashford in space again. Rashford, chance to score. Is going to go across goal. Allison save, rebound. It's not going to be in. Hoyland keeps it, but Hoyland is offside. Okay, not a bad attempt by Rashford, but Allison, that was like a crazy double save there. Frank and Young to Casemiro. Actually, Bruno. Frank and Young now is going to shoot that. That was not a bad shot from Frank and Young at all. Okay, Rashford has Hoyland here. Hoyland going to play it back to Marcus, who this is a big game for him. To show that he still belongs in this team, he's going to try and shoot that. McAllister blocks it, but chance, still not dead. McAllister, how did he just steal it off Casemiro there? Casemiro is so much bigger than him. Okay, 1-1 one, one so far, though, so it's not a terrible first half for us. And they are getting every call right now. They got a free kick here. Jones, is he going to take a quick? He is not going to take a quick. Oh, no. McAllister is going to score this one now. He missed that first one, but second chance. I don't even jump. I thought it was going to be Nunez, and they're going to score that free kick. Bro, first, Ziyech at Galatasaray, now McAllister. We just can't defend free kicks. All right, 2-1 down now versus Liverpool. Can't give up a free kick in a good spot like that. You just can't do that. Our season is low-key falling apart right now. Samiro is going to find Diong in space. Diong. Good dribbling. Play it to Garnacho. Garnacho cuts inside. He's going to find Frankie Young again. Frankie De Jong into Bruno Fernandez. Left footed shot, but what a block by Van Dyke. Bruno, corner in. That is going to be Varane. Almost fell to him, actually. Almost like a free header. Just couldn't make contact on it. And Liverpool steal the ball back in a dangerous spot. Salivar, Shaw, Shaw did well there. Gets it back to McAllister. Shaw makes tackle there. That's another foul, but it's going to be dragged back for that foul. Bro, we are struggling to defend them in the second half. I'm going to bring on uh, Mason Mount and also Phillips on. See if we can get some players in the field that have better passing to maybe control the ball more. That is dangerous. Hoy and good clearance. So not done though. Diaz, chance to shoot. Gets it to Darwin Nunez. Nunez, don't let him shoot. He's going to track it back. Gets it to McAllister. Oh, it's just so dangerous. Oh, Nana, nah. that is a big save right there. Okay, ball out. We got probably like 20 minutes now to try and tie this up again. Mason Mount, Wambi Saka, decent ball. Wambi Saka's got space here, but no help. Phillips. Phillips is going to try to cross it in, but that's going to be blocked right to uh, Salah. We got a minute left. This right here is our last chance. Mason Mount driving forward. Needs a pass. Needs a pass. Finds Marcus Rashford. He's going to try to cut inside. 
Rashford finesse shot. Marcus Rashford ties it up in the final minute. Okay, that chance came out of nowhere with Mason Mount driving the ball forward. So at least we steal a point away at Anfield. I think after how this game is went, I'll take that. But okay, Marcus Rashford, really the first time this season he's shown life, shown what he's capable of. All right, is that the last kick of the game? It might be. Yep, it is. All right, so it's going to be a 2 2 draw with Liverpool. Honestly, that's not bad. They're like, what, 10 points above us in first place. So getting a point off them is not terrible. Maybe that goal will jumpstart Rashford's season. But okay, Lindelof has been sold to Bayer Leverkusen. So that's three players sold right now so that probably will give us about maybe like 160 million 170 million in january and yeah we need some signings we got one more game to play though before we enter january it is the carabao cup quarterfinals versus arsenal this time to win this we reach the semis of the carabao cup which would be good especially after getting knocked out of the champions league and if we could win the carabao cup that'd be a pretty big like bounce back after getting knocked out with it being the carabao cup though we are going to play a youth team here kind of a youth team so we got sekumara phillips mount anthony mainu fernandez Molassi, martinez mcguire dallow and james trafford in goal so pretty much a rotated team other than like bruno mcguire and we'll see if this team can reach the Carabao Cup semis. And the last time this team played together was uh, the Carabao Cup versus Liverpool, where this team kind of beat a Liverpool first team on penalties. So it was dramatic. It was beautiful. We'll see if something similar happens in this game. But for the Arsenal, they're probably playing a pretty strong team here. Okay, Bruno, a chance, early chance here. Get it out wide. Dallows and cross that in to Mara, who almost got it. Goes back to Ramsdale, though. Now, Noah Phillips, the next David Beckham, our first youth player, is on playing on the left wing this game. He's not played there yet this year, but he is playing in that spot. Bruno Fernandez, bro, his outside the boot long shots are always so good. That one was uh, not too far off. Okay, Martinelli is driving for Maguire. Maguire need a strong tackle there. That was decent. Slowed it down a little bit, but it gets to Odegaard in a danger, dangerous spot. And okay, Trafford makes a good save. I thought he was in a pass in there. He threw me off because he didn't pass it. But our uh, young keeper, that's a very good save. Saka gets it to Nketia. This is dangerous. Okay, Dallo somehow stops that pass with just a touch, and we're fine. Dallo through to Mata in a good spot. He's going to try and hold this up. Get it back to Dallo. Actually, Anthony, Anthony into Mason Mount left footed shot and Saliba is going to block that and a really good chance. A new good ball to Anthony. Anthony, a chance to run in here. Get it to Mara. Out to Phillips. Into Mara left footed shot. It's going to be blocked again. Mount. Yeah, it's a Bruno. That could be a goal. That's going to be a goal when he's onside. Okay, Bruno Fernandez is having a very good, like, middle part of the season. He is starting to score so many goals for us. That's 1-0 to United. It's kind of a scrappy goal, but Mason Mount and Bruno combining there. And uh, not a bad header to throw off Ramsdale. Okay, 1-0 to United, 37th minute. Okay, that might be the first half. They're playing so slow at the back right now. They're, like, uh, having trouble getting the ball into our third right now. But halftime, and it's 1-0, uh, it's so not so bad so far. Haven't seen uh, too much of Phillips in this game, but we know the kid's got potential. He might show it in the second half. Mason gets it to Bruno. Bruno's gonna stop. Plays it to Phillips, which Phillips chance to cross it here. Phillips cross is pretty good. Anthony, did that go off his head? Like that was a perfect cross. I think he just didn't make contact with it. Mount gets it to Noah. Noah finds, tries to find Bruno. That was a good idea, but Jorginho is in a very good spot there defensively. Okay, Anthony, great ball to Mara. Mara plays it off. Back to Mara. Mara into Anthony. Kind of slowed down the attack so much. I wanted Anthony closer there. Okay, we're not playing bad though. Anthony cross in. Goes to, okay, Berardi, what kind of clearance is that? Noah Phillips gets it to Mason Mount, and that deflects, and somehow Ramsdale still saves that? Okay, let's try this corner again. Anthony in, not bad, but it's right back out. Anthony cross in for the second time again. His crosses are terrible. Phillips gets it to Mount, Mount, get it back to someone. Okay, keep the ball, try to relax, find a good shot here. Mason Mount, Bruno, lays it off to Dallow of all people, and Diogo Dallow, what a finish. For some reason, this, like, second team is so good in the Carabao Cup. We are 2-0 up on Arsenal right now, and Arsenal are... And Arsenal are just really not playing well this game. Bruno gets the assist. Dallo, good finish at a Portuguese connection. And okay, 2-0 with like 20 minutes left. Oh, we're in a good spot. We just can't lose it now. Do not let them get even one goal here. This is dangerous. Anthony did well there, and it's going to be a corner for them. Corner swung in. Out by Mara. Bruno win that. Bruno win it. He doesn't win it. Junya versus Mara. This is just chaos, bro. Let's get this ball out. We might win. Maguire. That wouldn't get tackled by Harry Maguire. Maguire's not been bad. That's pretty much why I decided to sell Lindelof instead of him. Maguire in spare time has not been that bad. Martinez, Martinez, clear it. We do clear it. Ball to Saka. They are really trying to get this first goal for them. But Malassia, Malassia, great defending by our backup left back too. Okay, that gets to Kai Havertz, and they are going to score that. That pass was so good. We got two minutes, though. Two minutes at a time. Just hold this ball, and we should be good. I think they scored a little bit too late there. Just do not let them get it. Noah, get it to Malassia. Malassia plays it to Noah Phillips. Noah Phillips tries to turn here, does turn. Is going to go for a shot, and Gabriel blocks it, but we have wasted enough time, and that is going to be game. All right, so this second team gets the job done again, and we are through to the Carabao Cup semis. So that's a positive move after getting knocked out of the Champions League. All right, so this is how we finish the month of December. So we're in third place, one point behind City in second, but uh, eight points off Liverpool, and only two points above Newcastle in fifth. So this top four race is uh, definitely heating up. But now, finally, into the transfer window, and we got $180 million to spend. And McTominay, Martial, Lindelof, and also Amrabat have left the club. Now, Amrabat, I barely 
barely played him. He wasn't really part of the future of this team, I think. So that's four players gone. And we need some reinforcements, definitely for sure. So first day of January, Ashworth meets with Ten Hag. And he says, the January transfer window is now open. We have enough funds to make signings. Who do you think we should sign? Now, after selling Lindelof, I think first up, we need a new uh, third or fourth choice center back. And maybe Rafael Varane's future replacement. And it seems like from the comments, we're all in agreement here that Todibo from Nice is the best option for us. He's 24 years old. He's 80 rated. And he could be like our version of Virgil van Dijk. Because, I mean, he's got some insane, like, sprint speed, strength, jumping, very good defensive stats, passing, dribbling. He sounds like a perfect center back signing. And I think rest of this year, he'd be Varane's backup. And then maybe season two, he becomes the starter of the team. Alongside Martinez, maybe. So I feel like this is a signing that's definitely worth it. And he also should not break the bank either. So let's start with uh, 28.5. Nice are going to want 31.1. Make it 30.5. No sell on clause. And Nice are going to flat out just accept that. Okay. We have our first signing of January, I think. So Toribo is signed up from Nice. And yeah, I feel like if we can develop him, we can give him game time, train his attributes up. It could transform him into a world-class center back, I think. So Toribo, welcome to the club. And that really did not break the bank at all. And we still might have a few more signings in mind. But our next game is Spurs at home. And I want to give Toribo his debut. So Toribo starts alongside Martinez, our new center back pairing, maybe the future. Other than that, same uh, usual first team. So Toribo's debut and also a big game versus Spurs at home. Now that 90 sprint speed from Toribo should help our defense a lot. Because it feels like a lot of times we get caught on these counterattacks where our center backs just can't catch up. And I feel like he should help with that. So Toribo, first touch for United. Welcome to the club. Trying to have a good debut for him. Now De Jong, Hoyland. Oh, we could have dropped it off to Bruno there. That could have been a great start. De Jong, great steal on with Charleston. Leads to a counter. Bruno into Marcus Rashford goes for a slight finish and that's the first goal of the game okay all started with a De Jong steal but Rashford is starting to come alive now he's uh starting to find his form Bruno gets the assist it's not the cleanest finish but he does just enough to get it past the Vicario and okay Rashford starts us off well in this game let's just keep it up see if we can get a win on Tudibo's debut Frank De Jong gets it to Bruno we got options here Rashford in a fine space there Rashford has a chance for a finish shot maybe Rashford Finesse shot. Oh, I thought that went in. That looks so good when he hit it. Hey, Rashford is really coming to life now. That is very good to see. Frank De Jong, great pass to Bruno in stride. Bruno, Bruno tries to find Holland, does find Holland, but he was just like held there. That should be a foul there. Debo versus Basuma. Turibo. Kana does not do well there. And then Benton Kerr is going to score. And Toribo kind of missed the tackle there a little bit. Kind of stepped up. I thought we'd get this, but we just missed that tackle right there. I'm not going to blame him. That was more so my fault. I'm not going to blame him. He just can't let a goal in that easily. It's 1-1. And then it's such a weak goal to concede. I don't know why we're not an elite team yet. Hello to De Jong. De Jong long shot. That's going to fall. I'll take the free kick, though. Oh, it's a, it's their free kick? How is that them? I thought it bounced off their arm. Okay, Rashford gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland gets it back to Marcus. Marcus, get it to De Jong. This looks good. De Jong, no, that was meant for Luke Shaw, not Rashford. It's not where I wanted that pass. Oh my, Garnacho, what a steal. This could be 2-1. Garnacho's not going to miss that. What a steal. They just fell asleep. Garnacho was ready for that, and he makes it 2-1. What a mistake by the Spurs defense. They've been, like, shaky this game. They're playing it so slow at the back, and Garnacho punishes them for that. Okay, big goal to score up for halftime. Take this 2-1 lead halftime. Dallow, Dallow, good tackle there. Udibo. Gonna clear that, and that should be halftime. Okay, 2-1 is a lot different than 1-1. So, big goal by Garnacho. Bruno to Rashford. He's got space here again. Rashford's gonna cut inside. Does very well there. Finesse shot Rashford. Vicario makes a save. Go falls to Garnacho, though. Garnacho, oh, he was offside. Man, that's so unfortunate. Another good uh, good attempt by Rashford, though. It is not good. Toribo first son. Toribo, Toribo does well there. Toribo makes a good tackle, though. Okay, Toribo, that's... Uh, Falls to Richarlison, and they are going to score in the end, though. Here, Richarlison is sitting in the goal right now, not doing anything. What is happening? Well, that's so unfortunate. Tadibo made a good tackle, but we just kind of lost it. And then Richarlison pounces, and it's going to be 2-2. This is such a sloppy game right now. We can't win games or become the best team in the world playing like this. So once again, we got to retake the lead. Bruno to Luke Shaw. We got options here. Luke Shaw. He's going to try and cross it to Hoyland. That cross doesn't even get through, though. It was a handball by Emerson, though. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, Bruno is going to swing in in this free kick. Not terrible. Rashford can't get it, though. All right, Toribo. I don't want to shoot this with him, but I'm not going to. Going to play it to Frank De Jong. Left-footed shot, but Cario makes the save. Luke Shaw steals it. Hoyland has got Garnacho. Plays it through. That ball has got to get through. That that pass, that cannot be stopped there. We got 10 minutes. This game is 2-2. It looks like there will be a winner in this game. It's just scored by who? Kluszewski gets by Luke Shaw. Kind of not really. Plays it in. Son, that skill destroyed me. And then James Madison is going to score. Bro, that skill by Son is just so unpredictable. And they might have just stole this game at the end. Just how am I supposed to defend this? Like, I thought he was going to... That created so much space and then no one's tracking Madison. Like, he's so free there. We got De Jong standing there. We got Casemiro standing there in front of them behind him actually just no one's marking him but Evo can't get there fast enough we got a minute here to get one point maybe get a draw it's gotta be right now though Rashford okay this is like off kickoff Bruno turns Bruno okay hold up hold up Luke Shaw De Jong Hoyland 
Chance to turn, Hoyland shoots, and somehow we've tied this game up. I don't know how we just found that shot, but Hoyland scores to at least to save a point. Okay, that kind of cancels out that Sun goal or that actually Madison goal. So I guess I will take it. What a weird game though. Just this turn while Hoyland, that turn right there created a lot of space. Okay, it's going to be 3-3. What a stressful game, but it's going to be another draw. At least we save a point. It's definitely better than losing. Now, Tribo, not the greatest debut. I'll say that, not the greatest, but he's definitely not the finished uh, product yet. It's going to need development. So with that draw, we might fall out of the top four if Man City or Newcastle win their game in hand. So this top four race is not going to be easy. All right, so I think it's time to make another signing here. Now we sold McTominay and I feel like Manu kind of takes his spot already, but I don't think we need a direct McTominay replacement. We probably need another midfielder at some point, but I feel like what we need more so is like another winger, another attacking option off the bench. I mean, Phillips and Mara are good, but they're still like low 70s, not that experienced. Yellow, not that experienced. I feel like we need one player for the bench, like kind of like Mason Mount. It'd be along to Anthony, another attacking option. And you guys left a lot of comments about this one player here who I think makes a lot of sense. And that is Michael Lise from Crystal Palace, the French right mid. Now his stats remind me a lot of Mason Mount, like he's got good dribbling, not insanely fast, not insanely good at shooting or dribbling, but he seems like a very well-rounded player at only 22 years old that we can definitely develop into a world-class player. And the fact that he can play on the wing, play at Cam as a backup to Bruno, that definitely helps. And he's also 6'2", so he's got some size on him, he's not short. Also, has really good agility at 91. So for an off-the-bench player, I feel like we can't go wrong here. And he'll kind of be the same price as Toribo. So let's go for like maybe 28 million. Him and Toribo are definitely signings for the future of this team, like later down the line season two, season three, they can maybe become the stars of this team. So it's players that we have to develop, but 30 million and Crystal Palace say yes to that. So Michael Elisa accepts the contract and he signs for Manchester United. Welcome to the club. So we can see with Elisa and Toribo, our bench looks like much stronger. And I mean, those are two players that can really develop into stars in this team. So I'd say two good pickups. So now it's time for Elise's debut, but it's a very big game. It's the uh, Carabao Cup semis second leg versus uh, Watford now. The first leg was simmed, it was 1-1. So now second leg, if we win this, we reach the Carabao Cup final. So let's Let's throw in Elise for Rashford. Rashford does not really fit. Let's throw Garnacho on the left, Elise on the right. And I'm going to play Mara. Let's throw in uh, Manu in there. Let's put Phillips on the bench. Shodibo for Varane. I think we go with that. Also Trafford. And we'll see how Michael Elise does on his Manchester United debut. Now we are the heavy favorites here, you know, facing Watford. Even with some rotations, we should still beat this team and reach that Carabao Cup final. So we got to take care of business today. And I want to see Todibo have a much better game too. Now Garnacho to Mara. Mara, okay, Garnacho's got space. Garnacho's going to try to cut inside here. Oh, he does cut inside. He got fouled there, but the ref doesn't even call it. Todibo, Todibo. Okay. Okay, that's better uh, defending from Tidibo there. Good uh, cleanup play. Now Bruno to Manu, who's got space. Again, Garnacho is finding space on this uh, left-hand side. He's coming forward. Garnacho, chance for a long shot. Oh, it felt good, but too much power on it though. Hey, Garnacho, once again, he's finding space here a lot. Get it to get it to Mara actually to Manu. Manu, Luke Shaw, Mara. Try to find a shot of his own maybe. He's gonna try to play it to Frank de Jong. That was such a good play, but he got pushed over. Once again, we never get calls. Like the refs just hate me. Okay, Bruno is running here. Bruno's gonna try to find Elise. Elise is not at a touch yet. He's not finding any space on that right side. It's on the left side. This has been a very cagey first half. Not many uh, clear chances. And okay, that is the first half. Bro, that went by so quick. It felt like nothing happened. I'm not sure Elise had one touch of the ball in his debut. So second half, we got to try and fix that. So 45 more minutes and hey, we don't have the lead right now. So our ticket to the final is not yet even in place. Elise, first touch though. It is about time. Gets it back to Dallo. Dallo, I'm going to try to find him. Elise, okay, that's a good run. Elise, Chance to shoot, and that's a good save by their keeper. All right, not a bad move by our new signing, though. Bruno, cross in, looks good, falls to Todibo, and that is uh, cleared off the line. Todibo looking for his first goal for the club. Young once again, tries to find Elise. Elise, man, that ball needed to be on the inside, not the outside. We got 30 minutes. This game has been the slowest game of the season, maybe. It feels like nothing really is happening. And if this game stays tight, I think we're going to penalties, which I don't really want that. That dribbling is insane. Todibo, oh my, Todibo. How does he get by there? How does he actually do that? We are 2-1 down to Watford now. How does he do this move where he has the ball still and he does that and then he goes all the way back? Bro, that is... How am I supposed to defend that? That is like disgusting right there. Okay, 2-1. We got like what? 25 minutes now? Or else we're knocked down the Carabao Cup. Bro, like I am about to throw up. Mara plays it to Dallow into Bruno. Bruno tries to find some space, but that shot is blocked. Okay, Hoyland and uh, Rashford are on. We need our best players in the field to try and carry us over and save. Our Carabao Cup hopes. Elise is going to try and shoot that. It's going to fall. Dallow is going to find Marcus. Rashford He's going to shoot, but it's right at the keeper though. Come on, we're pushing. 15 minutes. Cross in. It doesn't fall to anyone though. Elise. Chance to shoot, Elise, it goes off the defender's face. Come on, just one goal at a time, find it. Bruno, through two. Marcus Rashford, this keeper is making some big saves right now. How does he save that? Oh, Deong steals it, but then it's gonna go out, bro. Oh, is it really just not our day again? Okay, I am not sure what happened there, but that's gonna result in Hoyland getting a run here. Hoyland, please, Hoyland! 
How did we get a chance there? I cannot believe what I've seen. I don't know how Bruno fell over the ball there and kept it, but somehow we have tied this game up again. That was probably the luckiest goal of the series so far. The fact we got that chance. Hoyland, though, great finish under pressure. Okay, 2-2. We are tied up. Is this going to penalties now? Hoyland, still hold up. We have a chance here. Bruno, Bruno finds Marcus Rashford. Rashford to Mainu. Mainu tries to feed an Elise and the ball doesn't get through. Elise was so free there. It is going to be, I think, I think, ref, are you going to blow the whistle here? Wait, the ref is giving them a chance. We are a full minute over at a time. Ref, give them the chance. Okay, Luke Shaw, just clear. I can't believe the ref actually gave them a chance there. Okay, so just like Liverpool, James Trafford in goal, and we got a penalty shootout versus Watford. Okay, first penalty to reach. The Carabao Cup final left, and it's in for Watford. All right, Bruno Fernandez, I need a good penalty. We are going to go top right. Top right, Bruno. Great penalty from Bruno. Come on, Trafford. We need some saves here. Trafford, he's going to go right. No, it goes right down the middle. Are you kidding me? Marcus Rashford. Bottom left. Good penalty. Come on, Ince. We got to save this. Ince, he's going to go. Oh, it goes down the middle again. Twice in a row. Okay, Rasmus Hoyland. We are going to go top right. Top right. Top right. Oh, my. What a penalty. Come on, we got to save one of these. Come on, we got to save one of them. Trafford. How do you not save that? Why would you go under it? Okay, new signing. Michael Elise. We're going bottom left. Bottom left. Good penalty. How did Trafford not save that, though? Gotta save this, Trafford. Gotta save this. Thank you, Trafford, for saving that. If we score this, we reach the final. Lissandro Martinez. Power top right. Power top right. It's gonna be saved. You've got to be kidding me. And they're gonna score on the left. Now, Deong has to score to keep us alive. Bottom right. Bottom right, please. Oh, that just, that barely gets in. Rafford, I need another save. I need another save. He goes left again, though. I can't save anything right now. Oh, no. Our new signing, Todibo. Looks good, though. Bottom left. Great penalty by Todibo. What an insane penalty shootout. Rico Lewis scores his. Bobby Mainu to keep us alive again. We're going bottom right. Bottom right. We stay alive somehow. Come on, we gotta save one of these. Come on, we gotta save one of these. Right now, we can go left again, bro. I can't save anything. Yogo Dalo, top left. Top left, keeper goes the wrong way. This shootout is insane. This guy's a center back. Come on, center back, Trafford. Oh, why do you jump so far? Luke Shaw to keep us alive once again. Bottom right, and they're going to save that. It was bound to happen. We could not save anything. I just felt us losing this penalty shootout. Honestly, they deserve it. We got that final chance with Hoyland, which is like a gift where Bruno fell over the ball. That's the only reason we had a chance here, but they just had a great penalty shootout. They deserve it. And we are knocked out of the Carabao Cup in the semis. Bro, that just hurts, though, again, just like the Champions League. Like, knocked out of two competitions in one episode that is rough so that means all we got left this year is the fa cup the prem and the europa league and we should not have lost that we really should not have i gotta say so far though Tribo, he's he had a better game that game but still not the greatest debut episode and then elise did not do much in that game either but they were kind of tough debuts they're joining us when we're not really in form we can't be like too harsh on them they have the full second half of the season to show what they can do but okay we got we got what 111 million on our budget still and we are still in the uh, january transfer window we might not be done with signings we might have one more up our sleeve and that'll be be in the next episode in our journey of rebuilding manchester united we just got a reality check despite us making two good signings in toribo from nice and michael elise from crystal palace last episode we were knocked out in the carabao cup semis and also knocked down into the europa league finishing third in our champions league group so a big disappointment for the club and pressure on ten hog is rising but we can only look forward now if we can finish top four this season and have a go at winning either the europa league or the fa cup then this season might still be a success and hey we still are in the january transfer window although there's been a lot of disappointment lately i think we found a signing here that could help us build for the future and get this club back on track so drop a like down below if you want to see more of this series and let's get back into it now we start this episode off with some news here the headlines say ineos and surgeon ratcliffe have reportedly lost confidence in ten hog as man united manager and while a sacking this season has been rolled out ten hog is on thin ice to remain as united manager next season so yeah the pressure is rising but first comment today is saying to change rashford's instructions so he can be more effective in games like i get in behind cut inside and also stay forward now he already was on get in behind but we are going to change his chance creation from uh just balance i guess to cut inside to see if we can get more out of rashford now next one ask david beckham to mentor noah phillips now that is not a bad idea because i mean hey noah phillips is called the next david beckham maybe over the summer between season one and two we can do that and hey that could improve phillips stats a lot and now last one find the next fernand also the next vintage yeah so basically try to find a youth center back that does not sound like a bad idea we have scouts available so we'll think about that one right now though i think we have one more signing here that maybe won't like immediately impact the 
this team and make this team better. But kind of like players like Arnacho, Mainu, Elise, Phillips. It's a young player that maybe like two years, three years down the line could be a star of this team. And uh, since we sold McTominay, our only midfielders on the bench are Mainu and Mason Mount. Pretty much that's it. So let's say if like Dion got injured, then on the bench, we wouldn't really have like a backup midfielder. So I feel like that's what we need. And like I said, I think I found a perfect player here. Now that player is Alex Scott, the 20 year old English midfielder. Now this kid has got potential through the roof. Already at 20 years old, his stats are so good, like incredibly well rounded. He's got almost 70 finishing so he can score, but he's also got 71 stand tackle so he can defend too, along with pretty decent pace. And he's got all this only at 20 years old still. So I mean, for players like under 21, he could be England's best wonder kid. And if he's not that, then we can mold him into that. Cause with those stats, he can play in the midfield, can play on the wing, can play maybe at fullback spots. And like I said, mountains of potential here. So definitely assigning alongside Phillips, uh, Elise, or Nacho Mainu, more like the future of this team. But for that cheap, this is a no doubter here. So we're gonna offer just straight up 10 million and Bournemouth are going to what 12.3. Made 11.5, give me a little deal here. And Bournemouth accept that. And just like that, Alex Scott is signed up. Maybe a future starting midfielder for England and also maybe a future starting midfielder for us. So I've got a really good feeling about this signing here. Alex Scott, welcome to Manchester United. So he's an exciting prospect. And with those stats there, it's obvious. I mean, he's such a well-rounded player. He can do everything. So I feel like we just signed a future star of this series, a future club legend, but only time will tell. And I'd say it's now time for his debut to see if he looks like the next star of this team. So 21 games in, we sit in fourth place, only at three points above Newcastle in fifth. So the top four race is very close. Now Wolves are all the way down in 16th. So they're not doing good. I think for this game, I'm going to play Elise over Garnacho, give him a rest. And we're going to throw in Alex Scott for Dion. We're going to do that. So Scott gets his debut. Let's also do Malasia for Shaw. We're going to go with that. And we'll see how good our new signing does on his Man United debut. So we don't have like a young English core of uh, Mainu, Phillips, and also Alex Scott now. So we're kind of building like the next class 92 in a way. But okay, we need to stay in the top four. So it's an important game to win. And Alex Scott, let's see how you do. Also, Elise, he only, he's only played one game so far and he hasn't really showed anything, but it was a tough game for his debut. So I want to see more of him. All right, Scott's going to play it out wide. Gets it to Dallow. Dallow finds Elise. Now, Michael Elise has a chance to shoot here. Michael Elise goes for the shot and that wasn't too far wide. It wasn't the worst shot. Look at Alex Scott win that header. See, he's got the ability to pretty much do everything. He has a chance here. Alex Scott left footed shot and okay that shot wasn't too far wide either from the new signing it's a pretty good run i mean he's looking lively look at that player debut the media is taking notice here top left it's a pretty high profile debut here now one thing that's great about elise is right there he's got good tackling for a winger that's a plus having him there elise gets it to hoyland hoyland gets it to rashford rashford good touch there that's a save but hoyland rebound oh man i thought he could have got that okay that's now three uh decent looking shots we tested the keeper once it gets time for our first goal soon we gotta score it castamel great still no foul rep doesn't call it thank you ref rashford out to Malasia. come on this first goal is right here come on rashford cuts inside well Gonna play to Bruno. Over to Michael Elise. Has a chance to shoot. And Jose Saw makes a great save. Okay, Bruno cross in. That goes right to Casemiro, whose header goes way over the net as well. Yeah, they got one of these free kicks from like the halfway line. These are usually actually pretty dangerous. Just like this. See, they're always dangerous now. Bro, those never used to be a threat. I'm like scared of those now. Okay, Rashford, there's a chance to shoot. Marcus Rashford, left footed shot. That is deflected. Bro, this has been a scrappy game so far. We're gonna go for a short corner. Rashford gets it back to Bruno. Now Bruno cross far post. Martinez gets to it. But once again, the header is terrible. And our shooting has been like so bad this game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we just see that uh, speed boost there? Bro, that was fishy. I've never seen a speed boost like that. At least not often. That was very fishy. Bruno to Marcus Rashford. Come on, the goal is right here. I feel it. I've said that now like three times. We haven't scored. Maybe I should stop saying that. Bruno, Bruno gets it to Rasmus Hoyland. Should score there. How do we not score that Rasmus? Why is that shot like so close to Jose Sa? Okay, short corner again. Gonna play it back. Who is this? He's shooting it. Oh, it's gonna be Alex Scott. Alex Scott, that shot did not look bad. Bruno into someone, but it's not gonna reach us to Martinez. Bro, we've had way too many shots since first half to not have a goal for it. Half time, it's nil-nil. So far, Scott in his debut looks decent. Hasn't done much though, along with the rest of the team. Now, Casemiro is trying to change that. We know he can bang him, so long shot Casemiro. Jose Sa is saving everything right now though. Okay, Bruno corner in. Casemiro, okay, that's not gonna go to him. It's gonna be Scott again on the volley oh my alex scott if he would have scored that he hit that so cleanly just need like an inch more power on that you're telling me man city signed come on the top left are you kidding me so they just got even better rashford gets it to alex scott plays it up to elise Elise is going to go with a shot. Of course, that shot is blocked. One of those games where we're attacking so much, having so many shots compared to them. But all they need is one lucky chance and they take the lead. What happens when you don't take your chances and don't like punish teams you're better than? Got on Bueno. Okay, that's a good stop there. Duran stops it though. Come on, we can't let him score here. Cunha, Cunha. Martinez steps over and we prevent a goal there. That was so close. Malasia gives it to Bruno. Bruno, feed in. Marcus Rashford, great ball. Marcus, but he's just offside. That looks so close. Okay, three subs. We got Nacho on for Elise, then Mason Mount on for Rashford, and then a Shaw for Malasia. This feels like one of those classic games where I feel you're gonna score all our chances missed i just feel it happening varan varan's gonna stop that get it to anana it's gonna be a corner corner swung in out by luke shaw yes it is now mason win that mason does win it okay, this could be a counter hoyland 
Gets it up to Mason Mount. Mason Mount dribbling with like no help though. What is this? A two on seven? Mason, Alex Scott plays it up to Rasmus Hoyland. Turns a shot and we have just hit the post. That was a uh, post and off Jose saw. That was going to be Alex Escada, his first assist for the club too, by the way. We just further get like so unlucky this game. And they're starting to play better. I can feel it. Neto, he's going to get through. Oh, we just can't make a tackle. Like, I don't know who I'm controlling. That was just so bad, bro. It's just felt to this whole game. The more we can score, the more we're going to make a mistake and they're going to score. Yeah, I thought I was controlling Varane, actually, and I was controlling Martinez. So that's a mistake by me. And now we're down 1-0 with 15 minutes left. Feels like a very realistic game, though. Like, frustrated from not scoring. And we make, like, a very bad, just mental defensive mistake. This feels too realistic. Casemiro gets it. Alex Scott trying to find a pass here. Beads in Garnacho. What a pass from Alex Scott. And thank you. Someone can score. Okay, Garnacho, grab that ball. Finally, someone can score. Okay, there's still time to win this game now. We got what? We got nine minutes. That is enough time to win this. Or even lose it too. Okay, last sub is Mara on for Hoyland. Pretty much just for fresh legs up top. But we got five minutes and they're playing for a draw here. They're playing so slow. You can feel it. They're playing for a draw. But they get a chance here to come forward. How does that get to their striker? Martinez, Martinez. Good stop there. Okay, we have a chance here. Oh, we're gonna steal that Mason. Mason. No, we had to steal that. We got a minute left. I'm not sure we're gonna a chance now. Alex Scott trying to steal that, but can't. Varane will get that, but it looks like it's going to be a draw. Wait, okay, that was a free kick by uh, it's a foul by them, actually, but that's going to be game. Man, this is a game we should have won. We should not have drawn this game, but we just couldn't score in that first half. We just couldn't score. Still, though, Alex Scott, I mean, he's probably one of the best players in the field this game. Get an assist. Garnacho scored, but it's going to be more drop points from us. So we do stay in the top four after that, but just Newcastle and even West Ham now are getting closer to us. Still, though, Alex Scott, great debut, and we're going to see a lot more of him through the rest of this season. And hey, after that game, he gives a post game interview, and he says that when he learned that May United wanted to sign him, he immediately said yes, and that he wants to help this team get back to the top. And that is just music to our ears. Now, it is officially transfer deadline day, but I don't see any more moves that we need to make right now. I think, obviously, there's a lot of moves that, that could really improve this team, like a left back, maybe. I think for now, rest of the season, we play with this squad, and then maybe in the summer, we make some big changes in season two. But for now, I think we're good. So, officially, the transfer window is now shut for the rest of season one. All right, so next up is our first Europa League game of the year, after getting uh, thrown out of the Champions League. So, this is the uh, round of 32, and we have Ajax in this round. The first was simmed and that was a 2-2 draw so second leg we'll decide who goes through and Ajax are not a bad team now in real life they are struggling but they're still a dangerous team and I feel like we have a real chance of winning the Europa League so we cannot get knocked out here in the first round now I think I am going to start Alex Scott again over De Jong we are going to rotate a little bit for the Europa League so like Noah Phillips comes in let's play Garnacho on the left let's get Manu in there for Casemiro get Toribo and I think Wanabe Saka and we'll go with that also let's play James Trafford in there so we got kind of a youth team in there it's a Europa League squad and I feel like we should still still win this game though so I'm excited here we got Manu Garnacho show uh phillips alex scott all starting together we got the youth on showcase today and once again lose this we are knocked out of the europa league we, that can't happen even with this young team we have playing out here today it might not be the e easiest game Manu, okay is that a pass we're gonna call that a pass to wambi saka we're calling it a pass i don't know what that was though alex scott gets it to hoyland hoyland out to wambi saka now phillips gets back on side phillips turns try to play it to uh, hoyland scott to phillips phillips and go for a fake shot into Garnacho who shoots and already that's one goal for us. Apparently the only man that can score today is Garnacho. Okay, six minutes in, one nil to United. And hey, Phillips, Scott, Bruno, all part of that buildup. I like to see it. Okay, let's keep this up. Good start finally. Yeah, Bruno just tried to tackle that guy and he just fell over like a rag doll. I mean, I like the effort from Bruno. I like that at least. Now Manu gives it to Bruno. He's fine. Bruno driving through. He's got Phillips on a run. Noah Phillips chance to shoot here Noah Phillips shoots and that's a good save from their keeper though okay corner swung in that's gonna go to Martinez Martinez the shortest center back on the field he just handballed it Martinez he just literally like grabbed the ball with both of his hands Bruno Wanabe Saka has got Alex Scott in the middle goes to Hoyland instead Hoyland gets it to Bruno now Bruno crossover to Garnacho. oh that's gonna fall Garnacho free volley attempt that is so lucky right there but I'll take it Garnacho has two this game and the kids on a hat trick yeah I actually look like they're as bad in the game as they are in real life right now this looks terrible for them I mean, it's a good cross, but what is that clearance? That is so bad. And Garnacho just volleys it in. Okay, 2 0 and probably what? Yeah, under 20 minutes. And hey, Garnacho is on a hat trick. Oh, Mainu, what a tackle. Okay, yeah, the youth are on show today. Hoyland is going to go for a shot here. Of course, that's blocked, though. Bruno gets it to Alex Scott. Alex Scott. Chance for a finesse shot. It goes over the net. Luke Shaw and Forbes. Luke Shaw. Okay, Forbes kind of pushed him over there. That is not really good to see, but he does recover. Luke Shaw. Okay, no. Forbes steals it back. Luke Shaw, you got to be better than that. Luke Shaw, get it. Get it. Someone's got to get it. Still stays in our box. Toribo gets it out. Okay, Toribo. Good defensive play there. Now, Garnacho to Bruno. We got space here. Bruno gets it out to Wan Bisaka. Wan Bisaka is driving forward here. Get it back. This is Noah Phillips, which he's got good crossing. Garnacho is not going to get that, though. Benu. Chance to go for a shot. That is blocked. Is that handball? 
Oh, that's handball. This is a free kick that is very close. Bruno, this has got to be yours. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good. Bruno Fernandez from the free kick spot is going to, he's going to hit the post. Oh, that is just so close. That is heartbreaking. It feels like it could be very good for us, like a big win. If we can get these goals flowing, just like this, Hoyland is in. Hoyland, big chance to shoot. Sotalo's in a block it though. Again, a bad clearance falls to Bruno. Trying to get a fill up skate. That was a bad pass. He's also offside, I think. Alex Scott forces that uh, turnover. Phillips gets it right back to him. Now, Alex Scott going to play to Manu. Manu, some chance, some room actually to room to drive in here. He's going to shoot. And of course, it's also blocked like all of my shots are. But okay, two goal lead halftime. It's not bad so far. We need to build further on it though. Bruno driving forward. We got Noah Phillips out wide. Noah gets on the inside there, but he got kind of held by that defender a little bit. Wait, Noah steals that. Hoyland. Two guard nacho. That should be the hat trick. And that is the hat trick, bro. Ajax are so bad in this game right now. It is 5 2. And that is hat trick complete for Alejandro Garnacho. What are they doing in the back? You're like, no one. That's a great steal. And then it's an open net for Garnacho, the easiest of his three goals today. Yeah, they're looking like the same team from real life, basically. Alex Scott, great tackle there. See, he can do everything. He's got pace. He's got defensive awareness. He's looking very good so far. Okay, that's another tackle by him into Hoyland. Which Hoyland hold it. Get it to Alex Scott. Scott gets it to the other youth player, Phillips. Now Phillips, who's going to wrap that around. Head it to Bruno. Bruno, what was that? Garnacho went for a bicycle kick. Did not even make contact on it. Scott to Noah Phillips. Noah's going to wait for Juan Bisaka. There's a chance for a cross. Juan Bisaka, good crossover. Bruno header, but the header goes over the net. Literally everything is going our way this game. Very different than last game. Luke Shaw is going to try to find. That was meant for Alex Scott. That was actually a very good cross by Luke Shaw. Debo is going to find Bruno. Bruno turns. Bruno into Hoyland. Over to Noah Phillips, who takes so long to shoot. Hoyland, there's an open net, but it's blocked. And that was a great chance for Noah. It just took way too long to shoot there. Okay, this one is a small chance for Ajax finally they have not done much in our uh in our box at all which probably is running forward probably the most dangerous player gets it to Forbes gets by there but okay Luke Shaw Luke Shaw just clear it we are just gonna clear that not terrible defending all right subs on we got like four subs we got Mara we got Elise also Mason Mountain I think Malasia I want them score here if they score here this game is gonna become a game gets it into Van Den Boomen what a name Martinez gets it and he actually keeps it in there wait what is that? That was a foul on them? How is it a foul? Okay, free kick in a very weird spot. Keeper doesn't come out for it. Thankfully, uh, Mara clears it though, and Phillips clears it again. I did not mean to do that second clearance. To be fair, the last like 10 minutes has been all Ajax, so they are making a little push here, but defense is holding up. Maynu is pressuring. Maynu, Maynu can't get that one. Alex Scott will get that one though. Man, what a tackle. What a game by him. Out to Phillips. Phillips to Alex Scott. Scott gets it over to Wamisaka. Wamisaka. Oh man, Phillips is so offside. That was so bad timing. Noah was showing his age there. I got a chance though. This is Wamisaka again. He is going to cross this in. Far post. That is going to be Elise with what an attempted finish, but what a save. Man, that would have been such a nice goal. I don't know how the keeper saves that. Okay, they got one chance here. It should not matter though, because we are two goals up. Robbie. Turibo is defending this two on one, and he does so well there. Okay, Turibo is looking much better than uh, last episode. Corner Swung in, out by, not out by, wait. Is that a goal? That's actually a goal. Alex Scott could, didn't get that out soon enough. Okay, so Ajax do score one. Oh man, Alex, see, he's, he's showing his age too. You gotta make sure you clear that. So they're gonna get one goal, but that's the last kick of the game. So that's not bad. That's gonna count as an Alex Scott own goal. That's so unfortunate. He played so good this game. So a few players showing their age towards the end. They're inexperienced, but hey, we still just smacked Ajax. All right, so we now make it to the Europa League round of 16. But before we play the round of 16, we have a huge game in the Premier League. So another Manchester Derby, they're sitting in second place, eight points above us. And with, uh, Tenog being under pressure here, this game is even bigger. As before this game, reports come out online that are linking Graham Potter, Jose Mourinho, and also Ruud van Nistelrooy to be the next manager of Manchester United in case Ten Hag is sacked. And the reports say that there's a big summer of decisions ahead of the new ownership group of Manchester United. So it's a big game for Eric Ten Hag, which means, yeah, we're playing the first team here. We're not playing any of the kids, really, other than like Hoyland and Garnacho. So pretty much our best first team here. And yet again, another Manchester derby. Now, in this last matchup, we were very competitive with them, though. We actually played good. But right in the end, we lost it. So it feels like if we play our best, we can definitely like compete with them. But at the end of the day, they're still the best team and much better than us. So let's just see how this goes. Okay, Diong gets it out to Garnacho. Garnacho driving forward. Also, Dallas driving forward. We got Bruno though. Bruno, first time shot trying to catch Ederson off guard. And that was not a bad shot. Audrey gets it to Erling Holland. Out to Foden, probably the two most dangerous players in the attack. Balde. Gets it to Erling Holland. Moran, they drag it back to Doku, and we just can't defend that. Doku scores, and it's 1-0 to Manchester City. Bro, their attack is just a nightmare to defend. It's kind of felt like a weird goal, though. The ball was past Doku. We kind of stood there, and he kind of just shot. Like, Martinez wasn't in a great, like, starting position. Like, there's so much room there for the shot. Not the star we wanted here. Okay, Luke Shaw's gonna try to play to Rashford. Actually, if, if Rashford's on side, 
That is a beautiful pass, and Rashford scores. He is on side. Talk about an instant reply. Rashford scores, and it's 1 1. That timing on Luke Shaw's pass was literally perfect. Like, he must have been just on the line there. And okay, Rashford, great finish. He's starting to play much better towards the end of the season, or towards the middle part of it, I should say. Good response 1 1 in 12 minutes. This might be a high scoring game. Okay, Dallow's got an early yellow, which I'm not really sure from. We gotta be careful with him. Brand, that's good defending on Holland, though. Good pass to De Jong. That's a great De Jong turn. Gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland. Garnacho, this is not bad. Garnacho holds it up. Trying to find some space. Gets it to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw gonna cross it in, but that's well defended. Yeah, we could have done much better with that. Okay, they got a corner, which De Bruyne on a corner is very dangerous, but Dallow gets that out. Doku, Doku. Man, if we could steal that, that'd be a breakaway chance. Bruyne gets it to Kovacic. Holland is doing moves. Someone help me. Holland gets it all the way back. Okay, Holland, that dribbling was so good. Rodri gets it out to Foden. How am I supposed to defend this attack right now, bro? They are literally insane. Gets it to Rodri. Rodri drags it back for Kevin De Bruyne, and they score their second. Bro, they are like impossible to defend when they're in form and they're playing like they're in form right now this rodri what a little layoff to de bruyne and then the first time shot onana has no chance i mean i would like onana to make a save here now but that shot is kind of hard to uh to criticize him for it was a good shot okay, let's see if we can respond instantly again which hoyland threw to rashford again rashford Tom finish. Rashford scores again, bro. It's the same thing. An instant reply and Rashford makes it 2-2. Bro, that is, we've scored like two of the easiest goals of the season. Off of goals they scored. Just Hoyland drives it forward. Rashford finds space and it's a good finish by Rashford. Okay, Rashford has a brace at the Etihad and this is currently 2-2. Doku versus Mar Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, great tackle. Get it out. Just clear it. Not really the best clearance though. And Garnacho, great still on ball day. And a very electric opening 40 minutes here. Dallo to De Jong. Young is going to switch this all the way to Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw making that inverted run. Gets it up to Rasmus. Hoyland, but we dribbled right into Ruben Diaz. Doku finds Holland. This is not good. This is really not good. We got to stop this pass. Get us out the pass in the middle, which we didn't stop it there. Luke Shaw does get it out, though. Okay, final chance in the first half. Rashford driving forward. A chance for a first half hat trick, but that shot was so bad. Okay, they've scored two. Our defense has been pretty bad, but the game is tied. Like, we responded. So, first half, I am not mad about that right there. Nacho gets it to Frankie Young. This could be a good start. Second half, that's blocked. Young, another cross in, goes to Bruno. Oh, man, I thought he was going to hit that on the volley. That would have been nasty. Young, Kovacic, that's a foul right there. I'll take that foul, I guess. At least it slowed down their attack. Oh, Doku is cooking Luke Shaw right now. Doku gets inside, gets it to Kovacic. Kovacic to Holland, but Varan steps up. Oh, that's going to fall. You got to be kidding me. Oh, thankfully, Holland misses that. That, that bounce to them was so lucky right here. That bounce. Holland should have scored that. He misses. He should have scored that one. That is a big miss. Bruno to Frank and Young. Up to Rasmus. Over to Rashford. Rashford over to Luke Shaw. He is going to find a cross here. Hoyland. He just can't fight for that. Okay, now they got a counter attack. We got numbers back, but might not be enough. Doku. Onana, big save. Okay, big grab by Onana too. We got 30 minutes. A draw versus Man City would actually not be that bad. So if we can hold this, it might be a decent result. A good uh, tackle by Luke Shaw there leads to a counter with Bruno to Hoyland. Hoyland is going to lose it though. Bruno steals it back. This is like chaos. One team gets it. Then one team steals it. And then Ederson is going to make the save. Okay, short corner to Garnacho. Garnacho, Bruno to Frank De Jong has a chance here from distance. Frankie De Jong hits the post. What a shot. That deserved to go in. Again, that is so unlucky. Ball to De Bruyne. This is not good. De Bruyne at the ball on the wing is definitely not good because he just picked out that pass. That was insane. Martinez just clear it. Martinez just clear it, bro. We cannot. Okay, Luke Shaw. This is what I'm saying. We can't clear it. We're so loose with it in the back. Holland, Varane just saved goal. I think that was a all or nothing tackle. We got 15 minutes. This is just pure chaos now. Frankie De Jong up to Garnacho. Garnacho cross to Hoyland, then get on the end of it to Bruno. Bruno turns. Marcus, no, Rashford was right there. I, I was trying to get the ball to him. Bro, he had a free shot. Okay, Holland. Holland, please stop. We got numbers back. We're okay. Bruyne gets it to Grealish. Grealish into Holland. Gets it over. Rodri. Rodri scored the winner in our last meeting, I think. And Onana makes that save, though. Okay, two subs. We got Alex Scott coming on for De Jong and Elise on for Garnacho. I am trusting Alex Scott in this game here. He's played good so far. See if he can impact these uh, final 10 minutes if we don't concede here. Which, that gets over to Rodri into Kevin De Bruyne. Can't make a tackle. We make a tackle there. And we maybe have just saved this game for us. Oh, my. Holland was right there in front of the net. They are just not stopping, though. Is that a foul? That is not a foul. I'll take that. Okay, six minutes and I am nervous. We don't have to rush things and get it to Scott. Scott gets to Elise. Now Elise is going to find Bruno. Bruno does find Alex Scott. Oh, man, that first touch was so awkward because Hoyland was there. Dallo, Scott gets it back to Bruno. Bruno is going to find. Oh, my. Alex Scott, a chance to win. And this shot goes near post. Bro, I was aiming to the far post. Okay, we got two minutes. We might have the final chance here, actually. Casemiro, Rashford, Rashford. 
Hoyland lays it off to Bruno Fernandez, and Bruno scores the winner. 92nd minute, we have just won the Manchester Derby. Of course, it had to be Bruno too, huh? Bro, we fought back this game despite them playing so well, but we just played a little bit better in the end, I think. We also got lucky, but Bruno Fernandez between two defenders, what a finish. So 3-2, we just beat Manchester City. That's what I'm saying. Like On our day, if we play our best, we can compete with them. But man, that is a shock result. That is one of our best wins of the season so far, though. So that means we're now in third place, and game in hand, we have a chance of going at only two points behind Man City. That's a momentum setting win right there. But okay, now next up is back in the Europa League and we've been drawn Real Batiste in the round of 16. So not an insanely good team, but definitely not a bad team. Now first leg is going to be a 3-2 win. Okay, Hoyland and Rashford score. Also Bruno, so it's a one goal lead. I think I'm confident if we sim this with the first team, we can beat them. It is a little bit of a risk though. So full first team, this game is gonna be 3-1. Okay, we do win. Bruno, Elise, and Bruno. So we advance to now the Europa League quarterfinals. Now next up is the FA Cup. We have Watford away, where I think this is the quarterfinals. Yeah, it's quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Round six. So win this, we go to Wembley, the semis. It's actually a pretty big game. Now, before this game, it was just announced that Alex Scott, Noah Phillips, and Kobe Mainu have all been called up to the under-21 England squad. So three of our core youth players, both in the England squad already. I mean, that's pretty much the future of this team. And all three of them start in this game versus Watford, where if we win this, we reach the FA Cup semis. So we got some rotations, but still some big players in there, of course, like Bruno. Now, if I'm remembering right, Watford knocked us out of the Carabao Cup. So there's a chance for revenge in the FA Cup. It was Watford, right? Why am I sure? going to remember that. I'm pretty sure it was. Now Luke Shaw is in here. Luke Shaw gets it to Marcus though. Marcus cuts inside, goes for a shot, falls to Mara. Mara, I didn't mean to turn like that. Oh, that was such a good chance. Mainu. Mainu, actually a good defensive play. Debo gets it to Scott. Scott gets it to Dallow. Dallow back to Alex Scott. Chance to shoot. That shot went right off that defender. Martinez, Dallow. Back to Scott. Scott plays it into uh, Phillips, but he's going to lose it. Okay, Todibo, great tackle. Todibo is looking good now. He had a shaky first episode, but he's looking good now. Phillips over to Mara, though. Seku Mara will shoot across goal, and that is going to be saved. Bruno, cross in, goes right to Martinez. Not going to get it. Todibo is not going to get that either. Now, Noah Phillips gets it to Alex Scott. Scott's in turn. Keeps it, gets it to Dallo. Back to Alex Scott. A chance to get his first goal for the club here. If he scores that, Buchanan is going to make the save, though. Okay, Phillips steals it back. Dallow back to Alex Scott. Maybe another chance. Going to play it to Bruno instead. Bruno back to Alex Scott. Is going to shoot that, but it's blocked again, bro. Okay, now I'm remembering. It was Watford we played against. We lost. I remember. I'm having PTSD. All these shots and all these saves. Phillips. Phillips. Okay, there's a chance. Phillips. Fine left-footed finesse shot. Okay, this keeper's now made what? Four saves? We have to score right now. Come on. Short corner into Rashford. Back to Noah Phillips. Chance to shoot. Phillips shoots, and that's going to be another corner. Hey, we're going to keep trying this, though. Rashford back to Phillips. Phillips shot there again. Noah Phillips hits the... Oh, but it's the crossbar. Then Dallow's header is saved. What is this keeper on? Someone test him. Okay, Manu, good steal. Scott is a handball. No, it's not, thankfully. Phillips gets it back to Dallow. Back to Scott. Over to Manu. Manu finds. Okay, that was meant for Bruno. Bruno didn't even go for that. Oh, the more we don't score, the more worried I get. And the more nervous we get. Switch it to Luke Shaw. Now, Luke Shaw is going to swing that in, but not really to anyone. Bruno steals it back. Manu to Phillips. Phillips and Amara. Amara gets it back to Phillips. Phillips, Rashford lays it off. There we go. Bruno should score that. Oh, this keeper. How are all these shots saved? Bro, I'm about to throw up again. Rashford over to Noah Phillips in the box. Let's get closer. Get it back to Bruno. Bruno, now there's too many people in the box. Bruno gets it to Alex Scott. Turns. Goes for a shot himself, and that shot goes wide from our new signing. Bro, how many shots have we had so far? How many saves have they made? Whatever it is, it is sickening. Like, we are dominating them. We just don't have the goals to show for it. We might find it here, though. Luke Shaw gonna play it up to Marcus Rashford, but that defender did very well there. Whoa, bad pass, though. That is not a good pass. Bruno, over to Alex Scott. Finally, we score. And look who it is. It's the new signing. Maybe England's best wonder kid, Alex Scott. Okay, finally, that's one. It is about time. Okay, great pass over. Good finish there. Let's keep it up. Finally, after 42 minutes, we score. We probably had like 10 shots so far. Maybe have one more chance for halftime. Rashford's kind of in here. Rashford, Bruno is in. Crossover. It is going to be blocked, though. Okay, we're going to swing this one in. Bruno swings it in right to Lissandro Martinez. Bro, why is he the middleman on these corners? He's like 5'11", 5'10". But okay, second half, we're 1-0 up. We need this second goal, though. Phillips on the wing has got a little space here. He's going to play it to Mara. Now Mara, wait for him. Perfectly timed, I think. Phillips cuts inside, looks for Bruno, looks for him. Good pass. Now Bruno whips the cross in, but it's not going to reach Rashford. That was such a good move. The finish to it was not as good. Scott to Noah Phillips. Phillips plays it to 
Marcus Rashford, and that is 2-0. Great assist by the next David Beckham, Noah Phillips. And okay, finally 2-0. Yeah, Rashford has started last episode, but he's playing much better now. It's another good finish from him. All right, 2-0. I feel much better about this game now. It is still not over yet, though. Benu to Mara. Gets it back to Bruno. Bruno could turn. Bruno gets it to Phillips. Phillips tries to find Scott. Can't find him, though. Good pass into the box. Good tackle by Martinez. Actually, a very good tackle there. That was just pure strength. Benu gets it to Scott. Scott is going to try to play it to Mara. Does play it to him. Mara holds it up. Gets it into Noah Phillips. A chance to get his goal. Noah is going to shoot, but once again. Oh, he's his first touch towards the net is probably not the best. I think that's probably like ball control. Bruno cross in though. That is going to be Martinez. Of course, doesn't get that. Phillips volley off his head and goes for a shot. Okay, Noah, that was uh, not bad. All right, two subs. Elise on and also Mason Mount on. Mason Mount, good. Look at the ball to Elise. That is beautiful. Elise. Okay, uh, that was actually a shot. I press shoot there, not pass. And that went very far wide. Not sure what happened there. Right, Luke Shaw, chance to cross here, but not many crossing options. Luke Shaw. Good dribbling, but no, someone's got to be there in the middle for that, bro. Whoa, that's a bad pass. Someone's got to be in the middle for that. Colby Maynou, a chance to go for a shot himself. That had the lift to it, but did not have the uh, the placement. Okay, they're making one last push here, which if they score, it might turn into a game. Alex Scott, good defending, and I tried to clear it the opposite direction. You know what? I guess that's good enough. Their keeper's coming up. Okay, if we clear this, there's an open net on the other end. Corner in. Clear that thing. Someone get it. Oh, no one's going to get it right away, though. Okay, that's going to be a shot. That is going to be... Nope, it's a tackle. Alex Scott gets it out, and the keeper's already back. That's unfortunate. Wait, this could still be a goal, though. It could still be a goal, and it's Noah Phillips. The next David Beckham on a run. He's got, like, no stamina, though. Noah goes all the way, and he is going to score. He went all the way there. He had, like, no stamina. But okay, the next David Beckham scores, and it's 3-0. I and mean, I am so excited about all these young players in this team. Mara, Ganacho, Phillips, Scott, Maynou, even James Trafford. Like, we got some very good and excited young players. And okay, 3-0. We're through now to the FA Cup semis. So it looks like we're finding our form towards the end of the season. And also Alex Scott scores his first goal of the season. So far, I cannot be more happier with him. He's just got so much potential for this team. So third place in the Prem FA Cup uh, semis, which we are facing Arsenal, man. Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, United. It's a stacked FA Cup semis. And then yeah, through to the Europa League quarterfinals. It is shaping up to be a very interesting season. Now next episode, we might try and send our youth scouts out again to maybe find another youth star of this team. And also Ten Hag remains under pressure. So his job is not safe. We've had an interesting first season here at Manchester United. We've made signings to improve the team, like Frankie Diong, but there are still problems lingering at this club. And due to those, we got knocked out of the Champions League in the group stage and also the Carabao Cup in the semifinals. So Ineos is questioning Tenog's future at this club, but we can still salvage this season. We have a chance to win the Europa League and also the FA Cup, while also ensuring Champions League for next season in season two. If we can do this, the season might still be saved. So drop a like if you want to see more of this series. Hit that sub button down below if you've not, and let's get back into it. Now we start this episode off with a Ten Hag press conference where he says, I understand I am under pressure. We all are, but I'm confident we can still make this a successful season. And the owners and I are on the same page. Now, first comment, use Rashford's power shot. It is crazy. Yeah, I keep forgetting to try this. So in this episode, we're going to make sure to try it. At some point, we'll try to score some crazy power shot goal with Rashford. I hope I won't forget. Now, next one, since Bruno Fernandez is getting older, you should sign a young cam, someone like Arda Guler. Yeah, I mean, for a Bruno replacement, Arda Guler would not be that bad. He's got some ways to catch up to him, although he's a bit younger. I also like Thiago Amada as a potential Bruno replacement too. So we got options in case you want to replace uh, Bruno Fernandez. Now, last one, you should sell Onana. Yeah, so this is just one of many big decisions in the summer for us. Whether we keep Onana as our starting keeper, whether we sell him or place him. I feel like this season, he hasn't been bad. He hasn't been like amazing though either. And uh, Trafford is not ready to start over him yet. So if we did replace him, we'd have to buy someone pretty good. Now, in the last episode, we did buy someone though pretty good. And that is Alex Scott from Bournemouth. Maybe England's best wonder kid. And hey, so far, he's been really good in his seven games. He's got like the stats and potential to be a superstar on this team, I think. A legend of the series. But he's going to need a lot of development. Now, we got some pretty big games in this episode. The first one being against Chelsea in the Premier League. Now, in this save, Chelsea are all the way down in 15th place. That is so embarrassing. They're only three points away from the relegation zone. How crazy is that? So, I mean, in game, they're doing bad, but we know on paper they have a good team. So, at Stanford Bridge, I feel like this might be a tough game still. And right now, we're trying to stay in the top four. So, every game is important for us. So, we go with our best lineup and let's try to start the episode off with a win. Like, I know Chelsea are doing bad in real life too, but 15th place? Like, FC are going ruthless on them right now. I'm not sure I've ever seen Chelsea that low this late in the season but we know like on paper they're a top eight at least premier league team so i'm not sure what to expect here but we're gonna see now last episode rashford started playing so much better so if he continues that any notion of selling him will be pretty much gone okay they got a naki williams like how are they in 15th place bro their team is not bad it makes no sense or it's kind of funny though they got rabio too so they have made signings it's just uh it is not worked out well but saying that i just got destroyed 
I just got destroyed, and then Onana can't make the save. That is how we start. That's that easy for them to score. Okay, we got to lock in here. I just did not expect that. I thought he was going to shoot. I went all in on him shooting there. And Anaki Williams, their new signing scores. Okay, nine minutes in, 1-0 to Chelsea. Let us wake up a little bit. Casemiro, two, Marcus Rashford, Rashford, into Hoyland, Hoyland, two, Alejandro Garnacho, and just like that, it's 1-1. Okay, this is just like last episode against Man City. We concede, and then we score right after. Like, is the defense asleep? It's like the kickoff glitch. Garnacho finds so much space and a good finish from him. Okay, it is 1-1 in 11 minutes now. There's just no defending. It's all attacking. Might as well not even put a defense out. Bruno Fernandez has a chance for a long shot. That is off Fofana, though. Okay, this, this is not good. And Aki Williams is proving to be dangerous. Varane. Can't make a tackle there. Luke Shaw steps over. He makes tackle. And now get it out. Okay, whoa, that's a bad pass. But thankfully, don't get punished for that. Okay, Bruno's got De Jong in a good spot. De Jong's going to hold it up. Get it to Marcus Rashford. He's going to cross this in to Bruno. The header goes right to Sanchez, though. And we all saw the vision of that. It just didn't really work. Big Arnacho. That's a great tackle right there. I like to see that. Now, Marcus is a chance for power shot. So I don't forget. Okay, not really. We got to find space for it. And it's not easy to find space for it. Now, Luke Shaw to Frank De Jong. De Jong turns. Gets it to Diogo Dallo. He's going to cross this in. Good cross, but no one's there for it. Bruno. Sanchez punches it out. Okay, that could have been a lucky bounce for us, but it was not. Okay, Gallagher, Gallagher, Varane. Varane, good defending there. Samiro gets it to Luke Shaw. Rashford in a decent spot. Picks it up. Now he's going to drive forward. Hoyland calling for the cross. Crossover. Nowhere near Hoyland, though. Okay, Rashford's crossing is definitely not the uh, best. But that's not really his job. It is Frank Young's job to score this, though. That is off uh, center back's face, I think. Okay, now Sterling versus Varane. He's going to win that battle. Martinez comes over against Sterling. Martinez, decent defending. Gets it to Jackson. Martinez, come on. Got to make a tackle there. Don't miss it. Martinez does very well there in the end. I mean, since those first two goals, really nothing else has happened. Saying that, though, they're trying to make this 2-1 for halftime. Varane. Good tackle. No foul. No foul. Okay, that's first half. I like our response after conceding the first eight minutes. But we're definitely not as sharp today in this game yet. This does feel very winnable, though. Garnacho, get it to Dallo. Dallo. Gonna wait for Garnacho. Maybe not. Instead, De Jong. Great pass to Bruno. Bruno tries to find Hoyland, but that pass was so bad. And they're playing so patient with the ball. It's actually, like, frustrating us. We gotta work so hard to win it back, Jackson. Gonna get a good pass there. That's a great pass. Gallagher, Varane, Varane. Good block. Look at that Gallagher thing. Sits the carry block up final where he can't score. Bruno, Garnacho, Garnacho's gonna take a shot here in a good spot. Okay, Sanchez, what a save. Whoa, that bounces awkwardly. It goes back to him though. Oh, he like jumped so quick for that save. Hello, De Jong. Look for a pass here. Garnacho gets it. No, we gotta get to Hoyland there. We look like just a pass away from a good chance. Okay, how am I supposed to defend that? That is disgusting. Martinez, Martinez does defend that well. And we get a, it's going to be a corner. Oh, that skill was like insane though. Corner sent in, looks dangerous. That's going to go past Onana, but wide. Okay, we need some subs here. I'm going to do Mason Mount for Garnacho. Uh, Mainu for Casemiro. And I think that's it for now. Dallo to De Jong. De Jong tries to play it. It's going to be Bruno. Bruno is going to shoot that. Hoyland is not going to get the loose ball either. I'm trying to get the ball to Hoyland, but he's always marked so tightly. Come on, 20 minutes. Game is going by fast here. Hoyland, Bruno into Marcus Rashford. But okay, Gusto. Oh, what a tackle. Kunku, dangerous spot. Luke Shalo, good defending. Now Martinez, just clear it. Just get that thing out. We're not making a mistake there. All right, next up is Sekumara on for uh, Rasmus Hoyland. Not Hoyland's uh, best game so far. I mean, so far. He's literally off the field. Bruno gets it Amara, who's got fresh legs. Gets it back to Rashford. Rashford to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is going to find Bruno. Bruno over to Frank De Jong's shot. I put too much power on that. Went way over the net. Ball into Nkunku. This feels like it could go either way right now. And it feels like they might score here. I, don't, I can't even see where the ball is. Oh, my. Luke Shaw is just going to clear it. I couldn't even see the ball there. We got six minutes. Might have, like, two chances there if we're lucky. I don't want to draw another game here. Frank Young waiting for Mara. Mara didn't find space there. Rashford. All right, power shot from Marcus Rashford. Okay, was that a power shot? It didn't look like one, although it was meant to be. Goo, Mainu, Mainu. Oh, that was a good tackle, but it led right to Jackson, though. So, okay, Sterling, no, no. Varane, tackle, get it out. We have one final chance here, maybe. Take Mara. Gets it to Rashford. Rashford, De Jong. Gets it to Mason Mount against his former team. Is going to shoot. His shot is right at the keeper, though. Bro, I was aiming at the far post. The shot went right at Sanchez, though. So it's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw with Chelsea. I mean, that's probably a fair result. Like, I'm not sure either team deserved to win this, but it still felt winnable. So that draw means that Spurs in sixth, they're only, what, uh, five points behind us now? Once again, this top four race is so close from the third to six. So we just made our job tougher making the top four. All right, now next up is the Europa League quarterfinals. So far, we've been Ajax and also Real Batiste. Now it's time for a uh, lose which arguably is the worst out of those three teams but we did some the first leg and it was 1-1 so at old trafford this game i heard decided reaches the semifinals. now before this game some news comes out though saying that manchester united might sell anthony in the summer or at least that they're open to offers here now i'm not sure how i feel about anthony if you take the price tag away from him he hasn't been that bad but for a hundred million dollar player he's not playing like that so far for us he has five goals in 23 games which is not terrible but i feel like he's actually just like not that good in game so he's a player that could potentially be sold in the summer but there's still a player there somewhere so i might give 
him a chance in this Europa League game to try and convince me he should stay. So for this game, Anthony, Alex Scott, and also Tidibo Wambisaka come in. So we get to see Alex Scott again starting a lineup, but it's still a pretty strong team here. We do not want to get knocked out by Toulouse in the Europa League quarterfinals. That would be a disaster for us. So I mean, hey, if Anthony plays well here, maybe we don't sell him. I don't know. I just feel like right now, if there's players that we could sell, Anthony is top of that list. But a chance for him to prove here that he should not be sold. And also a chance for us to reach the Europa League semis, which against Toulouse, we should win this. That's how this game should go. I want me Saka, Bruno, two, Anthony. The man in question, he's gonna cross this in. Okay, Anthony. Whoa, okay, that looked like I had a chance to go in. That was actually not that bad. Although I'm not sure he actually meant it. Samiro, Bruno, over to Alex Scott. Great ball, Alex Scott is gonna feed in. Marcus Rashford, good turn there, shot by Marcus, and that is 1-0 to United. Okay, there is some finishing finally. And I think that was another assist for Alex Scott from the midfield, right? Yeah, it is, like another good pass from him, but that finish was all Rashford. Okay, good start, let's beat this team now. We have games where the goals definitely dry up, and that can't be in this game. Whoa, 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 Alex Scott made a great tackle, then he got taken out there. Apparently, that's not a foul. I do not agree, Wamisaka those in. This could be an easy two goals here, Wamisaka. We're gonna wait. Now, cross that in. That is a beautiful cross, but Rashford puts it way over the net. Bro, Wamisaka, that may be one of the best crosses of the year so far. Like, that's got some whip on it. Anthony gets it to Bruno. Bruno waits for Anthony. Anthony tries to get a good touch there. Actually, not bad. Anthony shoots and... Hey, not bad from Anthony. He actually took that very well. We're gonna go short corner into Anthony. Now he is gonna lift this up, try to. It's gonna be another corner. Now we're gonna try the same thing here, Anthony. Space to find a cross, but that was not a good cross. Anthony gets it to Bruno. Hoyland, I see you. Hoyland will find space there. Rasmus Hoyland gets a chance finally. And he is going to, he's gonna miss it. I mean, I could have gone with the finesse shot. I just trusted his actual finishing. Hoyland, you gotta score that if you wanna be our starting striker for the future. Ra okay, Rashford almost scored that header. Short corner, Anthony. Gets it to Hoyland. Can he make up for it? Okay, that's going to be another corner. Or no, that was just a bad shot. Man, Hoyland, he's grown a lot in rating this season, but his finishing has been so shaky. And a player that still needs a lot of development. His question is, is he going to develop fast enough for us? A lot of patient possession from Toulouse, which usually is how teams break us down. Just like this, that's a shot. Oh, okay, oh, nah, nah, you got to save that. That shot is like not too far away from him, but okay, Toulouse tied up. I got to see it again. Is this one on his fault? I feel like it's not that threatening of a position to shoot from, and Onana just doesn't really... Man, he's so close to it, though. I don't know. Is that Onana's fault? I really don't know. Okay, this game is tied up. This is nowhere near settled. Anthony to Wambisaka. Wambisaka. Ross to Hoyland. Hoyland. Oh, man, that's a, that's a good header, but it's saved. That was not bad. Here, all of a sudden, that goal has given them so much life here. They are thinking about a shock at Old Trafford. Wambisaka gets that uh, cross out, though. Bruno has Anthony in space. Anthony, good ball. Anthony is going to try to find Hoyland. Hoyland's in a turn. Going to turn. He's going to play it to Marcus Rashford. And Marcus is the one scoring goals right now. Okay, 2 1. One goal lead restored. And also, good assist by Hoyland. Yeah, sorry with that. Good turn from Hoyland, actually. But Rashford. Rashford is coming to life here. Okay, halftime, that's much different than being tied at halftime. At least we have that one goal lead again. Okay, now second half, we need to take control of the game and just make this not even close. Just like this, Bruno gets it to Rashford. Rashford's gonna need help here. Actually, he's gonna stop. Gets it to Bruno. Bruno gets it back to Alex Scott, who is gonna shoot that. Alex Scott, good shot. Good save by the keeper, though. Wins it back, Casemiro. Okay, Casemiro just lost it. Casemiro, how do you lose that there? You can't do that with how good a player you are. Okay, free kick sent in. Uh, Casemiro wins that to Bruno. Kind of in stride here, but we got no help though. Anthony gets it to Bruno. Bruno feeds in Hoyland, but St. Jeremiah St. Just got to that first. Jeremiah St. Just is a legend of the channel from our last uh, journeyman save. And he's a very good center back. Anthony, you got space to drop forward. Now, Anthony, let's see it. Anthony, a chance for a long shot. Okay, that is off the defender's arm. Is that a free kick for us? Okay, it's a free kick for us. I'll take that. And we got so close last episode. Can we do it this time? Bruno, that's a lot of power. This looks good. I feel good about this. I feel so good about this. Bruno hits the side netting, though. Bro, how much more closer can I get to score a free kick? Okay, 30 minutes left, though. It's still only a one-goal lead. It's not safe yet. Dangerous. Casemiro needs to get a tackle there. Wait, Martinez does instead. That was incredibly dangerous. Hoyland gets it to Luke Shaw. Now, Luke Shaw finds space. Got a cross. Actually, a pass all the way to Marcus. What a pass by Luke Shaw. Balls to Bruno. Okay, I tried a fake shot there, and he tried passing it. Oh, man, I tried to get out of the shot, and he just did that. Thankfully, Wamasaka does win the ball back. Okay, Alex Scott, drive this forward. Wait for Anthony or Hoyland. Alex Scott, great ball to Rasmus Hoyland. Hoyland could maybe seal this game, and Hoyland finally scores. Okay, two-goal lead. I feel much better now. And once again, it was Alex Scott with the assist, his second of the game. He is pulling strings from that number eight spot. Like, that was a great through ball to Hoyland. Okay, three subs. Maynou coming on. Noah Phillips coming on. Two uh, youngsters, and also Micah Elise for uh, Bruno Fernandez. I want to see how Elise plays at Kim. I feel like that's probably a better spot for him. So Elise has number 10. We'll see how that, see how that works towards the end of this game. It's not settled yet, but that goal feels very big. Bro, what just happened there? I am not sure what just happened there, bro. Players are leaping over each other. Dangerous spot, but Toribo didn't get it. And that's uh, that's actually not a bad clearance, considering their initial position. Ball in, though. Dangerous. Don't score one. Martinez gets by him there. 
Okay, I am asking questions of Onana now. I mean, that shot went to his left and he kind of dove to the bottom right. And okay, they're within one goal again. I just feel like it's an angle which he should probably make a save here. Like, Onana goes, like, he's so late to it. How much time is left? That is, uh, we got, and we still got eight minutes, and this is now a one-goal game. Us not putting this team away early has made me very, very worried. And okay, Noah Phillips, a chance to maybe seal it here. Noah, everyone's parting for him. Now, left-footed shot, a keeper is going to save it. All right, short corner, Elise. Get to the Marcus. Now, Marcus, lay it off for someone. It's going to be Noah Phillips. His shot is also going to be saved. Okay, two minutes to defend. As long as they don't score here, we'll be good. Onamisaka has that. Okay, I think we've survived this game. It should not have been this close. But at the end of the day, a win is a win. Rashford through to Luke Shaw. One final goal, maybe. Luke Shaw, crossover. Great cross. Noah Phillips can't get that rebound. Not going to get it. One final shot. Okay, the ref instead blows the whistle. Yeah, 4-3 against Toulouse. That is not really a confident win. It actually makes me very worried for the next stage. But at least we are through to the Europa League semis now. Yeah, Rashford has truly turned his season around, though. Started off uh, not so good in play games but he's now up to 18 goals in 41 games that's definitely not bad so i think he's kind of ruled out us selling him in the summer i think for at least for the time being but speaking of decisions in the summer ten Hag meets with dan ashworth and ashworth says the owners are behind you but a lot of decisions will be made in the summer and whether we can win the fa cup or the europa league will affect those decisions i mean just like real life in this save ten Hag's job is not safe there's no guarantee he'll be the manager in season two there's managers out there like Graham potter jose Mourinho, even like roberto de Zerbi, where you wonder what they could do with this united team what could they do better than Ten Hag. So his job is not safe. But if we can now reach the FA Cup final by beating Arsenal, hey, that would definitely help. So FA Cup semifinals, Arsenal versus Manchester United. Chelsea have made the final. A chance to reach a cup final like this is a big game. So we're going to go, we're going to go pretty strong here. Actually, probably like full strength. So we go with that lineup and win this, we reach the FA Cup final. Now, if we get knocked out here, I mean, I'm not sure what Ten Hag's future will be. He's got to show that he's still the right manager for this team to get United back to the top. So this is a big game to affect the rest of the series. Rashford to Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw going to try to cross it to Rashford. Rashford Rashford, great touch. Goes for the volley. Ramsdale's gonna save that. That would have been an amazing start. Rand gets to Deong. Deong into Bruno. Over to Hoyland. Hoyland lays it off to Garnacho. His shot is blocked by Acuna, though. Okay, Casemiro, great steal. Okay, that pass, though, is terrible to Hoyland. Arsenal playing very loose at the back there. That was dangerous. Ball to Jesus. Martinez gets a touch, but not enough. Arte looking for, I think, Martinelli on the right. It might be Berardi, actually. Jesus, thankfully, was offside. He was about to play it to Martinelli, I think. Okay, this game seems like both teams are looking livelier to start. Berardi gets it to Thomas Partey. Gets it over to Martinelli. Gets it to Jesus. Okay, all these skills. Luke Shaw. Yeah, it's a tackle in, but it actually made it worse for us. He's got closer to goal there. That is so unfortunate. Thankfully, Onana does make a good save. Now, that one is out by Varane, but they are coming right back at us. Declan Rice feeds it to Fabio Vieira, and that hits side netting. Okay, actually, that was saved by Onana again. Yeah, this is a dangerous spell this game. It's gonna fall right in front of goal. De Jong, just clear it. De Jong, what is that clearance? De Jong, we gotta get the ball out here. That's gonna be a shot. Luke Shaw gets it. Now he clears it. This is so much pressure from Arsenal right now. Oilin, can we alleviate the pressure a little bit? Frank De Jong to Luke Shaw. Into Marcus. Gets it back to Hoyland. Hoyland's on the left here. He's going to try and cross this in. A little cross to Bruno. Header, but it goes right to Ramsdale again. Marcus. Ball to De Jong. De Jong. To Alejandro Garnacho, and Garnacho hits the post. Rashford cross back in. That goes right to Ramsdale. How unlucky is that? Garnacho should have scored that. Whoa, what a throw out to De Jong. De Jong's going to lose it to Saliba, though. We got to punish them for that mistake there. Jesus gets it over. This is not good. Parte. Parte. Martinez gets a touch on that. Martinelli gets it over to Berardi. He's going to do a move there. That destroyed me. Onana, big save. Okay, Onana's having a good game here. Somehow there's no goal yet, though. Hoyland to Bruno. We got space here. Over to De Jong. Oh, gotta try to feed in Rashford there. There was a space for like half a second. Jesus, that's gonna be out by Diallo, man. This game is so just cagey and close. Rashford wins that, though. Now, Rashford, I need you to run. Got like no help, though. Get it back to Casemiro. Into Rashford. Over to Bruno Fernandez. Chance for a finesse shot. Bruno just skied that shot completely. Frank De Jong. Over to Garnacho. Garnacho driving forward. Plays it into Bruno Fernandez. Good turn there. Bruno shoots. And how does Ramsdale save that? That was such a good play there. Corner in by Bruno. It goes right to Casemiro, but his header is so bad. Bro, I need someone else for corners. Like, Casemiro is not doing it for me. I don't know why he's always the middleman there. Young, a great still on Vieira. Garnacho, Hoyland. Hoyland holds it up. Great play there into Garnacho. Garnacho, big moment, but oh man, Acuna just gets there quick enough. Whoa, that's going to fall. That's handball by Hoyland, though. Okay, Rashford just uh, did a karate move on Ramsdale. No foul, though. How is this game still nil-nil? Like, what a first half. I feel like probably Arsenal were the better team in that first half, slightly. So, I am a little worried here. Martinelli, Varane, I need you, Varane. I need you to stop Martinelli here. Scary thing is, I think they have Saka on the bench, so we're probably going to see him at some point. That's the scary thing. De Jong, great tackle. Now, get the ball out. Hoyland over to Alejandro Garnacho. He is going to run. Hoyland's running to Hoyland. Going to try to... Okay, Garnacho, what was that? I asked for a cross, and that was so delayed by Garnacho. Now, this is going to lead to a counterattack. Berardi. Thomas Partey, 
Okay, back to Berardi looking for a shot. Martinez good defending. We do get the ball out. Rankin Young's got options here. He's gonna hold it though. Wait for the right pass. Slides it over to Marcus Rashford. No power shot. Oh, I thought it was gonna fall to De Jong. Bro, I'm not finding opportunities for a power shot Rashford at all. I just never have enough space for it. Jesus, Partey, Martinez. Another good tackle from him. Corner for Arsenal. Berardi lifts it in. Okay, De Jong. What is that clearance? De Jong, you gotta get it out to the right, not straight at the corner kick taker. Thankfully, we don't suffer because of it. 30 minutes game is still tied up. Bruno through to Garnacho. Garnacho switch it all the way to Luke Shaw. That pass actually works. Garnacho back to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw shoots, but he's offside. Oh, that was such a good play, but he's just offside. That is so unfortunate. Bruno to Hoyland. Get it to Rashford. Rashford holds it. Gonna try to play to Luke Shaw. Good ball from Rashford. Luke Shaw looking for a pass. Gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Goes for a finish, but that's blocked. Luke Shaw, it's gonna be a corner. All right, short corner into Marcus. Marcus back to Bruno. Now Bruno whips it in. Rasmus was there for that. That cross looks so good. Two. Frank and Young, long shot. That one looked good. Ramsdale was going to catch it, though. Bro, 20 minutes. This game is so close. We've put the ball in the back of the net, but it's offside. That's how close we are to leading here. Samiro, good block. Now get this forward again. Come on. I feel this goal coming. It's coming for one team here. It's got to be us. Rashford plays it through to Luke Shaw. Gets it back to Marcus. Marcus, I don't see any option here. Bruno, De Jong tries to get it to Garnacho, but can't find him. Brody, Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw. Great tackle by Luke Shaw there. That was dangerous. We need subs, but I'm kind of scared. I don't know who to bring on. Bruno to Diogo Dallo. Dallo, he's got a chance for power shot. Why not, Dallo? Okay, that one wasn't that good. All right, two subs. Uh, Mount on for Garnacho, then Mara for Hoyland. Hoyland is like so tired right now. Just need one goal and then to hold it. Put a guard. Gets it through to Martinelli. Kind of stood strong there. Zinchenko. Martinez maybe has just saved our game. Gets back to Martinelli though. Another tackle. We do survive that. Bro, they're putting so much pressure on us. Four minutes left. Declan Rice gets it out wide. That's a bad touch, but we're already... Okay, great touch. All right, Rashford instead. We got a minute left. We're going to play for extra time, but get the last chance here. Got a minute left. Rashford into Frank and Young. Frank and Young tries to feed him Bruno. No, Frank and Young, that pass was so slow. Okay, at least we survived that because they put us under so much pressure. But into extra time we go now. This is just like the Carabao Cup final in real life. Just no goals. It's like terrible finishing from both teams. Now, we are going to make subs, just I don't think any yet. Now, they got a free kick that is sent in. Should be won by Casemiro. Good win. Mara is going to lay it off to Luke Shaw. Mara, you got fresh legs. I need you here. Mara gets it to Bruno. Bruno dings it to Marcus Rashford, who goes for a finesse shot right at Gabriel, though. That shot is so bad. Casemiro, big win but it falls right to Declan Rice. And Chanko's got a lot of space here. This is not going to kind of out of position here. Players are tired. Luke Shaw, though. Luke Shaw has had such a good game of left back. Casemiro out to Marcus Rashford. It's got, we just got no space in the attack, actually. Let's try and break down the defense. De Jong, Bruno, Bruno, lays it to Marcus, who I think is offside. He was onside and he just missed that. It was actually a good save. Mount, Dallo. No, that pass was so bad. That was so telegraphed. Bro, another good chance, but Ramsdale just comes up big. And now we might need Onana to come up big. Martinez versus Jesus. Jesus pushes him. Don't let the pass on the inside. Onana comes up big now for us. Okay, big saves by the keeper here. Mara through to Mason Mount. Mason. Mason is going to pick out Bruno Fernandez, and Ramsdale is not saving that one. 106th minute, we finally score, and it's Bruno Fernandez. Finally, the ball goes in the back of the net, and we take the lead in the FA Cup semifinals. Bro, we had to fight for this one. Mason Mount, good Combo with Bruno. And then Bruno. Beautiful first time finish. Okay, now 15 more minutes to just defend this one goal lead. All right, two subs. Alex Scott on for Rashford because he was so tired. And then Malassi on for Luke Shaw because Luke Shaw's stamina was literally gone. So Malassi, we need big plays from him too now. Just got to see this result out. Or maybe catch him on the counterattack and uh, seal the game. Odegaard, come on. I hope that goal just killed all the momentum, hopefully. Dallo, Dallo. Niga Tagler, Dallo. Can't get it off Odegaard. Declan Rice finds Odegaard. We're smothering them though. And then De Jong steals that. That is beautiful. Mount to Bruno. Okay, everyone calm. We got six minutes. Don't lose in a bad spot into Mara though. Mara finds Mason Mount who shoots and Mason's gonna hit the crossbar. Are you kidding me? Header two. So you go to Malassia. Malassia. Okay, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Everyone relax, actually. You know what? Let's just keep this ball for a second. Mason gets it to Dallow. Dallow cross in, but that's actually to no one. Okay, we should have that. We should have that. Varane. Okay, Odegaard. No, you can't head it back to an Arsenal player. You gotta head that out. They got one minute, maybe one chance here if they get forward. Rustard, come on. Block every angle. Block every pass. I think we've done just enough to beat Arsenal here. Bro, what a stressful game. Like, so many chances, so many saves. But we do beat Arsenal and reach the FA Cup final. In the end, it was Mason Mountain and Bruno, the heroes of the game. And Onana as well. All right. So with that win, our date is set. Now, FA Cup final versus Chelsea at the end of the season. Our first uh, cup final of the series. Now, our next game, though, is another chance to reach another cup final. It is the Europa League semis, Manchester United versus Atalanta. Now, they're a pretty good team. They're much better than Toulouse. So this should be a much bigger challenge to reach the final now, the Europa League. Now, we're going to sim the first leg and play the second leg. So this game is going to be a 2-2 draw in the first leg. Okay, so De Jong and Anthony scored. So another draw in where the second leg decides who reaches the final now. So just like last game, a match to reach a cup final and another 
another just huge game for Eric Ten Hag's future. Now to make things even more complicated, in a Graham Potter recent press conference, he says, right now I'm enjoying my break. I'm waiting for the right manager position for me. If that opportunity comes, you'll see me managing again. And we do know Surgeon Ratcliffe uh, likes Graham Potter, so that just puts way more pressure on Eric Ten Hag for this game now. To reach the Europa League final. So we are going, I think uh, we gotta go with our strongest team. We might be playing for Eric Ten Hag's job right now. If we lose this and get knocked out, he might actually get sacked. And also look who it is that probably wants to sack Eric Ten Hag. It's Donny van de Beek. He would probably love to win this game. But okay, away in Italy. Game is tied up currently on aggregate. This might be an interesting one. Players know right now they're basically playing for Ten Hag. Arnacho, great dribbling there. That was a foul, right? Thank you, ref. I actually got a call there. And we're not gonna shoot this, but I'm gonna lay it off to Casemiro, who's gonna get a touch on it. He's gonna get it over to Luke Shaw, right footed. Oh my, Luke Shaw on his right foot? Okay, what a start to this game. I didn't know Luke Shaw could do that on his right foot, but what a goal and what a finish. I was not expecting this. I was gonna shoot with whoever that was, and Luke Shaw just bangs one past the keeper. Okay, that is a good start. One goal lead already, four minutes in. Now, this game is also important because if we don't finish top four, which it's still very close, by winning the Europa League, that could be another way to get to Champions League. So it's also very important for that too. To make sure we qualify for the Champions League, look, man. This is dangerous. Varane, though. Varane, that is such good defending, though. Arnacho gets it to Bruno. Now, Bruno's got a chance for power shot, maybe. Bruno, power shot. Why not? Of course, it is going to be blocked, though. Bro, they just take so long to wind those up. They're just, like, never useful for me. Rashford, this might be a chance for you, though. Rashford, he's got, he's got no space to wind it up. Actually, great pass there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Garnacho, what was that pass, though? Wasn't even facing the right way. Casemiro switches it to Luke Shaw, who's got Rashford in a good spot. Rashford turns. Tries to find Bruno, does find Bruno into Alejandro Garnacho. We hit the post, but thankfully this time the ball goes in. Okay, 2-0 to Manchester United. This game has been a good start so far. Good finish by Garnacho. Okay, we look ready for this game today. Yeah, and their defense does not look equipped to handle us. That three at the back is usually something we exploit, and so far it's been that way. Garnacho, okay, don't shoot that. Get it to someone else. I said someone else, not one of their players. Lookman gets it to Skamaka. Okay, this is dangerous. They score one. They're going to find life in this game. That's blocked. And Onana will grab it. May have been a good start, but we got to be careful here. This has been a weird little, like, 15-minute sequence here. De Jong through to Hoyland. Okay, we got space. Hoyland doesn't need any help. Hoyland goes all the way, and Hoyland's going to score to make it 3-0. Okay, we are taking care of business today. Got to be careful, though. And, okay, Onana, that is probably one of the best saves he's made this season. That shot had so much pace on it. That first game and the second game was bad, but since then, Onana's played well. I'll give him that. I'm not sure that means that we're keeping him. I'm not sure. Definitely one that is tough. Okay, Lookman gets it to Skamaka. They are going to score one. Okay, 5-3. Let's relax. Let's not get too emotional. Still to go lead. We're still in a good spot. Got to sharpen up a bit here. Might have one more chance in the first half. Dallow. From distance, why not? That had way too much power on it. Okay, 45 minutes and we can seal our ticket to the Europa League final. And then we'd be in two cup finals. Chance for uh, two trophies in a season that's been not so great. And that would be pretty good. De Jong has chance to shoot that. It goes right to the keeper though. Skamaka, legend of the Matthew Rose series. That's a good tackle by, I think, Martinez. Now Garnacho, okay, we got so much space here. Garnacho, you got so much space. Also Hoyland. Right in front of the net, goes for a light finish, and that is now 4-1. Okay, we are in a very good spot now. Yeah, I mean, Atalanta have not been that great so far. Like, Toulouse was a much harder opponent. Now, did I just jinx it, though? Hopefully not, Dallo. What a tackle by Diego Dallo. Bruno gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland feeds. No, we got a feeding Garnacho there. He was so in. Lookman gets it through. Skamaka. Okay, they're going to score again to make it now 4-2. I mean, they're just not going away right now. Okay, two subs, Alex Scott and Maynou coming on. Trying to, like, get some fresh legs in the midfield. Game is not over yet. Did not have a collapse here. This would be terrible. Dallow, Dallow, good tackle. Now, no, no, no. That was meant for Onana. How have we given them a chance here in the final 25 minutes? Skamaka scores again. Bro, I'm trying to pass it back to Onana here. Like, you're telling me we can't pass it in a straight line right there? Okay, they are within one goal right now. And I don't know how. Crossed in by Vandebeek. Manu, Manu. That, we just look shaky all of a sudden. We need one more goal here. At least one. Hoyland to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has got Bruno. Come on, please. Bruno, save us from this terrible game. Bruno. Must score that, and Bruno scores it. Thank you. Okay, I guess neither team can defend. It's been eight goals this game, but Bruno scores, and that's a two-goal lead restored. How do we let them even get this close? I guess let's just keep scoring goals. Okay, Rashford, chance for power shot here. Rashford goes for a power shot. That was a power shot. It just wasn't that great. It was a bit far wide. Oh, you have got to actually be kidding me. There is no way that's actually a penalty. Skamaka goes for a shot here. He misses, and he falls over. Bro, Atalanta are going to make me lose my mind. Oh, Nana versus this guy, and he's going to score, and they are within one goal again. I'm actually going to scream right now. If we somehow lose this, I don't know what I'm going to do. One goal lead, 12 minutes left. We just need to score one more. Arnacho has a pass here. Oh, man, is that handball? That's not even handball. Dallo, 
Okay, Dallow handballed it. What is happening right now? Lookman, Mainu, Mainu, good tackle there. Whoa, Lookman, bro, they are playing with so much aggressiveness. Eight minutes, just don't do anything too risky here. Rashford, okay, keep it. Thankfully, we keep it there. Rashford to Luke Shaw. Now, everyone, just relax. We got five minutes. We are being chill with the ball. I'm not letting this happen. That last goal was so lucky for them. Just keep the ball. Keep possession. Three minutes, ball to Mainu, Mainu. Gets it into Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, I need the strength here. Shield them, Bruno. Bruno, our captain, shield them. Okay, did well there, Bruno. Pass it to Luke Shaw. Two minutes added on. Garnacho keeps it. Doesn't handball. He almost did there. We may have outlasted this horrible, horrible game. Garnacho, crossover. Rashford header attempt, and that's actually not bad. But okay, we avoid absolute disaster here. I don't know how they made that comeback, but 4-5 or 5-4. We do beat Atalanta just in the most unconvincing way. But we do reach the Europa League final. I can't believe it was like that, though. So that sets up a Manchester United-Liverpool Europa League final. And that's going to be Jurgen Klopp's final game. So that with a top four race, and as you can see, is not decided at all. And also an FA Cup final versus Chelsea. We are set up for a very big season finale, where this team has a chance to win two trophies and where that will probably decide whether Tenon gets sacked or not, whether he's the manager in season two. Okay, this is the season one finale of our Manchester United career mode, and we've got a lot to play for. We have a chance to win the FA Cup and the Europa League, but I'd say the most important thing is qualifying for the Champions League next season. The new owners of United are going to decide in the summer if Ten Hag should remain as United manager. This episode might decide that for them. This episode might decide the future of the entire series and this club. So drop a like down below if you want to see more. Hit that sub button down below if you've not, and let's get into it. Now, the headlines for this season finale, if many items fail to qualify for the Champions League next season, apparently Ten Hag will be 100% sacked. So that shows how big this episode is. Now, first comment though, please upgrade the rating of Mainu as he definitely deserves it. Yeah, Mainu is one of the lowest rated players in this team, but he's actually had like a very good season. He's played well in played games. So maybe for season two, we might give him a little bit of a boost because I agree if there's one player that deserves it, it's probably him. Now, next one, are we ever going to see the return of Matthew Rose? 100% yes, we will. I think probably like two or three months, maybe near towards the summer. We will see the return of Matthew Rose in some form. And last one, definitely think Mason Mountain deserves more starts. Yeah, Mason Mount this season, he's had a very good year, I think, off the bench. Obviously, with Bruno and De Jong, it's kind of hard to fit him in there, but he's still played 31 times, and he's got nine assists, so that's pretty good. He's definitely a player that I could see us keeping, pretty much due to that versatility of playing as a winger and also a midfielder. But okay, like we saw, we have two cup finals today. The FA Cup final versus Chelsea, and then the Europa League final versus Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp's final game as Liverpool manager. So yeah, this episode's gonna be very dramatic, but first, we got the Premier League finale. So, three games left, we currently sit in third place. We are not catching Man City, so we're not winning the title. Our goal is to finish top four. That's the most important thing today, I think. Either finishing top four or winning the Europa League. Because that one sure us getting Champions League for season two. The issue is our next two games in the Prem, the last two of our three, aren't just huge. We face Arsenal and then Newcastle both at home. So if we can win this game and win versus Newcastle, that will guarantee top four for us. And first up, we have Arsenal at Old Trafford. Now, for some reason, Dalo has a red card in this game, so we can't play. So Wambi Saka comes in. That's a decent replacement, though. I like Wambi Saka a lot. I think other than that, we go with our strongest team. I think it's not time to mess around. I think I'm going to put Phillips on the bench over Anthony and at least stay over Mara. And I think we go with that. So strongest first team. And if we win our next two games in the Prem, we ensure Champions League for season two. Problem is, I don't think Arsenal and Newcastle will either be easy games. So I'm expecting uh, tough battles here. So Arsenal at first, at Old Trafford. If we lose this, it's going to set the tone for a very shaky season finale. We got to start off strong here. Now, if I remember right, we beat Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. We kind of had the kids playing, not the full first team. And their team wasn't maybe as strong. But technically, we have beat them now. They're having a good start here. Gets it over to guard. Varane blocks that. Wami Saka is just going to clear it. That was almost a very bad start. Jesus is going to feed it to Odegaard. Players can't come over fast enough. Gets it back to Jesus. Varane stops him. Tries to can't. And then he's going to score anyways. Bro, the ball was glued to Jesus' foot there. We literally could not do anything. Like, I was trying to get the ball. Okay, so it is a disaster start here. Bro, I am on him. I'm trying to get the ball there. But it's just glued to his feet. And then he shoulders us away. Now, Nana, I feel like probably could do better with that. But I'm not sure I'm going to blame him completely for that. Okay, 1-0 down under 8 minutes. That is not the start we needed. I mean, We've got to respond somehow. Luke Shaw. To Hoyland, but Ewar steps up for that. Yeah, I am not liking what I'm seeing to start this game. They seem like they're very much in form. And we are not Odegaard in front of goal, Onana. That, no penalty. Oh, I thought it would be a penalty, bro. Oh, that was so risky by Onana, but thankfully it worked. Bruno, Rashford, wait for Luke Shaw. Wait for him. Now get it to Luke Shaw in space. Luke Shaw, Deong is calling for it. Luke Shaw, okay, I pressed cross and he just didn't cross it. What was that? At least we get a corner. Corner swung in. Bruno Fernandez to Casemiro. Bro, his headers are always so bad. We're already dangerous spot. Gets it back to Martinelli, and we are 2-0 down to Arsenal right now. What did I say? I didn't want a shaky start in the season finale, and we've got now a shaky start. Okay, 2-0 in 24 minutes. Okay, we got to try and stop this becoming a disaster here. Wanamisaka up to Garnacho. Garnacho feeds it to Rasmus Hoyland. 
Okay, what a finish by Hoyland. You can't put that any more accurately. Okay, one goal back. We're back in this. I don't know how Hoyland scored this. So Garnacho is a good pass right there, but Hoyland takes one touch. You can't get more accurate than that. Like that thing is literally in the corner right there. Okay, we are back in this. We needed that desperately. Arsenal's passing and their structure attacking wise is just tearing us apart right now though. I'm still very much worried. Brody versus Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw did well there. Actually pretty well. And he keeps it in too. Okay, that was much better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, we were having issues though. Jesus is gonna shoot and and he's gonna score again. It's 3-1. We just can't defend right now at all, especially Jesus. Players like this on competitive mode are so hard to mark, but no one's even marking there. Onana is not really saving anything right now, and we are 3-1 down in about 35 minutes. If we're gonna make a comeback here, it's gonna be a very high scoring game. I don't think we can stop them scoring. Luke Shaw gets it to Bruno. Bruno has room for a finesse shot here, but it's gonna go right to Ramsdale. Ring Young finds Garnacho in space. Garnacho to Rashford. That is totally telegraphed. Gabriel just read that one. Bro, like we have literally no opportunity to defend them. They're getting by us every time they want to. Luke Shaw is good defending there. But they're just like getting into our box so easily. Rashford out to Luke Shaw. Get it back to Rashford. Actually, no, that's meant for Rashford, not Hoyland. Why would it go there? Oh, man, through to Jesus. This is the best Arsenal played all season long, I think. This is one of the best first halves against us all season long, too. Like, it's not just Arsenal. Martinez, clear the ball. Please, thank you. Okay, halftime. It's not impossible, but three one down. We are in a very bad spot right now. I don't know how we're going to come back in this game because we just can't stop them attacking-wise. Even if we score two, I feel they're going to score another four. Rashford, Luke Shaw gets it to Bruno. Bruno, chance to cross this into Garnacho. What a what a cross, but it's good defending. Oh, we got to show some fight back, though. Maybe a draw would not be a bad result. Not completely. Hoyland out to Wamisaka. Get it back to Hoyland. Into Rasmus Hoyland. That finish is blocked, though. Rashford does collect it. Gets it back to Frank De Jong. Into Bruno. Bruno. First touch was not the best. Casemiro over to Hoyland through Garnacho. Acuna is going to stop that attack, though. At least that was a little better. Rashford gives it to Luke Shaw. Into Hoyland. Hoyland has got Rashford on the inside here. No, Rashford just overran the pass. Garnacho with space. Gets it to Luke Shaw. Into Marcus Rashford. Gets... No, someone's got to be in the middle there. Oh, just everyone is being marked. Okay, two subs. Alex Scott for Casemiro going very attacking here. And also Mason Mount for Rashford. Not Rashford's uh, best game. And also he is pretty tired, so we need fresh legs on. Jesus, Martinez can tackle. Luke Shaw, keep it. Keep it. Calm. Nice. Mason, he's been a little bit of super sub this year. I need more of that this game. He's in kind of here. Doesn't have the most pace, though, but making a run. Plays it to Bruno. Bruno. Chance to come inside. Keeps it. Into Frank and Young. I need a pass here. We're going to find it. Over to Bruno. Bruno into Hoyland. He's going to take a shot. And okay, 2-3. Hoyland scores again. Great assist by Bruno Fernandez. And we are back in this again, maybe. Hoyland, that's a calm. That's a very uh, clinical finish. Is there a chance we can make this comeback? A brace by Hoyland. 20 minutes left. And we are within one goal again. I think if we get a point, that might be a very big point. Oh, Garnacho, what a steal. How did he steal that? Garnacho, he's tired. Gets it to Bruno, though. Bruno needs one more pass. Finds Mason Mount. Over to... Luke Shaw, who's going to shoot? And his shot is right at Ramsdale, though. I am aiming far post. I don't know how that shot is going right at Ramsdale. Got to be just Luke Shaw's finishing stat. Oh, my. Frank Young, another steal. Gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland out to Mason Mount. Mason, Hoyland through to Bruno Fernandez. And it's 3-3. We've tied this game up. 79th minute. We are 3-3. We're not done yet. Grab the ball. We're going to try to win this game. Mason Mount, what a pass. And Hoyland, what a pass. We got 10 minutes left. We still have a chance to win this. Come on, 3-3. This would be the best win of the series, maybe, if we can win this. The energy in this game has just shifted towards us. Frank De Jong to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, Scott Garnacho, going to wait. Get it to Mason Mount. Back to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is going to shoot, and oh, that's going to go wide. I felt so good about that shot. Oh, I felt good about it. Oh, we just sliced it a little bit wide. All right, final two subs. Molassi on for Shaw. Shaw's tired. Then Elise is on for Garnacho. Come on, keep pushing. I feel like this goal is there for us. Mason Mount gets it to Alex Scott. Driving forward a little bit. Plays it back to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno into Michael Elise. That shot is blocked by Acuna, though. And now we got to defend this. Martinelli is doing a few moves and scaring me. De Jong, good tracking back, though. We got a minute. I definitely don't want to lose the game. We can get the final chance here, though. Scott plays it to Hoyland. Hoyland, great ball to Wambisaka. Alex Scott looking for a pass here. Oh, no. Acuna is going to steal it again. Bro, Acuna has been so good for them in every matchup. Okay, at least we draw. At least we get a point. That game shifted so hard towards us. And I feel like that is a big point right there. Okay, so after that draw, we drop down to fifth place. But we have a game in hand over Spurs. So if we win versus Newcastle, we'd go back to third. And then Spurs go down to fifth. And I feel like that would probably make us finish top four at least. It'd be really tough for Spurs to overtake us in the final day from fifth. So now we face. Newcastle United at Old Trafford win this and I'm pretty sure that means we finish top four so before this game Bruno Fernandez our captain he says we understand how important this game is for the club and the fans we know that Man United is a club that needs to be in the Champions League I mean hey, Liverpool are the favorites in that Europa League final so we know in this game we're playing for this is our best chance to get Champions League next year now Varane is a little tired Dallas a little tired but I think I gotta go with them we gotta go with our best possible team so same as last time
time and hopefully this time we can get the job done win this and qualify for the champions league now i will say this i remember facing newcastle earlier this season we beat them i think five was it five two so we scored like five goals against them and they did not play great so i feel like i'm confident we can win this and after that job versus arsenal we gotta win this come on we cannot drop points here in bottle champions league this right here feels kind of like a another cup final we basically have three in one episode one season finale now veranda dallo come on we need a good start here score early Dallo into hoyland hoyland oh man i thought he was gonna get the ball there and play it to garnacho garnacho is gonna feed in hoyland get it to bruno bruno into rasmus hoyland that's a shot that's gonna fall to bruno volley attempt and that goes wide isak comes forward i gotta mark him here teammates i need to mark him varan isak is just running through us right now he's gonna he's dribbling it all the way out from the box all the way out here what are they doing scary thing is it's gonna work actually okay, dallo can tackle dallo dallo great play there okay, frank de has got space here winning for rashford rashford i see you marcus rashford good touch and then marcus rashford what a finish and his form has been inconsistent but he's still scoring big goals for us this year towards the end of the season frank de great assist but marcus rashford that is all his finish okay one nil good start here honestly i think we probably have like a 25 percent chance to be liverpool in the europa league final so i feel like champions league for next year it's right here basically Renato gets it to frank de in space again de has got hoyland de what a pass to rasmus rasmus i need you to finish that rasmus what a finish okay frank de is pulling the strings though right now for this team that's two assists for him and we're two nil up okay we gotta stop them scoring though i mean they haven't scored yet but we've done this where we go like two three nil up and then let them get back in the game that cannot happen in this one and hey so far hoyland is having a very big season finale okay the players feel very informed in this game i can just tell especially frank de who has another pass to garnacho now garnacho is gonna swing that in okay that's gonna go to botman that is so awkward they're gonna get it out though isak see this is what i'm saying this is what i'm saying Oh, Nana, I need you to save something. He's just not saving anything. Newcastle get one back and it's 2-1. I don't know how there's so much space for Isak there. What did I just say? Can't let him back in the game and we just let them back in the game. That is the story of us this season. Garnacho, Hoyland, get it to Marcus. Marcus turns. Trying to find something. He's going to stop. And try for a finesse shot, Mankio. That's good defending, though. Garnacho, good dribbling there. Now Dallow's there to help. Garnacho doesn't need help, though, actually. He is going to cross this in to Bruno. He's not going to reach that, though. Yeah, one goal lead in this kind of game is just not comfortable at all. I need, like, a three goal lead if you feel comfortable. Garnacho, might have Rashford far post. Whoa, the keeper again is shaking on a cross there. Dallow wins a header, but we're not going to win it. De Jong does win that back. Chance here. Hoyland, chance to go for a shot. That shot is blocked by Dan Byrne, though. Okay, it's not a terrible first half, but we should be 2-0 up right now. Not 2-1 up. We went 2-0 up, and I thought this game, you know, might be a little bit comfortable, but nope. Not with this team. Martinez, Rashford, Hoyland. Get it to Bruno. Bruno, time it right to Garnacho is onside. Garnacho, chance to score here. Chance to score. Garnacho, what a finish. That is a beautiful start to the second half. 3 1 up in the 48th minute. And Garnacho took this so well. Like he is under pressure by almost two center backs, but still gets the finish. Come on, just keep this going now. Just stop them scoring. I'm gonna block all these passing lanes and not give them a chance, but they still like find their ways through. Just like this, Joe Linton somehow gets by my midfield, but that pass is terrible. Onana is just gonna smack that forward, and that's fine. Actually, this turns out to be a very good pass, Bruno. To Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw waiting for Rashford, waiting for him. Not a bad ball. Rashford cross in. Oh, the cross is so good, but no one's in a good spot for it. Come on, if I get this three goal lead, I'd be so happy. Andre Martinez to Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong plays into Garnacho, but Target's gonna get that first. Bruno, great win into Rashford. Get it to Hoyland. Just keep it, keep it, relax. Frankie de Jong, great hold up play. Pass to Dallow. Dallow in the box. Gets it back too. That's gonna be it. Oh, that's gonna be a save. Hold up. Where's the ball? I can't even see it. Oh man, what a save though. That should have been our three goal lead. Oh no, now Gretzka. Okay, block the pass. Thankfully, we blocked it. Gretzka versus Martinez. He's gonna drag it back. Dallo. Good spot. Just clear that thing. Grimades. Bruno. Again, Bruno is doing a lot right now defensively. Come on, their defense is so shaky. We gotta find this spot just like this. Come on. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw waiting for something. Rashford, can you back up a little bit? Goes to Hoyland. Hoyland first time finish. Okay, 4 1. That goal might ensure us qualifying for the Champions League next year. It might. Just Luke Shaw picks out a good pass at the end. Hoyland, though, that first time finish is calm. Just basically, like, passing it into the net. That was beautiful. Okay, Rashford off for Noah Phillips. Let's do Garnacho to the left, and let's do Mainu for Casemiro. I feel like I want more pace in the midfield right now. We keep getting, like, caught in behind. Mainu has more pace than, uh, than Casemiro. Okay, 20 minutes left. I mean, we cannot lose a three-goal lead, right? There's no way. Did I just jinx it? Probably, yeah. Dallow, Dallow. Good tackle into Noah Phillips. Frank de Jong driving this forward. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Keep it. Nice. Bruno. Is he onside? He is onside. Bruno. Two. Seal this game, maybe. Bruno, what a calm finish. Okay, we put another five past uh, Newcastle United. And I feel like that probably ensures us Champions League. Because now that's plus four to our goal difference. I don't think Spurs can catch us. Bruno, that is a beautiful finish right there, though. Okay, that's a bounce back after the Arsenal uh, draw. Don't let them score. Bruno, okay. Whoa, how did Rand fall there? That's going to be... Okay, no, it's not going to be a goal because Martinez saves us. Bro, our defense is just so shaky, though. It is so incredibly shaky. Onana, just poof that thing forward. Don't mess around with it. Actually, Onana... 
That is an amazing pass. Garnacho has Hoyland. He's going to get it back to uh, Luke Shaw instead. Luke Shaw into Kobe Mainu. Goes for the long shot. That thing had some, like, fizz to it. Didn't look too bad, actually. Young into Noah Phillips. The next David Beckham is dribbling around a few here. Gets it over to Bruno. Bruno, always oh, going to be so offside, I think. Garnacho, he's offside. Is he offside? Okay, I was going to say, yeah, he's offside. That is unfortunate there. All right, Mara, Turibo coming on. Also, Alex Scott. Final five minutes just to ensure to finish this game. We just basically got the job done today. 5-1 in the end. It wasn't really close. And it might not be closer because Mara's in here. Take Mara. Okay, how did Gadetska steal that? And how is Gadetska even at Newcastle United? That's a player I'd like to sign. Mara? Mara? He's going to win it. Mara does win it. Okay, I didn't mean to shoot, though. I tried to make a tackle and he shot. Willick into uh, Wilson. Gets it out to Harvey Barnes. Turibo. Toribo, good tackle by him. Okay, one final chance. They're going to get it. Okay, this for goal difference, we can't concede. Thankfully, we don't. Okay, full time, 5 1 win. And I'm pretty sure that means we qualify top four at least. I don't think Spurs can catch us now. All right, so one game left, and we're up now to third place. Now, Spurs are three points behind us, and they're only minus one on goal difference. So it's actually not insured just yet. Now, we face Brighton on the final day. Newcastle are going to face Brentford, and I think Spurs face Sheffield United. So a draw at least on the final day here will ensure us finishing top for officially so all we need is a draw we're gonna play the highlights of this game just to ensure that we can draw this game and not lose it i don't want to sim and lose it that'd be such a disaster so all we gotta do is just uh not lose this game varan what a block they almost just scored immediately we got a free kick who's shooting this might be casemiro actually actually no get it to varan ran over to rashford wait for a pass gets it over to dallo dallo crossover okay where is that cross going to literally no one we got a corner in the 23rd minute which okay that's gonna almost be good rashford gets it in two are not sure who shoots across goal and that's a that was a big save i think okay 51st minute it's still tied up here now can bruno score this free kick though bruno that's a good amount of power from the free kick bruno fernandez that's gonna hit the post okay hoyland there was an open net you're telling me they just had a penalty you're telling me that they have a chance to take the lead here oh nana just saved a penalty in the 58th minute to maybe save our Champions League hopes. Like, what am I even seeing right now? And that game ends nil-nil. Okay, so we get the draw at least. And I want to see it officially, but I'm pretty sure that means we do get Champions League next year. Okay, so Newcastle and Spurs both win their game, but that draw means we do finish fourth. That was way closer than I thought it'd be. But in the end, we ensure Champions League for next year. So that is very good. That was the most important thing today, I think, for the uh, future of this club. So that's big. Although it was much closer than it should have been. Okay, now we got two two cup finals to play the first one the europa league final versus liverpool jurgen klopp's like send-off game now a few days before the final though in training ten Hag says we need to ignore all the outside noise all the rumors and focus on these next two matches the experience of playing in a cup final is a privilege he says appreciate it and give it your everything so that right there is the liverpool team we face it's diogo jota darwin nunez salah moretti soboslai uh Basetic. and then uh robertson hume virgil van dyke gomez and, and allison so no trend that is uh that's interesting now i think i'm gonna play some of the youngsters in the fa cup final i mean this is the more important one i feel like so we are going full strength again for this game and at least now we're not playing for champions league our champions league life we can just focus on getting this trophy now trying to win this trophy now probably since the start of this season's uh europa league uh liverpool have been the favorite to win it so we are definitely not the favorites here but the europa league final in uh, in spain Jurgen klopp's final game we know they're going to be very motivated to win it for him so let's just see how this goes play and see what happens bruno gets it to rashford come on fast start out to uh luke shaw luke shaw crossover that's gonna go to garnacho garnacho header allison will collect in the end though i mean a hey, finishing top four is definitely gonna help ten hog but you know the ownership are looking at these two finals and also judging uh, these two games casemiro chance for a long shot van dyke blocks that shot though bro i can kind of tell from liverpool's passing already that it seems uh very quick and very crisp too like they look in form this is gonna be diogo jota luke shaw no it was dallo not luke shaw and that's gonna be a penalty we go for the ball there we kind of shoulder him and then he kind of runs in front of us liverpool a chance to immediately take the lead oh nana versus Salah. this is probably going top corner top corner no oh nana another big penalty save salah misses in a final that is big right there and also very lucky i think okay collect it collect it everyone relax just calm this game is still nil nil frank de Jong, don't lose there get it to garnacho garnacho space in the middle rashford gets it to bruno fernandez he's gonna shoot allison makes the save bruno cross in goes to casemiro that's gonna fall oh my Varane almost actually got that it's gonna be a it's gonna be a goal kick though boy lind ball to rashford rashford can go for a shot marcus rashford has just hit the crossbar what a shot de Jong. back to marcus again Marcus, left-footed shot. Allison saves that. Oh, it's not going to go off for a corner either. Okay, lively start for both teams in this game. Aretti plays it to Nunez. Nunez got a pass in the middle. Stay with Nunez. Stay with him. 
Gets it instead. Omoretti. Okay, Onana. He is coming up big in this final right now so far. Making me thinking about replacing him, like not replacing him. Varan on Salah. Varan. Varan does win that battle, thankfully. Bro, this is being played at a million miles per hour. Or I guess I should say kilometers. Hoyland shot. It's right at Allison again. Bruno to Marcus. Marcus. Decent turn there. Marcus looking for a spot, goes for a shot, and Marcus Rashford scores. 30th minute, that is the first goal of this Europa League final. I almost said Champions League final, I forgot it's the Europa League. That's how big this game feels. Okay, Rashford in form, and we strike first in this final. Salah, please stop Salah. I'm gonna need you to stop here. Mark Nunez, Salah gets it to Soboslai. Salah, Soboslai. Come on, someone's gonna mark him, please. Someone's gonna mark him. Soboslai gets it to Nunez. Nope, Varan. No, 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 Dallo. Okay, we barely survived that. Salah into Nunez. Nunez, Nunez. Oh my, Varan just saved a goal there. Okay, short corner, Salah. Gonna go back to Soboslai, probably. Goes to Moretti instead. Jota, but good defending. We get the ball out again, but man, we are under pressure right now. Gomez just wins it past Bruno. They are putting a lot of pressure on us. Soboslai, he's gonna get a chance to shoot Moretti. In the box. He is going to find Jota. Jota. Okay, bro. They are just chilling in our box right now. Dallo tackles that, but they are getting so much time in our box. Okay, final chance. The first half not, does not go to us. Does it go to us? It might go to us, actually. Okay, Bruno's got Rash for the middle. Goes to Frankie Dong instead. Frankie. No, that was meant for Hoyland, not Frankie Dong. Okay, though. First half, we're 1 0 up currently. We were under uh, so much pressure there, but currently, we do have the lead. Now, I can imagine this team just probably heard Jurgen Klopp's final halftime team talk. So you could just imagine how fired up they are. So so I am a little bit terrified, a little bit. I feel like you're gonna score at some point. I feel like a clean sheet this game is not a uh, possibility for us. It's just how long can we prevent them scoring? Corner swung in by Salah. That's gonna go to Dallo. He clears it. Salah, Salah in front of Onana. Okay, Onana saves it again. White a Europa League final. Double slide gets it to Jota into Nunez. Shoots, but Casemiro stops it, and we do get the ball out, bro. They are so close though. Oh, Bruno loses it to Salah though, and they have a chance counterattack. Nunez, Nunez, Jota. Don't let him shoot. Double slide into Nunez. Nunez. Why isn't someone marking Nunez? Bro, I am marking Jota. Nunez runs right through our defense. And it's 1-1 now. It's all tied up. Bro, I am marking. I'm marking Jota here. Look at Nunez. Casemiro is standing there not marking him. And he gets like a free shot at Onana. Okay, 30 minutes left. And it's 1-1. It's Hoyland, Hoyland. Okay, don't lose that there. Rashford. Chance to shoot. Oh, I thought that looked good. Gonna be a goal kick though. All to Nunez. In to Jota. Oh my. What a block by Martinez though. That was so desperate, but it worked. Bruno gets it again. Casemiro now get the pass out to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, we're gonna cross this in. Wait for Hoyland. Waited for him. Hoyland is there, but again, he outruns the cross though. It's such a good cross. We are playing with fire right now. Both teams play so aggressively. There's so many open chances. 15 minutes. Game is still tied up. Ala gets it to Jota. Over to Soboslai. Again, a tackle. And we do get it out again though. Zetich gets it to Luis Diaz. In to Jota. Someone's gonna block this shot. Sal is free. How does he actually score that though? Onana was at the near post. He didn't even dive for it. 80th minute Liverpool take now a 2-1 lead. Now I brought someone away from Sal there because I thought they were going to pass to him. So I guess credit to them for finding him. I took Shaw away because I thought he was going to shoot and I needed more people to mark seat. I thought it was going to go to Nunez, but it went all the way to Sal. That was such a good pass. But like the shot, I guess Onana doesn't even dive for it. He just watches it go in. Bro, Onana, if he dives there, he probably saves that. Bro, I feel sick. Okay, Varane is tired. We got to do Todibo and and uh, I guess I got to leave Dallow on, but I think we are also going to do uh, Mason Mount for Rashford. Or actually, no, I got to do Mason Mount for Garnacho. Okay, 10 minutes. We need to tie this up and force extra time. We have not done anything in the second half, though. We keep losing it. Like, we're not finding any space. Casemiro, Hoyland. Space here, actually, though. Diong gets it into Marcus Rashford shoots. And somehow that goes in. Bro, that shot wasn't even good. 84th minute, Rashford ties it up. Bro, this shot was not even good. It's a, Is it deflected? Shot is taken. No, that's not even a good shot. And this final is tied up again. Bro, I cannot believe that. We have a chance to force extra time now. Diaz, please no. Diaz, gonna stop. Gets it to Nunez. Nunez, okay, please, everyone marks, please. Nunez, okay, Turibo stops that one. Back out to Basetic. They're just keeping this so calmly. They might get the final chance here. Before extra time, Soboslai. Luke Shaw, is that going to be a corner or a goal kick? Oh, it's going to be a corner. We got four minutes out of all. That's a lot out of time. Soboslai, corner in. That's cleared. De Jong, second clearance is not the greatest, but Dallo gets it out. We still got time left, though. Bro, they're just not letting go of this ball right now. Final chance goes to them. Luke Shaw has that. Gets to Nunez, though. Nunez. Find Soboslai, and they have just scored the winner. You've got to be kidding me. Soboslai has scored a 94th minute winner to win the Europa League. How is no one marking Soboslai? That is devastating. Like, how does this chance even happen? Nunez stole that, which was a good, by, good play by him, but 
Bro, oh, Toribo, I, did I make that challenge? I might have made that tackle, but I feel like that was our only chance. He wasn't in a good spot to block that shot. He was on the right side of Sobo's side, not the left. I don't know if that was me or the game, though. It might have been me. We literally have no time left. Do we have time? Please, we're get the ball forward. No, that's the final kick. We have lost to the Europa League final. You've got to be kidding me. We just lost it in the final minute, basically. And Jurgen Klopp wins the Europa League final in his final game as Liverpool manager. I just can't believe they scored a goal like that in the end, bro. I cannot believe that. Of course, that's how we lose. So the Europa Public trophy goes to Liverpool, not us. I can't watch them lift it. I can't watch them lift it. Bro, we were just like smothered though in that second half. Other than Rashford's goal, it was all them. So it is Europa League heartbreak for Manchester United. Now that's why I'm glad we finished uh, top four in the Prem because if we were just relying on the Europa League to get Champions League next year, like I'd be so nervous for that. So at least that game did not decide that, but we still just missed out on a major trophy. And I don't know what this means for Ten Hag now. Like he lost the Europa League final. Saying that though, there is a chance for some redemption here. The FA Cup final now versus Chelsea. If we can win this final, I think we could maybe still call this season a success. But before this game online, the pressure is building. After a Europa League final loss, can Eric Ten Hag save his job by winning the FA Cup? Final game of the season, that's the team that stands in our way. Now, last time we played them, it was a draw, I think, so it was close. Okay, Rashford is rinsed, so I think, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna do Juan Misaka, Tudibo for Varane, and I think we're gonna do Alex Scott for Rashford. I think we're doing that. My gut's telling me that's the best player for that position right now. Let's actually throw Garnacho to the left and then Scott on the right. Let's do that. After that Europa League final loss, we got to go pretty strong here because we need redemption in this FA Cup final now. Man, that, that final loss just hurts so bad. It is now time to redeem ourselves. Come on, FA Cup final versus Chelsea. We can't lose two finals in a row and miss out on every trophy possible this year. Okay, Chelsea having a strong start here. They're just playing around the back a little bit. Plays it to Jackson. Jackson versus De Jong. Jackson, okay, De Jong just fell right there. And Kunku, good chance. Wambi Saka steals it. Hold up, wait, what? Okay, and Kunku was offside there. I thought it was a penalty, bro. I was gonna be like, what? There was no penalty there. Luke Shaw into Casemiro. Casemiro, see if we can go forward a little bit. Into Garnacho. Garnacho. Oh, no, that was not meant right there, bro. Do not make mistakes in a game like this. Bruno Fernandez, great ball to De Jong. Gets it up to Hoyland. Hoyland into Alex Scott. Scott waits for Wambi Saka. Wambi Saka is gonna whip that cross. Beautiful Garnacho header attempt, and that goes uh, not near the net. Get it over to Luke Shaw. Come on, find this first goal. Luke Shaw's got Garnacho. Garnacho through to Alex Scott. Alex Scott shoots that. Kukurel is going to block it though. Bring De Jong to Alex Scott. Oh, I'm shooting this. Alex Scott from distance. That's going to be a corner. I'll take that. Oh wait, no, that's a that's a free kick. Okay, that's really close too. Bruno, can we finally please score a free kick? Like bro, we've been so close. We're going to go right there. Three bars of power. Bruno Fernandez is going to... Bro, we hit the crossbar and that looked like it went in, but it bounced out. How much closer can I get to scoring a free kick? I'm going to lose my mind. Jackson is going to get it to Rabio. They score after we just hit the crossbar. I'm going to be very mad. Is that Sully March? He's playing for Chelsea? That's a weird signing. Casemiro through to Frankie De Jong. Frankie waiting for a pass, waiting for something. Frankie De Jong might shoot this himself. He's going to shoot this himself. Okay. Cross actually post, but then Alex Scott puts in the rebound. I can barely see what's happening there, but Alex Scott gets the start in the FA Cup final and scores. What a big moment for him, as we called him England's best wonder kid. But this was Frank Young's shot. Like, what a shot, but the hits the post? That was so unlucky. At least the rebound fell to Alex Scott. Okay, 1-0 in what? The 28th minute. Bro, this whole season finale has just been chaos. I feel like I'm losing my voice. Sterling gets it to Jackson, and they're going to score immediately. To make it 1-1, I can only laugh. It's one pass, one simple pass to Jackson, one first time finish. And this game is tied up immediately. Charlie March driving forward. Come on, defense. What do you about? To do about? To do about? Good defending there, at least. Arnacho's got Bruno, but I don't think that pass is going to work. Patience, but that patience will find a good pass. Gets it to De Jong. De Jong, switch it to. Okay, De Jong. What was that pass actually? Bro, De Jong doesn't misplay his passes very frequently, so that pass going that far wide is fishy. He never does that. Okay, Martinez plays it to Shaw very well, at least. Gets to Garnacho into Bruno. Bruno. Find space. Dribbles in the box. We got Garnacho. Garnacho. Okay, that's blocked. Luke Shaw. Cross in. That'll be a corner. All right, short corner to Garnacho. Get it back to Bruno. Bruno. In. Two. It is Alex Scott again. Okay, that shot was so bad from Alex Scott. Probably doesn't have the finesse shot uh, play style. Might get the final chance of the first half. Scott gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland driving through. Tries to find Garnacho, but Gusto gets to it first. Whoa, Tiago Silva. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, they're gonna get it out. Bro, they were playing so loose there. But okay, halftime, it's currently 1-1. This feels like it could go either way, to be honest. The final 45 minutes of season one, and I am a little bit scared. Juan Misaka could cross this in. Gets room for it. Crossover looks great, but it goes right to Sanchez. Now, definitely Rashford is my super sub on the bench right now now waiting for the right time to bring him on okay Casemiro great steal he fell over too Scott gets it to Hoyland Hoyland wait for Garnacho wait for him we're gonna go to Bruno instead 
Bruno, decent first touch. Don't lose it there. Get it out to Wanbisaka. Wanbisaka gets it back to Bruno. Bruno turns into Hoyland, who shoots, and that's blocked. Bro, we just couldn't find a shot there. Rabio's gonna feed that, though. Casemiro, Casemiro. No, we can't lose it there, bro. Oh, my Onana, what a save. We cannot lose it in that spot, bro. They tackled back just so quick. Onana, and that might be one of his biggest saves of the year. Back in the box, though, and Kunku against Rudibo Tidibo. Great tackle there. Come on. Now is where we can take control of the game. Diong running forward. Gets it to Alex Scott. Alex Scott making a run. Needs help. Alex... Gets it over to Rasmus Hoyland. Finds the space, but Sanchez is going to make the save. All right, 25 minutes. Short corner. Garnacho to Alex Scott. We're not going to shoot this one this time. We're going to hold it. Get it to Garnacho. Cross it. Literally no one is there. Okay, Casemiro, hold up. That was actually a great move. I didn't mean to do that, but that actually almost worked. Pass into Jackson. Martinez, stand strong. Actually, very strong there. Now, I'm trying to bring on Rashford, but the ball has not gone out yet. And we're not going to play it out because Bruno has got space now. Hoyland, Hoyland. He's onside, I think. Hoyland. Chance to score. Shot right at Sanchez. Rebound goes in. That was so incredibly lucky. But that's 2-1 to Manchester United in the 78th minute. Bro, that second shot, that rebound was so, so lucky. Sanchez unable to save it. Okay, Scott off for Marcus Rashford. We, man, I want to bring on someone defensive, but... I can't really see where. I think we leave it at that for now. I think we leave it at that. So just Rashford on for Scott, who had an amazing game coming in for Rashford, scoring a goal. We got 12 minutes to hold this lead now. I would love that goal to seal it, though. Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw, great tackle there. Get it to Rashford, who should be a little bit fresh here. Oiland gets it to Rashford. Through to Bruno Fernandez. Early shot by Bruno. That shot looks so good. Is that saved? No, I think it just went wide. One, seven minutes. Chelsea look a little bit defeated here after that goal. They look a little bit flat. And they're being very patient, almost like too patient. We're just blocking all these lanes. That is all we're doing right now. Caicedo, Caicedo, one touch there. Bruno steals it. Okay, everyone relax. Don't do anything too risky. Hoyland, play it through to De Jong. Over to Rashford to seal the Europa League final. And Rashford is going to score. Okay, that is cup final redemption for us. As we win the FA Cup 3-1. Okay, that makes up a lot for that Europa League final loss. If we would have lost both cup finals, it would have been so bad. But at least we get one trophy in season one. We had a fight for this trophy, though. Oh, it is so beautiful. Redemption. We have a chance for a goal here. Bruno Fernandez. Good touch. Bruno lifted for Hoyland. Hoyland fight for it. He's not going to get it. One final shot. Okay, no, it's not. But that is full time. Manchester United win the FA Cup in a quite dramatic fashion here. Alex Scott, Hoyland, and Rashford sealing our first trophy of the series. And our team is so shaky, though. Like, for us to really become the best team in the world, this team needs a lot of changes maybe even a managerial change but at least we can say in season one we won the fa cup we had one trophy and that is a beautiful trophy right there so bruno fernandez is gonna get to lift the fa cup for man united our first trophy of the series and thus ending season one of this career mode i mean i'll take that that was a great final we could have walked out of here with the europa league and the fa cup but we'll have to settle for just the fa cup so that is how we end season one final stats for the year hoyland scored 37 goals that's pretty crazy he also grew plus eight to 85 but bruno 29 23 uh, rashford 22 and 6. Garnacho 13 and 4. De Jong 9 and 12. It's an overall pretty good season for a lot of players, but like I said, for this club to take that next level, I think there needs to be a lot of changes here. I'm thinking some big changes to this team. Players sold, players brought in, but the biggest question here is will Eric Ten Hag be the manager of this team in season 2? And did that FA Cup trophy save his job? Our first season with Manchester United was eventful to say the least. After signing players like Frankie De Jong, Toribo, Sekumara, Eric Ten Hag led us to a fourth place finish in the Premier League. And also an FA Cup trophy as we beat Chelsea in the final. But Tenog also faced heavy criticism, finishing third in the Champions League group stage, losing to Watford in the Carabao Cup semis, and also losing the Europa League final to Liverpool. So a season full of ups and downs. And that has led to Man United's new ownership to question Ten Hag's future at the club. And now we start season two. We have three brand new kits, a huge transfer budget, and big, big changes coming to this team. It's just the big question is, will Eric Ten Hag remain as manager? So drop a like if you want to see more of this series hit that sub button down below if you've not we're on the road to 250,000 subs and of course let's get into it now we start this season off with a tweet that says manchester united sporting director dan ashworth is going to hold a press conference and there's a big announcement coming so fast forward to this press conference and ashworth says thank you everyone for coming let's just get straight to it manchester united and eric ten hag have mutually agreed to part ways ten hag will no longer be the manager of man united we'd like to thank eric for his contribution to the club now we'd also like to announce Graham Potter has signed a one-year contract to become the new Man United manager and he says we are very excited about the future of the club and there it is the official announcement Graham Potter appointed as Manchester United manager and hey fans are already voicing their opinion one fan says it's too big a job for him and he says this will be a disaster but here we go Manchester
Manchester United season two officially begins now. And we have got a brand new manager to take over this team on this journey to make Man United the best team in the world. And yeah, Eric Ten Hag has now left the club. I'd say he had a very interesting time at Man United. I don't think he's a bad coach, but I just feel like the situation he came into wasn't the best. Something about it just did not work. Kind of like the last however many managers since Sir Alex Ferguson. So couldn't quite solve the Man United puzzle. And we now hope that Graham Potter can. Now in real life, apparently Dan Ashworth had a secret meeting with Graham Potter and apparently they're close. So it makes a lot of sense for Graham Potter to be the next manager of United. But kind of like Ten Hag, just because it makes sense doesn't mean it's going to work. So we got a big season ahead of us. And yeah, our budget in season two to start is 240 million. And that is a lot of money. We are definitely going to use that. But we're also going to sell a quite a number of players here. So that's going to go up even more. Now the players that we're going to try and sell here, there is a large number of them. There's a lot of players here that just need to be moved on and create some room for some big new signings. And we've also had some pretty big uh, player upgrades here. Some of the younger players. James Trafford is up to a 78. Alex Scott's up to a 76. Noah Phillips is also to a 76. Mara's to 77. And then the biggest jump is Kobe Mayu to a 75 overall. After his play last season, I think that's definitely deserved. Now with Graham Potter, we're going to also play a slightly new formation. Of course, he has to implement his style. But first things first, we need to sell some players here. All right, so first player sold is Rafael Varane. Now he wanted to leave. We can't really stop him. So he is also 31 years old. He's starting to drop. So it kind of makes sense to uh, move on from him. And he's going to AC Milan for 31.9 million. All right, next up is going to be Mason Greenwood sold. Now I know this is a very uh, controversial one, but the club just can't face the backlash of keeping him in the team. So he had to sell him. Now he's gone to Brighton actually in the prem. So he's back in England. Now this one might be controversial too, but Luke Shaw is being sold as well. We're going to look to sign a new starting left back this year. So it's kind of just time for Luke Shaw to move on. And he's going to Aston Villa. And now one of the biggest players leaving is going to be Andre Onana. That is right. We're going to need a new starting keeper. I just feel like Onana, he was very inconsistent all season long. He'd have a good game and a bad game, make a great save and then do terrible. So we just need a more reliable keeper, I think. And he's gone to West Ham, which probably a good move for him actually. And now probably the last big player we're going to sell, baby, is going to be Anthony. Once again, last year I gave him a chance, but I just feel like he's not good enough for this team right now. So Anthony has left the club. Now, funny enough, he is going to Chelsea. So he's probably going to get a chance of revenge against us. Hopefully that does not happen. But okay, we have just sold a lot of players here. So Luke Shaw, Anthony, Onana, Varane, Greenwood, and Diallo all sold. So that's like four big players right there. So now our transfer budget is 450 million pounds. Now, I don't think we're going to use all that, but it is now time to definitely make some improvements to this team. Now, I still think Trafford might be the future keeper of this team, like maybe season three, season four he actually has a chance to start but in season two he's not quite ready so the thing we need most is a experienced keeper someone who we can rely on and i think that's going to be kevin trapp he's just so much more experienced than onana and i think he's going to be more reliable and the plan will be to start him this year and then trafford next year to replace him as the starter if he's ready and he is not going to break the bank at all here so let's do 10 million that should be enough and that is enough so Graham potter's first signing is uh replacing onana with kevin trapp so he gets a chance to be in the premier league at this uh later stage in his career but we have a more experienced and should be reliable goalkeeper. But you know, there's something about keepers joining United that sometimes they just struggle. Like it's too big of a club for them. Hopefully Trap. I'm hoping that experience, the age, means that it won't be too big a job for him. So Kevin Trap, welcome to Manchester United. Just more importantly, this keeps Trafford's uh, path of being a starter. Keeps it wide open for him. So that's one big signing, but we need like about three or four more. We need a replacement for Varane, uh, Luke Shaw, Anthony. So we're still gonna make more signings, but I think it's time for Graham Potter's first game as manager. Before though, one more player is sold and that is Jaden Sancho. I feel like uh, he just does not want to be at the club anymore and we don't really blame him so he's gone and he is going to spurs in the prem so we might see him again too like anthony and they might try to get their revenge on us but okay it's time for Graham potter's debut as manchester united manager and now it's a preseason game but it's still a huge matchup here it's the manchester derby in the community shield versus man city so talk about a trial by fire here facing the best team in england the team we're chasing so new formation slightly new tactics let's see how with only one new player goalkeeper how this team looks under Graham potter but before that we got to show off our new kits for season two so we got kind of like a retro theme here. Our home kit is very reminiscent of like a 90s Man United kit with the white collar. Got like a zigzag design on the front. I would say that's clean though. Now our away kit is going to be blue this year. I mean, it's simple. It's your standard kind of blue away kit. Nothing uh, too crazy, but I think it's clean. Now our third kit is very, very interesting. Now this is a retro kit. Before Man United wore their red kits, they actually wore these green and gold kits. So these are like a major throwback. Anyway, we're paying respects to when the club was founded. So nothing like too crazy, but I'd say the three kits are nice. They're not too bad, but okay. First game of season two, of course, Man City. Kevin Trapp's debut. And also Graham Potter's debut. So the big two changes are Turibo in for Varane and then uh, Malassia in for Shaw. And also, of course, Kevin Trapp. It's just what does this team look like now in a uh, post Eric Ten Hag era? We're going to find out because Man City are the current best team in England. But the Potter era at United has begun. Now, an early free kick for Man City, which that is dangerous. Uh, Dialo gets it out. That could have been a terrible start. So the tactic change is our our wingers are now pushed up a little more. So Rashford and Garnacho just playing a little bit higher in the field, which should make them, at least in the attack, be uh, better. Now, Man City are starting off strong, though. I got to defend this. I'm trying to 
focus. Melassia, tackle, and we do clear that. Holland turns Martinez, and then Martinez steals it back. No, he gives it right back to him, though. No, that is so bad. I'm trying to keep possession there. We just give to them a goal. Bro, like, I, I thought we won the ball back there, and I tried playing it back. Oh, we should have just cleared it. That is so bad. Welcome to season two of this series. Wonderful start for Grand Potter. Finds Garnacho. Is this an instant response? Oh, Garnacho hits the post. That was almost an instant response. Now, the biggest reason for selling Luke Shaw is he is kind of just too slow to be a modern left back in this team right now. So that's why we are using Molassi. Okay, Rash for that cross was to literally no one. But we are going to sign a new left back. I'm just not sure who yet. But they're going to be much faster than Luke Shaw was because Luke Shaw being that slow definitely hurt our defense last year. This game will also show me if I need a new center back because Toribo, is he ready to be a starter? I do not know. Okay, Holland is doing all these moves. De Bruyne. That's a good move. Gets it over. Uh, Martinez blocks that. Okay, this is kind of all Man City right now. This is not good. Rashford, good steal, though. Hoyland, through to Rashford. Rashford, decent touch, but he loses it right to Kyle Walker. And they got another free kick, which I feel like De Bruyne, he might actually score this. Oh, please, no. Kevin. Kevin, don't. Kevin, thankfully, goes over the net. They would have went 2-0 up there. I would have cried. Bruno Garnacho lays it off for Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong, a chance to go for a long shot. That goes well far wide. Yeah, we got that uh, preseason rust right now. That is for sure. Boat in, dangerous spot. Todibo, how do we not stop that? No one's there, trap. Good save, and that prevents a goal. Okay, Kevin Trapp. First save of his United career against Holland. That's a pretty good save there. That's a very good sign for us. Now, Dallo gets up to Bruno. That's a great ball. We are starting to wake up a little bit in this game, just a little bit. Into De Jong. De Jong's got Rashford. Marcus, good first touch. The shot is going to be... That's going to be in by Rashford. Okay, what a shot. I did not think that would go in, but Marcus Rashford scores the first goal of season two, and this game is tied up. I really didn't think he'd score this from this far out at that angle, but left-footed shot goes past Ederson. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Good response after us struggling so so far in this first half. Dude, we just needed to wake up a little bit. That's it. That first mistake, we just needed to wake up. Okay, and that's the first half. So, uh, the first 45 minutes of the Potter era, we are 1-1 with Man City. Now, big 45 minutes here to truly see where this team is at right now. Now, since we score, they're playing a lot slower for some reason, which is maybe interesting. Malassia, good still there. Now, Rashford into Bruno. Bruno is gonna feed Hoyland. Hoyland, does he win that? Not quite. Does win it back, though. Malassia into De Jong. De Jong, good turn. Gonna play it to Diogo Dallo. Gets it back to Alejandro Garnacho. His left-footed shot is going to be blocked, though. Bruno to Rashford. There's space here. Rashford into Hoyland. Hoyland goes around that defender. Goes right by him. Hoyland shoots, and the shot goes wide. Grand Potter, though, is encouraged. That touch kind of took the shot a little bit too far wide there, but hey, not a bad attack. McAtee, dangerous. Gets it to Holland. Toribo coming over. Toribo, Toribo. Great tackle there, actually. I did not think he was going to make that. I thought they were going to score. Rashford gets it to Casemiro. Casemiro, Bruno to Rashford. This is a better play. Rashford back to Bruno. Hoyland. Get it to Marcus. Marcus has got De Jong with a cross, but oh, that cross actually almost fell to De Jong. That would have been fortunate. Oh no, this is a little counterattack. Foden, it's kind of in here. Dallo has to block that pass, goes back, and then McAtee's in a score. Bro, like, I'm controlling Dallo. I need someone to mark the middle there. Both center backs just let McAtee shoot. Like, Tadiba Martinez are standing there, and then uh, I guess they're marking Holland, but McAtee's free there. That is just not good enough. Trap, I would make the save, and it's 2 1. Dallo, Hoyland gets it to Alejandro Garnacho. Crossover, man, Rashford, it's free there. Get it back to Dallo. De Jong, over to Bruno. Bruno, wait for a pass. Lays it into Garnacho. Bruno, that pass is so bad to Stones, though. Right at Stones. Bruyne, gonna try to find Holland here. I know he is. McAtee, trying to block that pass to Hoyland. Todibo gets it. We're just gonna clear it. Bro, Holland is just a nightmare to defend. Casemiro, though, great steal into Rashford now. Rashford, Malassia, that's a good run. Malassia gets it to Bruno. Bruno, into Garnacho. No, that, that can't uh, quite reach him. Bruno, to Rashford. Rashford. But nice shot, Marcus Rashford. Ederson makes the save, though. All right, two subs. Elisa on for Garnacho, and then Alex Scott on for De Jong. So, corner sent in. That is going to be cleared by Rodri. Okay, Elisa, decent still. We have a chance here. We got six minutes. Alex Scott, Casemiro, gets it to Bruno. Bruno. Oh, man, he was going to feed in Alex Scott there. And they're stealing the ball here. If we want a chance, got to be right now. We got to steal it. Doku gets it to Holland. They might seal this here. Holland gets it to Grealish, and they are going to seal it 3 1. So, the first game of Grand Potter's reign as United Manager, we're going to lose to Man City. Honestly, the whole team's sharpness is so low. We look very rusty. So, I'm not sure how much to uh, look into it, but it's not a great start. So, that is full time. We're going to lose the Community Shield. I mean, there was some good play there. But definitely the team, I just I feel like the team feels rusty. The sharpness was just so low. And hey, we're far away from Man City still. So if they play like that, they're obviously going to be the much better team. So Trap looking to improve after lackluster debut. I mean, he made that one save and then uh, did not make many saves after that. So I'm a little bit worried. But hey, we're still going to keep faith in him. But one thing I think now for that game that I know this team needs is a new center back. Right now we have Martinez, Tribo, and then uh, Maguire. I feel like Tribo is not quite ready to be the everyday starter. So I think with all this money, we splash cash on a pretty good center back here. I feel like that's very important for us this season. And we have now 500 million to spend. So yeah, we are about to splash the cash here. Now the player that I think fits our team most is Bermer from Juventus. 
Fuentes, the Brazilian center back who's 86 rated. Now, I'd say to me, he looks like an improved version of Varane. He's got the same strength, the jumping, but he's much younger and he's also much quicker. I like that 81 pace a lot. 85 sprint speed. He's got 92 jumping, 85 strength, really good defensive awareness. I think he's exactly what we're looking for. And yeah, this might be an expensive transfer. We're going to try it though. Let's start with maybe like 67.5. See what Juventus say to that. They are going to want 73. That's definitely doable. Let's go and even 70 million. And uh, the first big signing of season two might be Bermer. Like if we were looking to sign a Holland stopper, I feel like Bermer is that. He's got the strength, he's got the size, where I feel like Toribo is not quite ready to be that just yet. But I think Bermer is, and he accepts the contract, so he signed up. So officially, the Varane replacement Vermeer. Welcome to Manchester United. And that makes our defense look much better. So he should be even better than Varane was last year. Now, I think a left back is probably still needed. I think a left back, probably a winger, maybe another midfielder too. But already it's time for our first actual game of the season, the first real game. Our Premier League opener at Old Trafford, and it's versus Bournemouth. So a debut for a new center back, and also now Graham Potter's first game at Old Trafford. And just uh, from the jump, he is under pressure already. Still though, this is a team that we should beat. If we lose to Bournemouth on the opening day, if we draw even, there's going to be a lot of nervous May United fans. So it's very important to win this game here. Last season, a fourth place finish. This year, our goal is to challenge for the title. I'm just uh, not sure how realistic that is. Okay, defense, where are we at though? Defense, Dalo, good tackle. Gets back to their player though. And then Bermer makes maybe a goal saving tackle. His first involvement as a United player. Now, Bruno Fernandez has got Hoyland. Good ball, Hoyland. Is going to get it back to Frankie De Jong. That's a shot. That could have been the start we needed. All right, De Jong cross in to Casemiro. That's not going to get anywhere near him. Now, Bermer picks this up. I'm not shooting with you, though. Going to go to Casemiro, who can shoot. He's going to shoot. That's blocked. Martinez to Bruno Fernandez. Laid off to Malasia. Malasia. Crossover is decent, but doesn't reach anyone again. Arnacho gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland tries to shoot, but he's going to be dispossessed there. Okay, where, is, where are these holes coming from in our defense? I am not sure where. Trap, good save there, though. That's going to be another pass in, and Martinez blocks that shot. We are under pressure right now. Gets back to Carvalho. Carvalho against Bermer. Bermer does make that one. Okay, Bermer, that's two, actually three good tackles so far. Kind of worrying that he has to make that many tackles, but so far it's good to see. Now, Bruno Fernandez through to Diego Dallo, making a run. He's going to shoot and Dallo scores. Okay, that counterattack was so swift. Dallo made an insane run. 21st minute, 1-0 to United. We got to thank Bermer for making those tackles in the defense because that's what led to this attack here. You know, Graham Potter likes to see that. It's a very important game for him to win here. His first game at Old Trafford. A lot of fans, a little bit unsure about him. He's got to win them over. Defense needs to hold up now, Bermer. Another tackle. Is that a foul? It's not a foul. It's not really a clean tackle, though. Vermeer again being asked to do a lot here. But again, another tackle. That's four now. That is way too many. Our defense needs to help him out. More so like our midfield. But Frank and Young, our counterattacks look very good right now. Bruno gets it out wide to Dallow. Dallow tries to play to someone, but literally no one's there for that ball. All right, Malassia, good pace there. I mean, that's his improvement on Shaw right there. He's got pace. Defenders don't beat him as easily as they beat Shaw, which Rashford just beat that defender. Rashford looking to make it 2-0 in on goal. Is going to shoot and he is going to make it 2-0. Not the best finish, but Neto can't save it. Okay, 33rd minute, 2-0 to Manchester United. Not so bad so far for Graham Potter. Yeah, Rashford, this finish will probably be in the corner, but you know what? It's good enough, although we probably should have saved that. Okay, let's just keep this up now. Renacho gets it to Bruno. Bruno, great turn there. Now Rashford again is in. Rashford. Decent touch. Gets it to Bruno. Bruno shoots, and that's going to be a save. Oh, that felt like 3-0 right there. All right, short corner. I feel like our corners just suck now, so we're going to go short corner. Bruno Fernandez. Finesse shot attempt, and that's 3-0. I feel like we should just take short corners from now on. Bruno makes it 3-0, though the fans go wild. All right, solid, solid first half here. Much better in the community shield. The players feel a little bit sharper today. Defense still needs to hold up. Now, that pass was terrible. Some good uh, pressure by De Jong. Now, Garnacho is going to feed. Okay, that was meant for Bruno. Hold up. Hoyland might actually get this. No, he's not going to. That was uh, meant for Bruno, though. Casemiro, great still there, Garnacho. Wait for Dallo. Dallo is in now. Can we make this a 4 0 first half? Dallo, two. Rasmus Hoyland and Neto is going to make the save. Man, this should be 4 0. We will try a cross in. Like, where is Bermer? Casemiro. He actually almost scored that. Casemiro's headers last season were terrible. This season, are they different? Okay, Martinez again off the line. That's going to fall, though, and that's 4 0. Casemiro scores. Bro, the ball just fell to him there on the volley. Okay, 4 0. That's a solid way to start the season. This ball just bounces in the air, and then uh, everyone's asleep. Casemiro's not, though. Okay, first uh, 45 minutes for Grand Potter at Old Trafford. We are facing Bournemouth, but 4 0. That is not bad. Just see if we can keep it up now. Rashford, a chance to cross it to Hoyland. That's going to be cleared. Now, one thing that we did change is I changed from uh, Gagan pressing to more default. Like, I think it's just standard. So we're not pressing as much. We're a little bit more conservative there. That might be helping our defense a lot. So, Grand Potter making a few adjustments. Adjustments and he might have uh, unlocked some potential in this team. I don't know. Then again, it is just Bournemouth, a team that we should be beating. And also, this game is not over. Dallow, Dallow, good tackle there by Dallow. Okay, Samiro gets it out to Malasia. Okay, Oiland, I see you. 
What a cross by Malassia, but Hoyland's header goes wide. Bro, Malassia, that was such a good cross. He uh, deserved the assist. Casemiro gets it to Rashford. Rashford lays it off to Frank de Jong. Should score this. Frank de Jong all in for the light finish and... Oh my, that's still gonna go in. That is an own goal and it's 5-0 to United. I guess we'll take it. Or that shot from Reggie was so bad, but I think it bounced off uh, the keeper and then a player and he cannot keep it out. That is unfortunate. It's 5-0 though. Now, I think Mayu, Alex Scott are gonna come on soon. Also like Mason Mount to get their first action of the game or season, which De Jong over to Garnacho and that is 6-0. Bro, we have just like demolished Bournemouth now. It has been all Manchester United. What a move here. And then what a finish by Garnacho across goal. Okay, 6-0 opening day. That is uh, a lot better than I expected. We got subs on final 12 minutes. Can we score seven on the first game of the season now? And also, can we keep the clean sheet too though? Alex Scott gets it over to Alejandro. Alejandro tries to feed in, goes to Mara. Mara to Bruno Fernandez. It is 7-0 right now. What has actually happened this game? I have no clue but Bruno scores. Bro, this game started off all Bournemouth. Like, I thought we were gonna lose this game, maybe, but 7-0? I was not expecting that. Trap made a big save. Vermeer made four big tackles. Since then, they have done nothing. Manu gives it to Alex Scott from distance. That shot's blocked. All right, corner in. Let's try it. Vermeer is now the main man there, and Vermeer, he's gonna hit the crossbar. Almost a goal in his debut. There is a Prem debut. Alex Scott, good fake shot there. He's gonna turn. Plays over to Mara who shoots, Neto's gonna make that save. Bro, this is almost 8-0. Okay, first game of the Premier League season. That is a bounce back after the Man City loss. Seven goals, clean sheet for Trap. Vermeer, great debut, making some good tackles there. Okay, that is a huge positive. Graham Potter's old Trap for debut, talk about that. Like, bro, after the first 20 minutes, I thought we were gonna lose that game. One of them started so much better than us. But okay, we have a goal difference now of seven and we're in first place. That is a very good start. And look at that now, Graham Potter is taking the headlines. After an interesting start with a loss and then a big win, has Graham Potter just started to win over the fans? I'm not sure, but a 7-0 win definitely doesn't hurt. Now, our current budget is still 423 million, and I am not sure who we should sign. I feel like a new starting left back is definitely needed. So a starting left back and then probably another winger to replace Anthony, another midfielder maybe. So I still feel like we need two or three more signings. I'm just not sure who we have so much money. And I'm not sure I want to sign anyone to replace like uh, Garnacho, Rashford in the starting 11. I think other than Malasia, this starting 11 is pretty much locked in. It's just a left back and then reinforcing the bench more. Now, there's a lot of players here you guys have uh, suggested we could sign. A lot of very interesting ones but well, let me know in the comments any more uh, suggestions you have because right now i'm a little bit unsure who we should sign now also let me know where we should send our youth scouts this year what countries we should send them to now we found the next david beckham and noah phillips which he will feature more this season we gotta try and find another like youth star for this team maybe a striker maybe uh maybe like a right back or center back too so let me know where to send our youth scouts to but okay next game is nottingham forest again at old trafford another team that we should beat and we're gonna see if that last game was just like a one-time fluke so same lineup and let's hope for a similar result here i mean i don't think we're gonna score another seven goals but i guess anything can happen Ahmad diallo playing for them of course the player we sold to them he wasn't really good enough for this team in the end he is gonna want his revenge against us now frankie de Jong to casemiro good turn there casemiro is in a fine malasia malasia finds frankie de Jong. frankie de Jong cross in Hoyland header attempt. Okay, that could have been a great start. Good cross in by uh, Frankie de Jong, which he is going to send this one in. And that goes to, uh, was that Martinez? That header was so weak. I don't know what that was. Bruno lays it off to Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong waits, gets it over to Malassia again. Now Malassia looking for a pass here. Is going to stop. Gets it to Frankie de Jong. Shoots. Save. Hoyland is going to try to get a shot of his own. Another save. And then that ball is cleared. Okay, not a bad start from us though. Hello, Frankie de Jong. Going to hold it. Wait. Get it back to Bruno Fernandez. Good turn. Bruno is going to shoot and Keeper makes another save. Okay, this Keeper is busy to start. That corner is brought in to literally no one. Garnacho, I forgot to mention, is now our number seven. Goes for the shot and he just hits the crossbar. Okay, Garnacho, what a shot. I forgot to mention that. Mason Mount is now number uh, 20 and Garnacho's number seven. I feel like when you guys said that, that's probably more fitting. And I definitely agree. Now, Frank Neong, that shot is going to be blocked though. We just had like four chances to score and no goals to show for it. Hey, Diallo, this is dangerous. First, Martinez. Martinez makes tackle on his former teammate. Asamira, Malasia is making a lot of forward runs and I am liking it. Malasia gets it into Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, take your time. Takes his time and he is going to score that. Hey, that's all Malasia making that run that pace. He's just so much faster than Luke Shaw. But Bruno Fernandez, great finish. Okay, we're looking much better compared to that uh, first game. 1-0 in the 24th minute. Miro gets it over to Malasia. We're putting so much pressure on them. We're pushed up right now, which I like to see Casemiro into De Jong. De Jong back to Casemiro. Casemiro outside the box shot. That's going to be a corner. All right, short corner. Bruno to De Jong. Gets it into Hoyland. Hoyland lays it off to Garnacho. He's going to shoot. Garnacho has hit now the post and crossbar, I think. How unlucky can one player get? Vermeer gets it into Bruno. Bruno to De Jong. De Jong to Garnacho. It should be on side. Yes, he is. Garnacho crossover. Rashford is not going to reach that. I mean, not a terrible move, but did not amount to much. Spurs game. Alex 
Whoa, that's not a foul. Casemiro just ran that guy over. Garnacho, another long shot. That's a power shot, and that goes so far wide. Yeah, probably not going to do that again. We are putting so much pressure on this team, though. Hoyland, of course, right when I say that, Doak Croy makes a good tackle, but kind of like Bournemouth, we are dominating them right now. Their first good chance, though. Okay, that's a missed tackle. Bermare, Bermare stays strong, and he does make that tackle, though. Yeah, so far, he's been really good. It was like a faster version of Varane. Probably a bit stronger, too. Again, here he is. Again, there he is. Oh, yeah, definitely stronger. What a tackle. Casemiro driving forward. No pass there. Gets it back to De Jong. Okay, should have got it back to De Jong. That's not a good spot to lose it. But Frank De Jong, okay, he steals it back. This team is looking energized. But okay, first half, 1-0. We got to extend this lead in the second half. We score this, like, second early. It might be like Bournemouth where we just run away with the game and, like, not even give them a chance. Frank De Jong gets it out to Alejandro. Gets it into Bruno. Bruno waiting for Hoyland. Gets to Garnacho instead. Garnacho. Great ball to Bruno into Frank and De Jong. Oh, that's got to be finished with a goal, though. That was such a good move. De Jong, Casemiro into Hoyland. Hoyland's going to stop. Goes for a left-footed finesse shot, and that's blocked. Yeah, they kind of had too many numbers there. Diallo versus Malassia. Malassia, that's going to be a foul. Hey, that's a tactical foul, though. I'll take that. Better than letting Diallo just run forward like that. Ngala gets it over to Ekatike. Gets it over. Martinez needs to block that. I thought he was going to shoot there. What is happening? I think Vermeer just made another tackle, though. They definitely had a free shot there. They just did not take. Malassia, Hoyland, get it to Marcus. Marcus cuts inside. Has a chance for a finesse shot. That thing is not a bad shot, but it's going to be saved. Come on, this second goal is needed now. Can I let this go further without scoring this second? Garnacho shoots, and this keeper is making some great saves now. Bro, that's got to be a goal right there. We are just giving them a chance to stay in this game. Malassia, 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 great tackle. And he has been good so far. Bruno, Hoyland, get it to Malassia. Rashford gets back on side. Rashford into Bruno. I don't like any of these shots, though. Okay, Malassia, get closer to the byline. Beat it into Garnacho. Garnacho finds Rasmus. He's going to shoot, and Rasmus puts the shot wide. Bro, it should be 2 0 right now. Oh, man, he's got so much space there, but he just puts it past the post. Okay, first sub is Mason Mount on for Garnacho. The players who kind of like like swap numbers a little bit. Now Diallo getting some space here, which is not great. Malasia cannot track that back. Gets it to Dominguez. Bermare versus Singari. Bermare, Bermare. Oh, but doesn't make the tackle there. And then, oh, we just left Trap out to dry. Bro, I felt it. If we didn't score that second, I knew they'd score at some point. They had so much patience there, and I did not. And this game is tied up now. We gotta put teams to bed when you get the chance. All right, 15 minutes now to win this game. Frank De Jong, a chance to shoot, maybe. We're gonna go to Bruno instead. Bruno left footed shot across goal. That's blocked. Over to Frankie Young. Over to Mason Mount. Mason tries to find something, but Del Croy gets it out. Is it Del Croy or Del Croy? I have actually no idea. But Mount waiting for a pass. Gets it to De Young. Pass there. No, that was meant for someone else. No, that was meant for someone else, not Hoyland. Bro, now, now they're just not letting go of the ball all of a sudden. Like, this is fishy right here. They have barely held the ball this whole game. Bermare against Diallo. Bermare, good tackle. Okay, steals it back, but Casemiro cleans it up. We got two minutes. Bruno, Bruno is going to lose it to Mario, though. We cannot lose it there. Bruno wasn't strong enough. Malassia wins that back. Okay, we have one chance, maybe. Hoyland, Rashford. Oh, just everyone is not on the same page there. Bro, this should not be a draw. This should have been like a 3 0 win. We were the better team. We created a lot of chances. Just the finishing wasn't good enough. After scoring six. Seven goals last game? That is so unfortunate. I mean, honestly, 17 shots we had to their one shot. Tell me that's not fishy. It's one of those games where it just feels like it's just not your day to win. Now, that does ruin our start a little bit. So, a loss, a win, and a draw for uh, now Graham Potter is Manchester United. But I still think there's a lot of positives here. I feel like with Vermeer, maybe a new left back, our defense will be much better. And then if we reinforce the bench with a, another winger, another midfielder, this team could do some damage this year and make some noise, maybe contend for the Premier League title. It's just we got to be way more consistent. That's the problem with this team. We are not consistent. Now, next episode, though, 425 million to spend, basically. Probably not going to spend all of that, but we are going to spend a decent chunk of that, I think. Because Grand Potter needs some reinforcements if he wants to win over these United fans. So if you want to see more of this series, then drop a like. And if you want to watch our latest Neymar player career episode over on Tyster Plus, then click on screen to watch that.